Yo, what is up guys? Today is going to be the Unranked 2 Masters Educational on Jax. To summarize this climb for me at the start, I had a bit of struggle itemizing on this champion and learning what summoners to take and what matchups. But gradually as I'm climbing, I'll explain everything, what I do, what I like the most, and the matchups that I play. Now, if you like this type of content, I'm trying to make it so I have an educational unranked masters eventually on every top laner. So if you want to vote your champion, feel free to join the Discord. Link is in the description, as I'll always do monthly votes there. And if you like this type of content, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel as it helps you out a lot and it helps me grow towards my goals as we try to get to 100k before the end of the year. All right, enjoy the video. See you guys. Every move you made, I was watching you. If you are serious about improving and climbing to your desired league rank, you're in the right place. This year, I've worked on laying out two courses that will help you in all aspects to improve. One is about all the fundamentals for the landing phase, and the other one goes in depth on tempo and the mid to late. I've been challenger for seven years and I can guarantee you that this will massively speed up your process and reaching any goal that you have set in mind. Both courses have a preview video where you can see the style of the videos, so check those out before anything. You can also always join my Discord to check out some reviews. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright, yo, what's up bros? Let's head into the first game here. Uh, we're gonna bet nothing and we're gonna be hovering jacks so we get our jacks. And the runes. So let's quickly go into runes and masteries first. Now in my opinion, there's two rune setups that you can take. In two matchups where you're looking for more extended fights, you can fight more, uh, basically your good matchups or your, let's say, even matchups. So good matchups would be matchups like Aurelia, uh, maybe Camille, but maybe also some other matchups like Garen. Basically matchups where you want extended fights. Uh, I like to take this. So cookies uh, and I like Cosmic Insight. And then this could be uh, Alacrity or Tenacity depending on the matchup. And I go Little Tempo. I don't play Concrete Jax. And then I go either Flesh Ignite, Flesh DP or Ghost DP. We'll talk about some of this in a second. And alternatively, I'm taking Grasp. And this is more so in, let's say, the more negative matchups. You can take this into range, this into like the melee, harder ones. And then probably on flinching and the exact same thing. And then also Ghost P or Flesh TP. I don't really play Flesh Ignite on the setup. Now, the re I take, so for example, here we're playing against Garen, right? So I said against Garen, you want extended fights. Garen wants short rates. I want extended fights. So I'm going to be taking my lethal tempo setup and probably Tenacity because I already have Nico and Garen. And then I'll lock this in. Now, against Garen specific, I'm playing Flesh Ignite. Why do I play Flesh Ignite? Because I want to look for kill priority against Garen, right? Garen or the Jax matchup wins very hard against Garen into level 1 to level 3. So I really want to utilize that and play Flesh Ignite as a result of that. Let's say I'm playing a more scaling matchup. Let's say I'm playing against, I don't know, one of my hardest matchups, right? The range matchups like Quinn, Cannon. I would always be playing Ghost TP because I'm looking to skill anyways. I'm not really looking to kill him. And I would also take Grass. And let's say a more neutral matchup, uh, maybe something like Jace. Well, it's not a neutral matchup. It can still be a bad matchup. But there I'll probably go Flesh TP and still Grasp. Um, when do I go Lethal Tempo and Flesh TP? Can't think of any matchups right now. But maybe if we get there throughout the rest of these videos, we'll get there, right? So basically, Lethal Tempo to your good matchups. I like Flesh Ignite here for kill pressure. Uh, definitely Tenacity against Lux, Nico, and Boris, Sejuani as well. So they're gonna have, uh, yeah, they have a lot of CC. So definitely a Tenacity type of game. Uh, probably a Mercs game here as well, because literally all the champions have CC if you factor in the Garen Sinus too, which can be uh, reduced through Tenacity, right? Lethal Tempo for kill pressure and um yeah let's dive into it here very standard setup anywhere else uh we have a cane jungle so it's all right here i like my matchup i think it's okay we play we'll be playing a against a lot of garens throughout this entire um grind by the way you guys will see it. oh wait it ends up being a sedrani top and a garen jungle Right. Well, this is still not the worst for me because Sejuani actually mostly has physical damage. Her W is physical damage. Her Q, I believe, is also physical damage. So even though she does have some magic damage in her ultimate and I think in her E passive proc, uh, a lot of her damage is also going to be physical. Now, one thing to keep in mind now is I'm not going to go D blade. I'm going to go D shoot instead because I want more sustain. She's going to have grasp and she's going to have more sustain as well. So I would prefer to go D shoot here alternatively what i could also do is go deep blade and play super aggressive in the early game so one thing that uh is very important to know about sejuani is that she has extremely high cooldown so her q in the early game i believe is 18 seconds cooldown and you see my q is eight seconds so if she uses q once i can pretty much use it twice my e is going to be 15 seconds so that kind of matches her q so gotta keep that in mind and jex is one of the strongest 
early game champions. One of the strongest, right? With your E with Lethal Temple, Flesh Ignite, that even empowers that. E basically makes me super broken. My passive, my little tempo just makes it very hard for me to deal with. So what I like to do is always set up my first four waves. And the way to do that, the first step, is to first scout the matchup. What we talked about, we're playing against Sejuani. Flesh DP, Grasp, Precision, not too much to worry about, right? She's playing with Flesh, she's not playing with Ignite. Very often you see Sejuani tops playing with Ignite. And then we have Garen Jungle against Kane Jungle. I'm going to be honest, I don't know too much about the Garen jungle. However, I do know that Kane jungle very often likes to full clear. Garen wants to full clear as well, doesn't have too many ganks, right? Uh, they're looking to invade. And the reason I leave this ward is so that I know what enemy jungle is doing in the first four waves. If I know what enemy jungle is doing, and I know what my jungle is doing in the first four waves, I'm able to make a plan. So it looks like it could be a cross map. Sejuani was leashing here with the Garen. And uh, let's see, what is the Sejuani starting? She could be starting E as well. Okay, she started W, so I've spotted that. She's W start and i know they're starting here okay so what i want to try and achieve here is zone the sejuani from the first three means worth of exp because exp snowballs harder in the early game than gold so i'm going to be standing here utilizing my early game strength and i want to zone the sejuani i got hit by everything but that's okay got a passive and i want to keep her out of the exp range but still send into it myself so here i got the exp but she did not Right? And this is already very beneficial for me, even though it doesn't look like this much right now, it's going to desync our level of timer. So I'll get level 2 by the time that she's still level 1, and that will result in some very beneficial traits. So let's get a level 2 from this melee, or this melee rather, looks like my means are targeting this one more. I get my level 2 first here, and boom, she cannot trade back. Cancel the multi here, right? And this trade is all a result of what I did level 1. So now you see, boom, it's already stacking up, right? I get my Q again, keep up the trade. I got my little tempo stacks, I got my passive stacks, beautiful. She still has W, not level 2 yet. I'm going to drop my little temple stacks here. She walks up again. And this is all a result, chat. Of zoning from the first three minions. Worth of EXP. Fire Manos, keep it in mind, keep it in mind. EXP snowballs harder than gold. Just zoned it from three minions and boom. One my lane through that alone. I'm going to slow push here a little bit. So I can also get wave number 4. Most of it. Garen is pushing into bot. Kane is ganking bot. He ganked bot. Maybe I should hard push instead of slow pushing here. That's okay, she used TP, she used her flash. She got a level 2 finally, doesn't matter, little piggy. Keep him pushing this in. Alright, I don't care too much about these casters, and the reason as to why is because they don't really give me that much gold and EXP, and I already have Sheen refillable in my base. Now, I said Sheen, however, and this is a big difference as well, I'm playing with Lethal Tempo. So when you play with Lethal Tempo, I like to go for Double Longsword. When you play Grasp, I like to go for Sheen as my first item. Because I have little tempo, means more auto attacks, means double longs are better. When I have grasp, I want short trades, Min Sheens is better. Pretty simple, right? All right, she has no flesh, I still have my flesh, waiting for my ignite. I have cosmic insight, so I will get my ignite a little bit faster. How much is it in total? 18 spell. No, 10. Wait, what? 18 summoner spell. Yeah, beautiful. All right. So it crashes, but I'm not going to lose too much. It's also because I didn't lose extra tempo on getting the casters. It's good for her to push it out. That's her correct response. So now the way will bounce back into the Sejuani again. And what that does is it does it makes her not forced to walk up for last pretty much, right? She's not forced up to walk up for last. She could still walk up for last. So keep in mind, her Q is going to be 18 seconds cooldown. My Q is 8 seconds cooldown. Plus I have flash advantage. So I want to try and utilize that. Now, I'm going to slow push because Sejuani is most likely reconning. She's probably sitting around 600 gold, right? She didn't buy anything on her first base either. She got some 20-ish CS, so she's should be sitting around 600 gold and i'm going to slow push this just to try and make the sejuani lose some last hits here by default i hope all these melees die uh or the cannon it looks like they're all gonna be one hp which is very unlucky honestly okay gotta make sure i get the cannon hope some of these melees die and then my slow pushing all right so she has cloth armor i'm gonna push here because the wave is pushing towards the sejuani that means it's my turn currently in the lane she should not even be walking up i have item lead i have the level lead so here I all in her as much as possible. Not necessary to kill her, but I will kill her here. So let's say I didn't kill the Sejuani here, right? It would still be extremely good for me because she would be under her turret with 1 HP. Could she stay under turret with 1 HP? No. Look at my health, right? I'm gonna get my Ignite. I still have my Flesh. So let's say I didn't kill the Sejuani there, but she would be 1 HP. She would have to recall as well. And then when she's recalling, she's gonna lose 3 waves and she's going to lose turret plates, right? So it was just a very big blunder for the Sejuani to ever walk up here. Now, Garen could be back in top set because it's minute 5. However, I am level 6 to level 4, and I've... Okay, I see Garen Bolt. So now I'm going to zone her from the... Walking up here. Boom. Should die from Ignite. And we're happy. Right? 
We're level five, six to level four. We had all our cooldowns. She's not allowed to walk back into lane there. Now, I was relatively scared to make this play until I saw Garen Bolt. Garen is both 32 CS. I'm able to make this play. I'm going to do the same thing, only focus the cannon in and then look to reset. Now, of course, that what I did on the Sedge Ali there was also pretty good spacing by me, right? So I understand that that is a little bit hard to replicate. However, here, for example, me leaving these three casters will make this wave bounce with, uh, push back faster towards me. So that's already a thing that you guys can do as well. Of course, I understand that the mechanical aspect, aspect will be a little bit harder to replicate, but everything else that I've done in terms of wave management and all-ins are still good. And if you play a lot of jacks, right, you should be able to play with your cooldowns pretty good as well. All right. Gonna use this means now i'm 1100 gold away from my mythic that's what i want to start playing for this wave is pushing towards me so why this means so weird why is this melee so behind walk up to the brodies bro anyways um the wave is going to be pushing towards the sejuani again and i want to do the same thing right whilst it's pushing towards the sejuani if she walks up for lasted where she's not supposed to walk up for i will look to all in her and trade with her as much as i can simply because it's going to be my turn in the lane okay actually, i actually have a freeze i'll keep that instead because that means that the Sejuani is going to be forced to walk up for Lassets. It's even better, right? Because if she walks up for Lassets, I can look to kill her. I'm going to communicate to my mid laner that Sejuani could be moving. She's either here or she's roaming, right? Oh, there she is. So now I'm going to react to that by pushing. Because it looks like they are going to chase my Ari. I don't see her coming back to top. But Kane is there. Looks like Garen has found her. Garen is still 32 CS. I'm going to check that every time I see her. And E here. Pushing this way faster. Not sure where Sejuani is at. I just want to get to 1100 gold. Oh, Sejuani showed mid. All right, there she is. Kane is invading. I could move, but I could also just spam plates. Because again, I just need 1100 gold. I think I could just spam the plates here. Or try even zone the Sejuani a little bit. But I gotta stay in the plate range. Well, yeah, I'm just so strong right now. It doesn't really matter. She's only level 5, right? And we get the plate. I'm going to get one more plate. Just for good measure. Because I'm happy like that. And then we can reset again. So, yeah, once you get ahead on jacks like this. I mean, I even have so many kills and plates before the turret plates. Or, sorry, before my Divine Sunder, right? Which is, like, my most broken item to get. Now we're just going to reset. I want to keep this turret alive. It's only 8 minutes in the game. Generally speaking, it is not smart to take the turret too fast because then you have to start, you know, expanding elite across the rest of the map. However, your opponent can just farm back for free and look for plates for a very long time. Generally speaking, I want to get this turret maybe at like minute 11 ish. 11 is a sweet spot. We might get it fast in this game to start expanding our elite, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I would want to, generally speaking, get it a little bit later. Okay, my bad. Stay hydrated though. All right. Um. All right, Garen Smith, 47 CS. He's level 6 now too. Sejuani is still only level 5, but you should get level 6 on this wave relatively soon. Garen is here. Harold is up. Harold gives me 200 gold, so that's something I maybe want to play for as well. She has flesh again, but I have full divine, so I'm not that strong. I want to zone her from the cannon. Okay, she got level 6. All right, so what I think I want to do here is push in this wave, hard push next wave, and instead of looking for the turret, I'm going to look for the Herald. And why do I look for Herald? Natural resources. Right? It's gold that I can get without being zoned away from it as long as I get it. So I'm gonna hard push this wave to create tempo opportunity for myself. I don't need to kill this. Oh, I need to stay alive though. I'm gonna potion instantly. Okay. I mean, he's flashed onto me, so that guy's my target. I also, I land both. Now I get to enough wrist resistances. Right? I'm Jax with Divine and Little Tempo. Salute my brothers. Now, I don't wanna take this third yet, I think. So I'm gonna just proxy this wave. I mean, the thing is there, the reason why I won it so easily is first of all, I, I was forced it, right? I have my full divine, but I also ulted them both. If you ult multiple targets at once, you get more resistances, right? Garen flash, so I'll keep that timer safe as well. And now I'm going to take this Herald, because it will give me 200 gold. In the meantime, this turret stays alive, so the Sejuani is going to miss minions. Uh, I don't need to take the plant yet. I want to get this Herald, because it gives me 200 gold. However, right, it's not only going to give me 200 gold, it will also give me money from plates when I go to other lanes. So that's why I first want to take this, I'll probably reset, and then take my top lane turret, then use the Herald to either go for mid or go for top tier 2, as long as I can expand my lead. Ultimately, at this point in the game, especially when I'm already this fed, I don't need to kill people to expand my lead. I just need to make sure that they don't kill me, and I get more resources than they are doing. I'm gonna go Mercs, like I said, and now I will... I can choose between Spear of Sojin or Black Cleaver, that is always going to be my second item. I don't like Blade of the Rune King, I think the item is bait. Uh, only if you need it against, like, very 
high HP stacking champions like Mundo or Cyan, but other or Cho'Gath. But other than that, you don't really need it because this item also gives you percentage health uh, damage. So Sejuani is here. All right, so now we're gonna play for the turn, right? It's 10-11 minutes in the game, and then I will be able to maybe go mid and get the plates here, or go bot and get the plates there. Ultimately, my mid lane is losing, my bot lane is losing. It's okay. We're super fat. I will be able to carry this game as long as I play for myself. I don't need to play for kills, right? There's a lot more ways to get gold on your champion. Side waves, 14 CS is a kill. A turret, this one turret right here is even more gold than a kill. Tier 2 turrets give 600 gold, so that's 2 kills, right? Jungle camps, around 2-3 to three jungle camps are equivalent to a kill as well. So I don't need to get kills, I just need to get farm, side waves, turrets, all that stuff. So here, I get a turret without having to use it. Boom, 600 gold, right? It's first turret, plus plate plus the 50 gold that you share. So boom, 600 gold. Now I wanna get this tier two turret as it will give me 600 gold. So I wanna play for that. I don't need to Herald yet. It's TP from Sejuani. I'm super strong, so I don't need to necessarily look to be too scared here. I wanna get my W proc so I can sustain with my divine. Like that, right? It gives me health every time I hit her. I, she does have Bremble, so I gotta keep that in mind. And I'm just gonna hit this turret. Because she doesn't do too much damage to me. Oh. There could be somebody else here if she ult me. Right, that's magic damage too. Now, I could... Okay, there's the Garen, yeah. And Nico could be coming too. Okay, I gotta be a little bit careful here. I do have... Oh. I have Merc, so... Okay. I gotta be careful here though. I'm probably dead. A biscuit again. Yeah. Okay, that that's that's just super crazy by me. This is a death that, that I should just always look to avoid. Um it's good for my Ari though, because Nico is losing waves, but I give a 1k shot to Garen. In fact, I should have just heralded this, sped up my gameplay, and now the problem is I have to open up back to top again, all the way here to get this turret before I can start expanding my lead across other points. I could walk mid to Herald there, but I would rather play for this tier 2 turret because it's going to give me 600 gold, which is 2 kills, right? And that's why I want to go top here, however, I should have just sped up my gameplay and done this faster, so this is completely my bad, and um, yeah, that's it. These are the type of mistakes you want to avoid, but we can still learn from making mistakes as well, right? Okay, I have 7 out of 8 kills, so I gotta... Excuse me, keep that in mind. This could be really good for Kane. Even if she doesn't kill her, he's gonna get a lot of stacks from this. And she's... He's, like, delaying this uh, Sejuani from recalling, so I can also just get here faster. Garen is here. He hasn't recalled yet. Remember, he got 1k gold, and he still didn't buy his Mythic, so he hasn't recalled yet. I know he doesn't have ult. I'm gonna level 11 here. And Sejuani's gonna reset right now, which gives me a little bit of tempo. I'm gonna hard push this wave, Herald, get the tier 2 turret. Then, I have multiple options. I could recall go bot, I could recall go mid. Maybe I don't need to recall, I instantly go mid. Let's see what happens on the map. So I see Nico already fighting. Okay, Nico's have HP. I'm gonna Herald here, get the 600 gold, and probably hard push next wave too. So I get extra tempo, as in, I don't have to come back to top lane for a while. Right? I have to Herald here now, because else the Herald would disappear as well. I'm gonna get this quickly. I'm just gonna get this 600 gold, wonderful. Gonna push this out. I don't need to stay for tier 3 turret. They only give 100 gold. They're useless to play for. My Kane is already ganking bolt. I'm gonna gank mid here. I wanna kill the Nico and get the mid lane turret. So my R is pushing in the wave. That's why I'm gonna go mid here. Garen is bolt, still has a three cold. I always keep that in mind too. Nico has no E. Nico has no W. Oh. Lovely. And now we can get this turret as well. So now we've shut down their mid lane. We killed her twice. She was winning mid very hard. Now we shut down the mid lane twice. Boom. That's one condition out. I'm going to recall here because when you're close enough to gold from your mythic item, you should recall, right? We're going to recall instantly by the Spear of Sojin. Also because nobody else besides Sejuani is buying damage or buying armor. And now we're going to expand the lead to bot. So we spread the lead from top lane to mid. Now we're going to transition that into bot as well. Bot lane is our next objective. Let's go bot here. Oh, that guy's going very deep. Alright, so the Garen is gonna have five kills. That guy's pretty strong. It's okay. At least. Should we. Mm. Let's see. Can't really get much here. I'm playing for this dragon. Garen is dead. This guy's gonna come back with a lot of items, by the way. He's still at my one cash out down, too. You little bitch. That's why the merch was so good. I'm two items strong right now, right? She's only one item, so that's why I do so much ridiculous damage too. She has to back off. Okay, the whole squad is here. 
Uh, I have to be a little careful. And there's the Garen with a lot of items. I know Garen doesn't have ult. No, this is still just greedy. I shouldn't be playing like this. See, this is the mistakes I'm making. See, I got it in the kill, but it's not worth it because again, I gave a shutdown and again, I die. And these are the type of, like, I just limit tests and I'm fighting. I'm looking for kills. I shouldn't be looking for kills. What did I say? Jungle camps? Sidewaves? Turrets. Okay, so let's do that. Let's play for natural resources. What's my next item going to be? Um, probably Holebreaker or Sterex. So I'm gonna buy a pickaxe, and the first thing I'm gonna be playing for is this Herald. Why? The Herald gives me 200 gold, and then with the Herald, I can look for 300 gold here and 600 gold here. So before I go bot here, Morgana's fine for me to catch it. I wanna get this. Let me get Herald for Scything. I'll tell to my team, right? So I need to get this Herald. That Herald alone gives me 200 gold. Then I can use that Herald to expand my lead for the bot lane turrets. So you see, I'm not necessarily thinking where can I get the most kills, I'm thinking where can I get the most gold. Okay, let's also stop dying. Low deaths win games, keep that in mind. It's just a golden rule to live with in League of Legends. Low deaths will win new games. So let's get this ACP. Please don't steal it. Okay, that's all right for you to last hit it. I don't mind that too much. This Varus is here, only one item, 203. I could look for him. Good heal by him. Now I want to go into bot. I'm going to say, let me bot. Me bot. I want my teammates to go away. I want to be bot. I'm going to take this plant to stay full mana, full HP. And I will claim my side wave. Why do I go bot? So I can get maximum gold and XP income here. Go mid, please. I will tell her to go mid. I want to be bot so I can get solo XP and solo gold from all the turrets. Somebody placed the ward there. I'm not sure who it is. However, I don't care too much. Okay, I saw Lux Q, so it was... Oh, no, that sucks. It's okay, though. So there's three people around bot right now. Four people. Let's just live. Let's just make sure we live. I ulted there before he went in, so I got some extra resistances. That's why I lived. I can still fight this Nico. And now he got two kills. Beautiful. This was really massive. He was super fed, right? He had Stride Breaker double zero. But, I mean, he was taking the turret. And I still had ult. And I W'd him before. So I ult W'd. I used my W to get healing from the Divine. This was very big. So now they're all dead. I have tempo. I have to still be careful for Nico ultimate from a mean or something. So next wave. I'm going to be calculating this means. One, two, three. Three minutes. That makes sense. Okay, there's no Nico in this wave. We got the first turret. Nico's mid. Uh, I probably can't get the second turret here, but I could make... Okay, Garrett is top. Nico's here. Sejuani's dead. Lux is... Okay, all people are accounted for. Maybe I can get the turret, but I gotta be fast. I gotta make sure I don't die. I have a shutdown again. So now, we got the Herald. That gave me gold. We got the turrets. That gave me a lot of gold. And we got the kill. So now we got, like, uh, everything we would realistically ever want from life. So now that we have all tier turrets... Tier 2 turrets, rather. Me, personally, I don't see the... Up, but this is a Nico, of course. I don't want to look for a uh, Hallbreaker, I think, anymore. Because I'm mostly going to be looking to teamfight instead. So as a result of that, I think Sterox is a better item for me here. Because I don't want to teamfight. Uh, because I want to look for teamfights more. Baron is going to be our next objective. So boom, that's why we go for this. And now my next item is probably going to be a Gargoyle Stone Plate. Now, I've copied this from TF Plate. He told me that when you have these three items and you go for a Gargoyle Stone Plate fourth... And maybe a Witsend or a Destin's fifth, you're pretty much going to be unkillable due to the amount of resistance that you're going to have. If I finish this, right, I get 60 armor, 60 magic resist. I get the shield from this, I get the shield from this, and I get my ultimate that's going to give me a lot of resistances. So then pretty much nobody can kill me anymore. I don't need more damage, right? As you can see, I can deal a lot of damage if I get on top of somebody. I just need survivability. And the reason behind this as well is if I have enough damage to kill my opponents, but they don't have enough damage to kill me anymore, how can they deal with me? Right? Exactly. Your best offense is a strong defense. All right, let's keep up the focus here. There's a rep of here that I would want, but I'm a little bit out of position for that. I want to look for flank with my champion. My teammates wanted to drag it in 20 seconds, and maybe people will face check me, so that's why I'm sitting here. Let's ping that for five gold. I'm going to push in this next wave as well. 
Again, I could have looked for the red buff, but it's okay. I know Sejirani doesn't have flesh. He flushed into me under the turret last time, I believe. Or it was Garen. One of them flushed into me. I'm not entirely sure who it was. I think it was Sejirani. Because Garen was already very close to me. And now let's play for the dragon. It's going to be third. Ooh. This Garen is probably the awake condition, right? Because he has six skills. So that would be my biggest target to focus in any team fight. He's only level 10 now too. I'm a lot higher level. Okay, let's play for the team fight here. Kaisa's not here. But I only saw Garen too. Okay, we have third dragon now. He's gonna push up mid. Out of oh. Okay. Oh, that's a Nico. Really? Alright, you die to ignite then. That's one. I'm very fast. Maybe not as fast as this guy though. Okay. Let's play for Nash. We got two kills. Okay, let's do Nash. Let's do Nash. We can just ping this. We can do this. Put everybody together. My goal would probably be to zone the Garen, so that's what I'm going to try and do. Right, if he flash smites it, I kinda hate my life. Alright, well, I don't see him anywhere. So I think we're fine. Okay, that's good. Uh, everybody's going to recall, so I'm going to match the recall. It's better when you have Baron, if your teammate's going to recall, the you recall too. So you all leave base at the same time, and now we can all play the map. Baron gives you three minutes of Baron. When this timer hits three, your Baron, uh, uh, Baron ends. So you have around six waves of Baron to play with. So very often, it's going to be a waste of time. If you're going to stay on the map and then recall, because you're going to be desync with your team, like the R is kind of doing here, right? Then it's also going to be bad to farm jungle camps, because when you're farming jungle camps, you're losing side waves, right? So now I'm instantly running to the side wave because I only have six wave. I know that and I want to play as fast as possible. I know this guy has no flesh. She does have a stopwatch. Ooh, you used your proto belt. Come here, piggy. Okay, I can't reach out to her. Now she's dead. No, she's not. She's faker. All right. Lux is there. There could be more people here, else I don't think Sejuani would fight me, so I'm backing off. I don't want to die here. My teammates are not too close. Uh -oh, who else is there? It was only them two. Okay, I could have killed them. But I didn't know that, right? So I'd rather play for the safe play there, because if I die, then Baron is kind of a useless angle. Oh, they're going deep. Alright, well, that makes it easy. Garen is spot. Nico is top. Let's push up mid. And uh, yeah, so here, where, where, uh, the reason I walked away from Sejuani and Nico mostly there is because I'm scared that somebody might be behind, right? And I'd rather uh, avoid the risk than have a risk that they're all there, I die, and then my team cannot play out the game anymore because then the Nash would be pretty much gone, right? So I, I think playing it safe there, rather be safe than sorry. Let's just put it that way. I want to just W bonk everybody. Kaisa's pushing bot, very good by her. And I can push mids. <clears throat> we could dive here, but Sejuani still has ult, so I just want to mainly hit the turret, I believe. Oh, I get Morgana shoot, though. I like that. Lovely. The guy should die, too. And we're pushing in bot, we're pushing in mid, so I'm going to push up bot as well here. Alright, like I said, I stopped dying, which was a very good thing, right? Uh, Varus is going for a wrap up. Alright, we can probably just end this game now. Lovely. Good game. All snowballed from top, right? We played for natural resources, the way I like to call it. You see, I'm gonna have four items by the time that this guy pretty much has one item. And that's because I net I mean, I do have 14 kills, so I end up getting a lot of kills. But you see, I didn't play the map actively looking for kills. I played for going for side waves and going for turrets and, and jungle camps, right? And that resulted into me getting the kills, but they have because they have to stop me, because if I get tier two turrets like that, yeah, I, then I'm gonna be super, super fat, right? So, all in all, very good game. Let's go into the next one. Alrighty, bro, second game here. We're gonna be last pick red side, which is generally speaking going to be the best position to ever be in because you're gonna be 10th pick in the game. Now, I only hope that Jax is not going to get pick or bad. That could be a risk, right? That's like the only risk because Jax is very high pick or bad, right? I'm not gonna bet anything. I want to see if we can get a tough matchup. Alternatively, I'm also fine to just blind pick because if I pick early, I can maybe show more of how I would approach any counter matchup, right? So let's see if we can get some of those. And it also just reduces the risk that uh, they're gonna pick our ban Jax. So that's why I like to swap sometimes. Right, no Jax ban. As long as they don't first pick it, yeah, we're happy. <laughs> they pick my Diana. All right, still don't see top laner. I already like that we have Vex mid because it gives me some engage options. So that's nice. Darius. Now, Darius is very similar to Jax where 
Um, so sorry to to Karen, where I, I I take Flesh Ignite in this matchup. And uh, do I take Tenacity? It's only Senna and Varus ult. I still think it's probably better to take Tenacity just when I'm fighting against them. Uh, but I'll go see the Arbutus this game. I take Flesh Ignite into Darius simply because this is a very it's a good matchup for Jax. Pretty good matchup. Um, but it's also a matchup where either I full win the all-in or Darius gets his passive and destroys me, right? So that's why I'm gonna go Lethal Temple, Flesh Ignite, the most aggressive setup that I can. That if I get on top of him, I'm looking to one-shot him and, uh, you know, getting the hell out of dodge. So that is why I take Flesh Ignite in this matchup. I don't go Grass, I don't go Ghost TP, I want Flesh Ignite, I want aggression. Lethal Temple, Flesh Ignite, right? And I'm gonna take D-Blade in this matchup too. And I'm looking to get priority, getting my level up timers first. All that good stuff. He's playing Conqueror Resolve Ghost TP. So he is going to be oppressive in a sense that he's the most aggressive setup, right? Like Flash, uh, Flash Ghost, of course, is very centered on Darius. He is Resolve. Uh, sometimes Ghost, or sorry, sometimes Darius players will run uh, Sorcery with Nimbus, but this guy's playing Resolve, so he probably has Bone Plating. That's one thing to keep in mind. Um, so let's see here. I always like to switch to Percent Offset. It's my personal setting. Uh, it looks like we have no AFKs, but I could be wrong. It could still be Lucian or Kha'Zix, but usually they spawn in the center of the fountain if they have it connected. I'm gonna ping them backwards and hopefully they play. Is yes, Lucian is there. All five of us are here, so that's perfect. I mean, it's not the 90%, so somebody may have not connected or is trying to reconnect, right? We never really know for certain. And what I always do, chat, is prep your first four ways. We're playing against Darius here, so I'm just scouting out. I don't see anybody. Lovely. Let's get my ward down. So I know how both jungles are going to be pathing in the first four ways. Okay, it looks like it might have been my Lucian, I guess. And exactly, we're going to be fishing, Jax. You already know. Oh, yeah, so it looks like this guy's lagging a lot. You can get 10 gold from a fish, but you usually get one gold. Like that, right? Lovely. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to sit in the second bush. If the Darius face checks me, he wins the extended fight because lethal uh, because he is uh, his passive, right? And then like the oh, okay, yeah, so I gotta be careful here. So there, he already had auto W off, so I got his bone plating now. It's an equal trade, but because he had bone plating, I actually can't extend the trade there. So there, I just auto uh, he auto Ws me instantly, and then I just E his next auto attack, so he can't get more passive procs, and then we back off. But now, if I have my E again, I can fight, right? Because I block his auto, he doesn't slow me. And now I've Lethal Tempo and Ignite, and now I win. Even with the mean damage. Because Lethal Tempo and Ignite, right? So here, the first trade, I don't win because of his Bone Plating. And then I do win because I have Lethal Tempo and I have Flesh Ignite, right? He didn't respect it. I'm going to do a second wave crash. Make sure I get a most unless it so I can get to 700 gold here. And then we get double longsword and the game is already in a wonderful position. So here, it's just a matter of understanding his setup, understanding my setup. He, he wins the first fight there if I extend it. So I only get his bone plating, I dip away, and then we go for the second fight. I block his W with my E, right? Of course, your E blocks any auto attacks. And now we're in a beautiful position. Now, do I go Sheen or Double Longsword? Double Longsword, because we're playing with Lethal Tempo. I don't have any potions, so that's one thing I have to keep in mind. But neither does he, so we're okay, and we're gonna have biscuits. Okay. This way he's gonna be bouncing back into me. And Diana's pathing into top. How do I know that when I haven't seen Diana? That's because I left my ward right here and she did not start in a blue buff. So I know that Diana's pathing into top. And that means I gotta be a little bit careful on contesting this bounce. Because whilst the wave is pushing into me, it's going to be Darius' turn in the lane, right? He's gonna have the bigger medium wave. He has the level uh, top timer. So even though I have double longsword over him here, I'm going to approach this relatively reserved. Because he's a level up, he has a bigger wave. And Diana is coming to top. So here, if I just take one step backwards right here, I'll be able to go two steps forward on the bounce. Because then I'm going to be level four. Then I'm going to have my item lead. And then I'm going to have the bigger minion wave, right? So the lesson to learn is don't only play aggressive. Don't always play aggressive. You gotta, you know, you gotta learn to balance your aggression. So here, I'm just gonna let this crash. And then on the bounce, I will be stronger. And we're gonna be happy. It's gonna hit the cannon. I'm gonna W it just to guarantee it. So he just hit level 4. I will wait till I'm level 4 and then I'll start trading again. I don't want to trade before I'm level 4. Simply because level ups, every level timer counts, right? I will get his bone plating here if I can. Okay, trying to space me there. I, I see you. Now I'm level 4. Got his bone plating out. Now I'm down to fight. Okay, he goes. So I'm going to back off. Because he has 3 stacks too. Okay. Now on my next E I can win. Why? Because he has no E. He has no ghost. I'm going to have Ignite. However, Diana could still be topside. I'm ready to scare of Diana because we haven't seen Diana yet. I'm going to have the bigger minion wave here, though. Okay, Diana's mid. 20 HS. That means... Oh, excuse on cooldown. 
use this Q so I can instantly jump in. All right, now I'm going to slow push. Two things that can happen here. If Darius walks up, I trade with him. If he stays on the turret, I'm going to be level 5. I'm going to have all my cooldowns. I'm going to have Ignite. I can kill him. All right, this is my turn of the lane. So Darius, what he should do is reset right now. He doesn't know that. He doesn't have the fundamentals. He's walking up even a little bit. Very good flash by him. But now I'm going to do a trick, okay? Listen, I'm going to just press Ignite on him. I want to just walk up and press Ignite to get him to 1 HP before the wave crashes. So I'm going to step backwards. Okay, he's not walking up. He's close to level 5 and he has bone plating. So what I want to do here is just press Ignite. Only Ignite on him. This procs his bone plating and puts him to lower HP. Okay. Now, oh, he did hit level 5. Ah, uh, I want to go for it, but it's very greedy. If I trade 1 for 1, it's worth. If I die, it's of course not worth. I'm stacking on my passive here all the way. I have enough mana for my full combo. I'm going to do it. Okay, nice. I leveled up. That's not enough. Now, it is worth it. It's an execute, which is more worth it. Because he loses this entire wave. And the wave will bounce back into me. If it was a one for one, it would still be worth it, right? So now, I am going to get boots. Because I assume that this Darius is going to buy boots. And I buy boots to match it. I have Sheen Double Longsword. Now, in a lot of matchups, I like to buy HP. But into Darius, HP doesn't really matter. Because if he gets his passive, he will one-shot me anyways, right? I I'm instantly dead. So I just go for a more aggressive setup here. So I can look to kill him. I could have finished Caulfields too, which maybe would have been good. But I think the movement speed to try and space with him is also very beneficial. Because yeah, there you go. He has boots too. He's a pink. Double potion. I have refillable. Both equal potions. However, he's level 5. I'm level 6. So I'm going to be fighting here. Boom, sent into him. The more trades I do, the more beneficial it is for me. You know why, chat? Because at 605 to 6010, there is something spawning in River, which I refer to as the fundamental snack. Watch this, it's gonna grow into an adult. Three, two, one. Hello! You should be growing up! Why are you so late? There we go. Thank you. 620 this time. It's always random. Sometimes it spawns at 605, sometimes 6010, this time 620, but boom. Now he is this HP and I'm full HP. I haven't used a single potion yet. I don't want to gank here. He hasn't recalled yet. The ad is already recalled. I don't want my Jarner to gank here. My Jarner should go back into bot side because he's wasting so much time just ganking here, right? He hasn't recalled yet. He's 32 CS. Six minutes into the game. Diana's already 36 and has recalled. So I want him to recall to not fall further behind. Diana could be topside again because remember, she full clear bot into top and now she's probably topside again. And that's why I don't want to fight because she has items and my Jarner doesn't. I'm going to ward here and. Here, and now I should not really be able to get ganked, unless she comes through lane. Now I'm gonna thin out this wave, try to get level 7, and then I'll fight the Darius, because I'm gonna have Ignite again. I'll have Ignite, he might have Ghost? I'm not too sure, but we'll find out. He has no potions, I still have two potions. So if I look for an equal health rate with the Darius here, it's going to greatly benefit me. Alright, he's level 7, I'm gonna match that. I'm level 7, he's probably going to walk up for this cannon, right? He's forced to walk up for last if he wants them, so I'm gonna walk away. Make him think he can get it. Okay, he's not walking up. I respect it. So every time, I'm going to... Like, I'm not going to stand here. If I stand here, Doris will never walk up. But if I stand here, right, behind my means, Doris might feel mentally safe enough to walk up for assets. So I want to bait him to think he can walk up for assets. And if he does, I will fight him. In the meantime, I'm thinning out the wave so it doesn't get too big. Because this next wave that I want to freeze on... And again, I want to stand backwards, baiting the Doris to walk up for assets, but he's not falling for the bait, Okay. Diana's bot side, 40 CS. This plate is 1 HP, so I can also eventually make this wave push back into this guy and look for uh, plates, right? But right now, I'm happy with what I'm doing. Doris is forced to walk up for last hits, and uh, this is working amazing. I think he still has flash advantage, so that's one thing I have to keep in mind. But yeah, Doris hasn't, hasn't touched the last hit, like, uh, in a million years. So we're chilling. Now let's check one thing. My means are 1% stronger now. That's because my team collectively has level up above enemy team, right? So we see here two levels up. Oh, he walked up for last hits. I will punish. Good E by him. Okay. I have a flash coming up. I have level 8 coming up. I'm going to slow push this wave. Hard push on this wave. Maybe one or two plates. Proxy one wave and recall. That's my plan right here. So you see I'm always thinking ahead with my wave position. Now, of course... I know what to do because I've played this game a bazillion, gazillion years. However, I, in, uh, I uh, advise all of you to start working towards making plans for your wave so you get more consistent with it, right? As long as you start making plans, it's good. This is my turn in the lane. I want to try and all in right here. If he walks up, ult as well. 
ignite as well and now Darius is going to be full 1 hp right so now Darius has to make a choice does he stay under his turret or does he recall if he recalls he's losing two plates two waves if he stays i dive him and he loses the game as well so that is why you never walk up in the wave of slow push towards you like this he ends up recalling here which is the correct decision but you see he loses two waves and two plates so even though i don't kill him Darius losing two waves is equivalent to like 400 gold and me getting two plates like this is 250 gold as well okay he ends up staying but i already got two plates i'm already happy i know diana's coming I need 1900 gold for my item. I can sell my D-Blade as well for 180. So realistically, I want to get towards 1720 gold so I can sell my D-Blade and get my item. I can also sell refillable at 60 more gold. I'm fine with them sharing XP and stuff here. I don't need to fight. I have 200 shutdown. I can slow push this wave, hard push next wave. It's going to be a cannon wave. Now, in terms of calculation, cannon wave gives 200 gold so if you calculate my gold here right i need this wave exactly and i'll have my mythic so let's hard push this and just look to reset i don't need to look for kills i'm just winning my lane through fundamentals reset timers wave manipulation <gasps> ah lois mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia now i have to sell the refillable i guess now we sell the refillable for 60 tokens that's okay happens sometimes you minus one it Sometimes you minus one it. It's okay. I don't. I didn't need this item anyways. I don't like it. I don't like the item. All right, wonderful. Let's go back to lane. And now we're double CS. We're still two kills off. I haven't killed the Darius anymore. But what I did do was play with my wave manipulation, and I decided my all-in timer when it was a very beneficial time for me. Right, whenever the wave was slow pushing towards my opponent, my bot lane seems to be absolutely smurfing. They have hundred CS as well. It's well done by them. I guess the Lucianami is taking over the Senna Kaiser lane completely. Um. Diana should probably recall and go back into bot side because she was top side for a very extended period, right? And right now, I don't necessarily need to kill Darius to expand my lead. I can expand my lead through different ways. If I get a plate and a proxy and maybe a jungle camp, I already get a kill over the Darius, right? Because the plate gives me 125 gold and the jungle camp is also going to give me gold and XP. So right here, I'm just going to push in the wave and he has to choose to play for the wave or for me. Looks like he's playing for me here. It's okay. I'm going to get the plate instead then. Okay, he does get his passive here, unless I auto E his auto attack. He doesn't get his passive now, and we should be fine. Because we have full divine. Divine Thunderer. Just playing with him, play it slow. Every time auto bonk, auto bonk, auto bonk. You might be wondering what is your bonk, it's W with divine. He tried to play me here, he spaced it pretty well. It's just important that he didn't get his passive out the first time, and then I can live. Let's say he got his passive out the first time, I'll just put a ward down and jump to it and maybe flash away, and I would probably live because I have two dashes and he only has one. But uh, I understand that this, of course, this part, what I did here, is a little bit harder to replicate, right? I'm spacing well, I'm doing three things at once, I'm taking I'm taking care of his... Oh, ay, 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 ay. I'm taking care of... Look, I can win this, no? I'm taking a look at his passive stacks, I'm taking a look at the third plate, I'm taking a look where the next wave is at, so that was of course a lot to manage at once. However, the one thing that I think is consistent here is I said Diana is most likely going to be bought. And why did I know that? Because she was topside for a very long time, right? And that is why I was able to make this decision in the first place, and I think that's what matters the most. Execution, of course, is very important, however, uh, that's more so dependent on how you play yourself. Okay. So now there's only one plate left, we're 12, 13 minutes into the game. I definitely want to start getting this uh, plate. I think Diana's doing Herald should die in any second. Kha'Zix is bot, so we are weak sided. Uh, but Diana also got a massive shot in bot lane, so I assume that Diana also wants to recall. So she's either on Herald or recalling, and she could come back into top side or into bot side. Kha'Zix is taking her bot side camp, but she doesn't know that. So uh, right now I have no idea where Diana's at, so I'm also not going to play too aggressive. There she is. She hasn't recalled yet. If I get a turret, I can do whatever I want, right? Okay. Wait for the passive to run out. Start healing with Divine. Divine Sunderer. Level up. Divine Sunderer. And... Divine Sunderer. Okay, now, that was mechanics, but if you are a Jack Swan trick, let's say you have 500 Jax games, maybe you even play that better than I do, right? That's all that matters, we got a flash, we pretty much win the game from that. We killed the top jungle, Diana hadn't recalled yet, I checked her items before the fight, I felt very safe, she probably has enough gold to get Pro the Belt and her tier 2 boots, instead, she stayed on the map, tried to fight me, died, I win the game, I get the turret, I get the double kill, I'm gonna ask, let me please 
so I can split, right? Because I want to play for the tier two turns. The Kazi said yes, he's a knower. And we're very happy with that. Okay, we got five people on this Herald. Try last set, it gave me the most gold. Now, I could go top or I could go bot. I'm going to go bot. And uh, do we want Tavis or Spear Soldier? I'm going to go Spear Soldier because they don't have a lot of armor, right? If I want to, I want to see Diana on the map and see how much gold she had, right? Before fighting, because I believe she has enough for Pro to build and tier two boots. But we got to verify it by finding her on the map. Right now, I haven't seen her. I'm going to go for this tier two turret because that gives 600 gold. I am not going to run mid here. My tier two, so if I run mid here, maybe the play works. Maybe it doesn't. I don't have both summoners, right? So I'd rather go bolt and play for this tier 2 turret because it's a 100% play. And I like 100% plays. Look, she had a full mythic and a full blasting wand, right? All right, got her flesh. Look at that much uh, gold to Diana spent there. So yeah, that's what I mean. She was sitting on a lot of gold. And that I know that because I'm continuously pressing tab throughout my playing, right? So I'm constantly pressing tab. How much gold do people have? How strong are people on the map? All right, we may have lost mid tier 1. I don't care. We got Kai's flesh and I'm going to get this tier 2, which will grab me 600 tokens. Diana Smith. Gonna place on the Herald if I get the opportunity to. Oh, maybe not. Why is she walking forward? Who else is here? Let's see you get out of this. Hey! Please don't have bolt. Hey! He has ult. Chat, we might be dead. And this is what we refer to as a greedy piggy. Make the noise. <coughs> Why am I a greedy pig? Because I am. I was erased. Uh, shut up, Alois. See, this is the mistake I shouldn't make. I give my 1k away again. Sucks, okay? They had four bots. Couldn't have predicted that. But now my teammates are also all caught. Please don't all die. Oh, no. Okay, that was a really good fear by the Vex, at least. Um, now I'm going to have to make a choice. Where do I open up, right? From base. That's the first thing you'll be thinking about. Where I'm going to open up. Are we going to open up top or both? It looks like this side wave is pushing into us. And this side wave is pushing away from us. So by default, I'm more inclined to walk into both. Simply because I'll get more resources here. So I'll go to both. Because I'm a greedy piggy. I like being selfish. I like to play for myself. If I get resources, I'll carry the game. Stay hydrated. Okay. Let's use this herald to get the 600 gold. Right? And that's... Well, this time at least they both lost flashes. I know Diana still doesn't have flashes as well. And let's play Disciplined, okay? No more deaths. Let's play for tier 2 turret. That will be good for us. Doris is here. He's only one item and two items. I have CDR boots, so... That was a really good E-timing by him. And I just want to play for the wave and get the tier 2 turret. That's all I want to do. I don't want to do anything else. I want tier 2 turrets. I want tier 2 turrets. 600 gold. Why is he walking up? That's why. Okay, I'm going to have to ult multiple people here. My team knows about the Jax mechanics. There we go. We just had to focus the target. That was the easiest to reach onto. It was a Darius because he didn't expect me to. And uh, I think I'm tanky enough to get this turret under his... No, I'm not. Let's not be a greedy pig. I didn't get a tier 2 turret. I got a triple kill. Let's take that W and let's recall. Let's play Disciplined. I'm probably going to open up top here now. Um, let's go for Holebreaker. I think it's very standard to go for Holebreaker next. And we're going to keep looking to try and expand our lead. I still want these T2 turrets. Uh, this time I'm going to see if I go top. If they hopefully don't send five people towards me. Okay, they're all five mid right now. I just want to go top. And I hope they don't send all for me. If they do, they will reset go bot. <laughs> Why are they all coming into top side? No. I want tier 2 turrets, mate. I don't want to kill you guys all. I just want tier 2 turrets. Should have went bot, I guess. I guess... We made a wrong decision again. Let's keep checking items. Vars is two items because I gave him a 1k shutdown. Please be dead. Okay, nice. That's one, two, three. Mid. Var is dead. Who else is there? Diana. Where's Diana at? Of course there are four mid. <laughs> I know what you mean. Got a ward here to preemptively maybe give myself an escape route too. And now we can finally get this tier to turret. Okay, this guy's not alone. I'd assume. 
She has flesh. Let's try and run. We got the tier two third. We got what we came for. We got what we came for. Let's go. Oh, I didn't want to jump on you. I'm sorry. Oh, actually, I do want to jump on you. Where are we going to go next? Try and guess where I'm going to go next. Bot lane. Why? Tier two third. 600 gold. Let's go to bot lane. Wee -woo, wee -woo. Do I go hold? Do I go sterox? Do I go hold? Do I go sterox? Do I go hold? I'm going to go sterox because I should be able to brute force a tier two third with the sterox and I want a team fight. So I'd like to have sterox so that if I join a team fight and Varus ults me and Diana ults me, I don't get bursted down. And if Darius ults me, he might miscalculate because I'm going to get my Sterox shield. And then we're going to go for Gargoyles next. And we're going to keep playing for natural resources. Everybody's one to two items. I'm already three items. Why? Well, I do have nine kills. I have a lot of farm. But I'm also playing for turrets. Turrets, 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 and turrets. And drone camps. And side waves. As they give me the gold. I'm not rotating to kills. I'm rotating to the waves where I can get the most gold. So now, side wave into another side wave. Into a tier two turret. And if enemies are going to try and defend me, then I will kill them. And see, I don't rotate to kills. I let them rotate to me. And then I kill them. Double profit. Well done, team. My Gs. They're playing it well, too. So then the game is even easier. I can get my natural resources on side lane. And my team is winning on the other side. Beautiful. I think I can just keep pushing. <laughs> yeah, if my team plays like that, then I can just keep pushing for sure. Lovely. Keep it going. I don't have to move for kills. I can just get the turret. Now, tier two, tier, tier three turrets aren't worth that much. If you see here, look, I'm only getting 50 gold plus 50, right? So you get 100 gold for getting a tier three turret. That's why these are. I saw 20 damage. Generally speaking, not the biggest objective in mid to late. It's always the tier two turrets that matter the most. Ooh, oh yeah, I got sniped. American sniper on enemy team. I respect that though. Can I get this turret? Might be greedy. Mars ult as well. They're all gonna respawn. Let's get out. This guy's dead though. Okay. Wait, Vars is walking up. This guy's no flesh. Nice sidestep. Please not plant. Of course. Where are you, piggy? What? How did I not spot him? Okay, all the bros are dead. I should play discipline here. Should not die as well. Because they could play for Nash. Is that planned? Nice. I mean, I kind of can fight now that I have all my resources. Dish, where are you at? I know Vars doesn't have flash and ult. So if I E flash Q him, he would be dead. Are they on Nash? No. I want to check Nash. All right. Who else? I mean, if I fight them one one by one, then it's easy pickings, right? As long as I don't fight them. Oh, this guy's a flush. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's Jax is kind of spitting. If they're going one by one, then it's easy, easy pickings. Let's get the 3,200 gold reset. I'm gonna be absolutely unkillable after that item. As you guys can see, I'm still one shooting people left and right. And now I'm gonna have this full item, and uh, we're gonna play for Baron. Yes. And uh, boom, I can get this, I can get a pink ward. My last item would probably be a death stance. And then now I have Sterox shoot, I have Gargoyle shoot, I have my ultimate. I already have ridiculous resistances. Let's first step here. If I ult somebody, uh, let's, let's just say I'm going to get a lot of resistances. Let's just say I'm going to get a lot of resistances. I don't know how to calculate it. Let's see if we can ult like three people at once. I probably have like 400 armor, 300 magic, something, something ridiculous like that. Put my gargles in point three and my pink in point two, simply because that's what I'm most used at. And I want to try and avoid spending too much mana, because my champion is extremely mana hungry. My E is 90 mana, my Q is 65 mana, so I'm only gonna press W here, because after we get the snatch, I want to siege, because everybody just came from base, right? Nobody should recall. And uh, as a result of that, I only want to use my W, so that we can look to siege and probably at this game. We have bot lane in hip. Okay, they're chasing my illusion very far. I'm gonna help the bro. Somebody took this. Yeah. Oh, let's go this way. Wait, this guy's surfing. Give me that blue buff. Boom. Blue flash. Bonk. Well, chat, like I said, I stopped dying. Remember when I died here to the Vars? I said, I stopped dying. 
I'm playing for natural resources. I have four items. Homie is... Uh, he's kind of cooking. Okay, this guy has three items. He's pretty strong, right? But I'm still a full item above everybody. I want to ult somebody just to see how much resistance I would actually get. Darius. No, he's one HP. He's not going to let me ult him. Look at that. 300 armor, 200 magic resist. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, I'm kind of thanking a lot here. Um... Uh... <laughs> okay, my bad. That was completely greedy, and I tried to jump with my pink ward, but it wasn't slot. I was pressing one, but it wasn't slot two, which I was talking about earlier, and I'm a piggy. Okay, that was pure grief. Um, my bad. I mean, that's just my bad angle, and uh, Dar's got the 1k. He and he has an uh, item now. Okay, let's let's close that clean. That's just uh, a greedy piggy moment. Oh. Kha'Zix has different plans. He just ends the game quickly. Lovely. I mean, Lushinami can maybe kill everybody with the means too. Okay. No, the Darius is too tanky. Nah, no, that guy's dead. I'm gonna buy a red potion too. Holy. He still killed quite a lot of people. Okay, now let's look to end the game. We're gonna have gargles, we're gonna have sterox, we're gonna have flash, we have potion, we have everything. Let's not limit test if I get my ult on two to three people, everybody will die and the uh, life's cute. Life's cute. I could arguably, if I kill Varus first, kill everybody. The, the, the Varus deals the most damage to me, right? If I kill that guy first, I think I can kill everybody. This inip is about to respawn. And this one too. Yeah, the inips are respawning. Uh I think I theoretically should wait for my team. Okay, if X is TPing. Come here. Jax, don't try to be the hero. <laughs> That's one. I'll just one shot him. Awesome Jax moment. 420 armor, 420 armor, 420 armor. And, uh... Yeah, Corch Kia with the 420 armor. Give me the bat! Hey! No, I don't want to die to his Q. Okay, 420 armor, though. We got old on two, three people. We got Gargles, we got Sterox. We can't die, we kill everybody. GG. Let's move on. And they pick Yorick. Isn't this like a really good matchup for me? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Because I can just eat all his like little goo thingies. Pretty sure this matchup is like crazy good for me. Yes, it's EU server. Yeah, I think Gragas and Malphite are very annoying. Yeah, it's probably guaranteed, but it's okay. It's gonna be an interesting matchup. How should you play around Jack's low cooldowns? I'll show you. I don't think my rune setup really changes. We just go with this. And um, so again, let's scout the first four waves here, right? We're playing Yaximus, one of the strongest first four wave champions. This guy is Nocturne with Lethal Tempo, strong early game jungler, but we have Jarvan, which is also strong early game jungler. I'm playing against a Garen with Phaser's Conqueror, Flesh Ignite. I'm obviously stronger than the Garen in level one. Both turns are strong in the early game. I want to look to see if I can scout where this Nocturne is starting, and then we will start in lane and play aggressive. You're, I think, as Jax, you win level 1 in top lane 80 to 90% of your matchups at level 1 because of your E and Lethal Tempo. So, let's see. Like I said, we're playing against Garen and Yorick this game. I think I win both side lanes unless I fall super far behind. You just go Divine every game. And one thing I will say, I think Blade Rune King is one of the biggest bait items on Jax. I'd rather have like Divine Sunderer, Spirit of Soldier or Cleaver and then like Zonyas. And with end, we need extra on-hit damage. But Blade Rune King very often is a bait item. Also big. Ah, okay, okay, no worth, I guess. My baby. Hello. I want to fish. We just stand here. He does that thing, and I go fishing. I don't have to ward because my bot lane already got a ward down. I'm just gonna peacefully fish. I'm getting money. I'm doing passive income stuff. He's not. Well, I mean, I'm making passive income. I'm chilling. I have three money. All right, let's play aggressive now. Like I said, I have the stronger level one. So let's utilize that. He might have E-star. I didn't E. How do I not E that? 
Should have been a much better trade for me. He has Q again. It's way shorter cooldown. But I'm going to take my passive. Look at my attack speed now, right? For his next Q, I will be ready. The second game in a row where I don't respond to their first auto attack. Kind of embarrassing. Right? That's better. There you go. That's it. I just take my passive, he cues me, I eat it, and he dies. One million for my level 2, so I'm staying a little bit backwards to try and bait this Garen to walk up. He didn't fall for it. He did. Okay. It's worth it here, I think, to take the turret hit. He gets level 2 here. He has E or W, I'm not sure, right? I get my level 3 from this minion. There's a notch in level 3. I think I can 2v1 in the wave. E here for the Garen Q. I'm playing a broken early game champion chat. I'll be fine, okay? Trust me. Now it's my turn. Good boy. What? How? Let's go. Well, they both handle flesh. Nocturne has to come into the top side again, so what this guy's doing here is very bad. Oh, he's chilling, I guess. And we go for Shin Long Sword. Ooh, potion. Always buy potions in the early game. Never buy control wards. Always potion. In fact, I'm gonna buy. See, I buy potions. Garen buys pink wards. He, his name is Kira. My name is Fundamentals. Potions in the early game are super broken. You see, one potion gives 120 HP. Sure, it's over time, but let's look at a ruby crystal, right? 400 gold for 150 HP. 50 gold for 120 HP. Keep that in mind. Potions are super, super broken in the early game. If I trade with the Garen right now, and he loses half his HP, and I lose half my HP, I will be completely dominating lane because I have some potions and he does not. Alright. Walk up a little bit, bro. Come on. You see, I'm standing backwards to kind of like bait this Garen to walk up. But he knows. Oh, he just used W. What's that? I wanted to go for his last hit. Oh, it always works eventually. And, uh, yeah, we can safely say that this Garen's game is Jover. Completely Jover. We don't get damage on this thing yet. Also, if I E, I need to let it run out completely, then it actually deals damage. Like, I can't cancel myself because there's a bug currently with Jax that. Okay, let's get this plate. Let's get six. And let's zones get from turret again. I can 2v1 as well if they come. I'm gonna keep my passive up here. So yeah, Garen can pretty much just say how can play. And uh, I agree. I'm gonna play for the plate. Might have to make another last nice. Let's hard push this wave now. And look for a reset for myself. I don't need to deal with the casters. My team, my means will do it. I can recall. I can't recall. We can freeze it actually. I took two turret shots. You think I care? I'm Jax. Okay, careful. You see how, how like, who plays Garen, bro? The champion is so weak. Why would you ever play Garen, lol? You see how we got champion this shit? That's cringe. That's that's strong again, by the way. That's cringe. Okay, my bad. Way too greedy, by the way. Complete, complete idiotic gameplay by your boy. Yeah, that was a fundamental snack in the river. Plus, I should have just recalled 5 50 minutes ago, but instead, I'm doing the Jax thing where I have zero discipline. It's like, 
if you're a Jax main, any Jax main in my chat knows. Any Jax main in my chat knows. If you're a Jax main, you always jump in whenever you can fight. You don't care about enemy jungle. And if you get a kill, you don't recall because maybe you can get another kill. Any truers? And my, my, I have brain rot at the moment too, so I gotta focus on that. What the hell? So, let's be the first low death Jax to have ever existed. Let's actually be the first f disciplined Jax player, okay? I wanna dive him. Okay, shut up, Alois! My champion is too broken, so there's just too many options I have. Nocturne could be here, else he would never walk up. I'm doing a thing. What? What? Worth. So worth in chat, worth in chat, worth in chat. Okay, let's play this play from here and out. Let's play towards a divine. That's why I also didn't buy anything as well. Gapus Topus. Goodbye. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good voice line. Alright, let's slow push this wave into hard push next wave. Get the vines under a recall because getting my divine will make me twice as strong as I currently am on these three components, right? So I should slow push this wave as I'm saying, allowing this next wave to walk through the lane so I can hard push it in a comfortable situation, uh, like location, spot, stuff, thing. So I can't get ganked here. In theory, I don't get ganked here. Now we hard push this and we look to recall. We don't look to fight. Alois, don't fight. Don't fight, Alois. Don't fight. Just hard push and recall. Yes. Don't fight him. Recall. You get the vine now, and now I'll be twice as strong. I'll lose a plate. It's okay, salute to the plate. Nocturne was topside with level 6. Very good, Alois. And we didn't lose the plate. Good job, Alois. You had discipline. Your jungler was both side. You had no idea where Nocturne was at. He is level 6 for sure. Good job. The wholesome item. AKA the Vine Sunderer. AKA I never die again. This is a Mercs game because of this, this, this. So I'm definitely going Mercs this game. Did you say after a long day of beating up fat guys? I swear that's what I heard, by the way. Oh, bad guys! No, it's bad guys. Okay, sorry. That's... Nah, what happens? It didn't click. That voice line is weird. Yeah, no, he's like, he legit says fat guys. Okay, I'm not the only one. Alright, let's play for the plates and let's expand our lead chat without having to kill the Garen. There's one plate. It's 125. Let's proxy. I could run to mid. The Yurik has no flash. Let's see what Yurik does. I have a Malzar with ult. I don't have to kill to expand my lead. I can proxy. I got the plate. I don't, this next wave I'm supposed to collect. And I can roam mid. Similar to how I do on Riven. <gasps> or on Garen. Or on any other champion. There we go. Lead has been expended. Another plate has been caught. Well played team. And now we go back top. I lost nothing. Garen only got the wave. I got the wave. Plus the plate. Plus the kill. Plus another plate, and I lost nothing! Proxy into Rome! Temple! That's how you expand your lead. You don't have to only kill or play to kill your opponents. There's 10 different ways to expand your lead. Learn how to utilize them. You can do it on every champion, not only on Riven. You lost two minions. Permanent Night Titan. Permanent. No, I'm kidding. Okay, I lost two minions. My bad, bro. My bad, bro. Hey, you guys are piggies. Type one in chat if you're a piggy. Nocturne is both sides, that means I don't want to recall yet. And now we're gonna proxy here for tempo again. We lose nothing. Okay, let's focus. What's my next item, you chat? What's my next item? See the orbits, right? I said Mercs. If anybody flames my wall up, I'm perma I said Mercs, I said Mercs. Uh, I can go for this as well. Spear of Sojourn is better. Cleaver Second is better. Um, even Hole Breaker is not that bad. Uh, Zonia's is a very good item. I also only have uh, Malzar and Karma, I guess. But Zonia is pretty good for me, right? This game. 
So, it's also going to give me armor, which is very nice. Um, Jax is the only champion in the game that is able to buy every armor item. He can buy Zonyas, he can buy Death Stance, he can buy Frozen Heart, and he can buy Zonya. Zonya's Frozen Heart, Death Stance, Guardian Angel. He can buy all of them. Why is it bait? Because you do enough damage without it. You don't need Blade of the Rune King, and it makes you super squishy. You just need to stay alive. It doesn't allow you to teamfight anymore. Uh, it's hard for this wave. It will get level 11. I'm just not sure where Nocturne is at. So let's look to just hit the plate under his nose, okay? I want to try and get this turret. I think I can tank him and get the plate at the same time. And then after turret is gone... Okay, I can't. Run. He must have forgotten Jax. So now what, Garen? I'm gonna go to bolt because there's a fat ass wave there. I know this side wave is gonna be halted, but I don't care because there's a fat wave there, so I'm running. I'm a fat kid for. I'm a. I don't even know what I'm saying. I like I, I like side waves. I like fat side waves. Somehow I went to I'm a fat kid. Let's go. Let's go bolt. Yeah, like a fat kid in the candy store. That's it. That's it. Like a fat kid in the candy store. That's me on sideways. Uh, chat, learn to integrate farm mentality over kill mentality. Farm mentality over kill mentality. You want a means to hit you, so your E deals more damage. Your E deals more damage based on how many things have hit you, or like auto-attack you. Let's focus here. Yeah, I don't like my life. Sanctified, you're gonna have to die. Oh my days. That's one. This guy doesn't have flash, and he's full AD. He's old though. He missed E. Can I do this? I don't know. That's a thing, I don't really know my damage, but it's enough. Oh, I wanted the 50. Okay. Garen got the full turret, which kind of blows. I'm kind of scared of Nocturne coming, but he doesn't have ult yet. So let's push in this wave. We're still expanding our lead. We got two kills again. I think I have tempo to take this because Garen is still recalling from topside and Nocturne doesn't have ult yet. So I think I actually take this. Zerat is here. Garen is here. Nocturne ult is coming soon, but it's very beneficial for me to push at this side wave. I do have a 1k shot done though. It's so good for me to push at the side wave, so it bounces back into me again. Alright, we got it in. It was a bit greedy there. But now the side of crush into the tier 2. We'll try to make it bounce back into me, similar to how landing phase means work. We can buy our Spear of Sohin and we go for. Is it Harold? I think we go for Zonyas. I like it. I think it's very standard. It's just super solid. We get some AP damage because most of our abilities, you see, your ult has magic damage, your E has magic damage, your W has magic damage, your Q is physical. So there's three abilities that actually have magic damage. Jax just has very weird damage. Um, what do you say this? Oh, uh, well, I don't know the name. Anyways, you can build. You need a super variety build, but I think this is like the three core staple items. You like like the typical funny Nordic that no hate. Okay, this guy's no flash. All right, I'm stuck. I was pressing flash, but I didn't have flash. Happens. Your damage profile. There you go, Trent. Alright, let's like I said, let's keep low deaths, right? I haven't died anymore. I push him out the side wave for 10 seconds per minute on Hex. Right? We're doing good. Let's keep up the discipline here. Go for the scuttle crap. We hard push one side wave, go for scuttle. I win side wave very hard against both the Yorick and the Garen, because they only have one item and I'm on two. Just gotta be careful for the Notion, because he's pretty strong. Let's get this pink ward here too. Flesh and 30. I gotta be careful my mana though. And whenever I use my mana, it's 90 mana, so I gotta use that ability a lot less. Good to note. Playing a champion that actually has mana. My bad. So, what I wanna do here is slow push this first wave, hard push the second wave to get a bigger tempo timer. So, I wanna hard push this wave. So, that's why I'm slow pushing this a little bit. So, I let the second wave walk through the tier 2 turret so I can farm it. And now, that is the wave I'm going to hard push. And then I get a bigger roam tempo. If Yorick moves here, which is a good chance that Yorick moves here, then I'm gonna play for the tier 2 turret. Because that's 600 gold. I ultimately wanna play for the tier 2 turret. Not sure could go top. My team is here. I want to kill this Yorick. Yeah, it sucks that Garen has to play against the Vayne inside lane. I want him to tank. 
Well, well played by my team as well, honestly. I didn't even have to do anything. This this Gar uh, this Garen hates his life. He has to play sideline against either Jax or Vayne. That's no bueno. Okay, let's get this tier 2 turret. Not sure to stop. Don't necessarily want to look for kills. How the hell are you 183? Who else did I share with? Like, this guy I, I get, but who else? Uh, I can sell this for 180, which would leave me just short. So, let's push out this wave. Old is 60 second cooldown. Alright. Efficiency. Let's recall. I can sell my D shoot. I'll have my item. I have my old back for either of these objectives, so it's fine that I ult here. And now I can recall. Sell my D shoot. I have Zonyas. And let's team fight. What's my next item here, chat? What should I build here third? Honest, honestly, what should I build here fourth, rather? Fourth. What would be your fourth item? Wits End is pretty solid. Garden Angel is pretty solid too. I think Wits End is just good though. Rabadons. Yeah, I was thinking of Steric or Wits End. Steric or Wits End, either one. I do have some resistances and magic resist, but I don't. I don't like Wits End is pretty good. Let's focus on team fight. I think I'm gonna go for the back line, not for the front. You wanna be annoying, you little bitch? I'll show you some real jacks. I'm feared and silenced. I can't press alt. I am sad. I. I. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Garen's damage? Yeah. Hopefully. You're a pig if you play Garen, true? Alright, we're building HP. Static it is. Did have old! <laughs> You're right, actually, I didn't have that vault. It sucks. It sucks. And I couldn't zone us. Let's focus. I give him more cash down. Okay, that sucks. Could have played that team fight way slower. I mean, there's still a tier 2 turret here, and burn us up, but I think I just play for blue buff. Okay, we're probably dead mid. Where's my mouse are going? Yeah, we are dead in mid, they could play for Nash. We cannot go bot now, I don't have TP. We don't have blue trinkets. That's nice. Good reaction by my driver too, honestly. This guy's on flash. Oh. Dude, my driver is serving it. Okay, now I can just play national. Garen is bold as well. No TP on that guy. Uh, Vayne should defend bot. Oh, I can't ping her. Alright, Vayne, you should go bot, you AD carry main. Thank you. I don't want to take too much damage here, because I don't really have life steal. I mean, game's going smooth. We play this, this plant. I think I can stay on the map. Because Seraphine died, so they're kind of weak. I get level 16. I just don't have any life steal, that's the only issue. Maybe maybe some games it worse to play Bloodline Jax for some life steal? What are you thinking, chat? Never? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna stack up my E. He kited me. I'm taking his wife though. Goodbye, wife. No more wife for Yorick. Alright, I died anyways. 
All right, I did the Jax thing where I die for fun. My bad. Um. Okay, my bad. That was just complete grief. Four deaths this game. Okay, chat. Out of my four deaths, how many deaths have been justifiable? This death was complete grief. My first death here was complete grief. My second death here was really dog shit. I don't even remember my fourth death. I think only one death was like decent. Any other death was shit. Do you see how easy it is to kind of just like play more consistent? Play for the sideways, play for the jungle camps, play for the turrets. Instead of perma grouping and fighting, right? I played for consistent, like I didn't die for a long time after I died here to the Garrett and Nocturne. And then I expanded my lead. You died a bot to Garrett. Oh yeah, wait, I died here to the old. That's the one I missed. That's like the only justifiable death. All my other deaths this game have been dog shit. But you see, it's not even that hard, right? How does Zonya help on Jax? Because it gives me AP damage and I have three abilities with AP damage scaling. I get these, I get these, I get these. He didn't see me, right? He may or may not have spotted me. Did I get it? I didn't get it. What the hell? Bro's mad. Is that what Nemesis meant when he said go? Oh, he took my rep off. Thank you. Goodbye, enemy team. Bomba! Let's go! Yeah! Thank you. Got it dusted. Uh, however, uh, Zorius is a very good armor item on Jax because it gives you cooldown, it gives you damage, and it gives you, like, the thing is with these three core items, when you have, like, these three, you can, like, join a team fight with E, then, then you ult, then you go on Zonyas, then you come out, you have E again. So it's like, how do they kill you? You know what I mean? They can't. Mundo? That's a fine matchup. I think we take health, because they're gonna be scaling anyways. Enemy team have, like, zero CC, by the way. It's like, no CC, just only slows. I think, um, what's it called? Swiftness boots are really good this game. Swifty's boots. Kha'Zix W, Mundo Q, Janna Q, Janna W, Kha'Zix E. So I think I'm going Swiftness boots this game. But I'm hiking considering just going like, like this, or Legend Bloodline. I don't know what I have actually. I will play a mix of Ignite and Teleport. I will get used to it. But I like playing Ignite on Jack so that I can play super aggressive in the first four waves. As every, every champion, right? Mundo out of every top-line champion, is one of the weakest level 1 champions. Like, one of the weakest. He hates training in the early game. If you don't know how Mundo's passive works, whenever he gets CC'd, his shell around him falls off on the first CC. On any stun, so Jaxi as well, his passive falls away. And then it's gonna go on a 60 second cooldown, and he loses extra HP as well. So I'm gonna face check here, and I wanna play as aggressive as I can in the early game. I want FF. Um, it's okay. Because now I can get my ward down. So now I know how Kha'Zix is going to path in the early game. Also, I see Mundo pathing here. He has no idea that I'm here, by the way. He, can't, he doesn't see me. Try to get his passive. I failed. Horribly. I wasn't sure if he actually saw me or not, but it's okay. And now we're going to try and enter into this bush. See if we can punish him. Gotta be careful for his Qs though, gotta be careful for his Qs. Okay, so now chat, we wait till these minions just meet into the middle of the lane. And then if Mundo starts hitting, it's going to push towards him. So now, I just sit in here, him hitting it is going to be a big mistake. And now I'm gonna wait for him to go for last hit. And I'm gonna step out. Oh my god, this guy's faker. Do I even win this? Holy shit, I got fisted. Mundo is the most broken level 1 champion. I don't know. Alright, I wasn't familiar with your game. Now I want to play Mundo. Let's get level 2 from this melee. I don't need to kill this caster. He knows. This guy's good. This guy knows what he's doing. He wants to eat this. Finally got his passive out. So what I'm gonna do, chat, and I do this every time when I'm slow pushing towards my opponents, right? Especially level of timers. I'm gonna ignite in here as well. To put him at 1 HP under his turret here in a second. 
So I want to jump onto him whenever I get the opportunity right now. Because it will set me up for him for me to dive him. Hmm, couldn't do it. I don't know how I butchered that so hard. But I did. I suck on my champion. That's just bottom line. But it kind of sucks that I can't let my E go out myself because then I lose damage. Because my shit is bugged. Ah, whatever. This moon was pretty good. That flash was really good. This guy's good. This guy knows what he's doing. I don't. Shit, man. Go play by him. He has no potions. <laughs> Alright, bro. I might just buy Barry the King just to spite this guy. But the vine will give me anti-heal as well. No, the vine doesn't give anti-heal, it gives percentage health damage. That's what I meant, sorry. Alright. He still has TP, so I gotta keep that in mind. Are you famous Dutch Formula 1 racer from the main DAO? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, Jax is bugged. I don't think this Mundo is an Emerald player. If he is, he's very good for an Emerald player. Or I'm just very shit on Jax. Thank you for your Prime boss man. You, is this guy a 49% win rate player? Well, impressive. He's taking a shit on my face. How is this guy a 49% winner player? I'm just impressed with his laying face. Like how he played the level 1 was so clean. Or again, maybe I'm just shitting on my champion. I'm probably playing it horribly wrong. But still, this Mundo has played it very well. His Qs are perfectly every time too, man. I cancel my auto. That all-in was good though. If he stays on the turret, I'll dive him. I get level 7-2 from this wave, I believe. Yes. Ah, I still have TP. Get us some miscues. <laughs> no way against us, my base here. Nah, this guy's the best. I see you. This guy is better than the average top laner in Emerald that I've played against. Haiki. Look at his farm as well. He's playing very well. I've yet to see this guy miss a Q. Well, that was just bad by me as well, but... I should have to focus. If he walks up right here, he grease the game for himself. Alright, that's his one mistake. 
All right, you should like he is not forced to walk up here ever, ever, right? Like the wave is literally slow pushing towards him. This is still one of the biggest mistakes lower MMR players make because they, they they walk up whenever the wave is slow pushing towards them. He is literally never forced to walk up there. I even had Flesh and Ignite coming back up. I killed him without either, so I can still rely on that. But up until here, he has played a very very clean living face. I gotta give that to him. I'm not gonna stay for another plate. This will be. Plenty, and I will sell my D shoot, and then I get my mythic through that. Okay, it's fine. I don't get it. I can sell my D shoot, and now I have mythic. So now we stabilize the line again. This guy played very well. This guy played very well. For real. Is he actually a forty nine percent win rate emerald player? Because he felt better to me than that. This is Emer emerald emerald more. Again, he's not forced to walk up for last hits here. If he walks up for last hits, he's griefing. Scuttle spawning in the river soon. Not sure where Kha'Zix is at. Okay. I have my Divine Sunder right now, I want to do like Divine Sunder procs on him like this. It's not even that worth. That's good. Again, really good flash by him. He just dodged my burst. We can kill him here and get the full turret. No flash, no ult. Dude, we could legit dive him. Uh, he has to tank first, because he can ult. Very nice. It's also good that he ulted quite late. I'm fine with him taking the gold with me here, because... Without him, I would have never killed him. We can also be first, maybe. Sucks. Okay. You can help me push this wave. Thank you. So, like I said, Swiftnet's boots are definitely my boots of choice this game. Slows here, slows here, slows here, slows here, right? So, Swiftnet's boots are just broken. And I think. I think probably Cleaver is correct. Yo, the skim milk mans, welcome boss. Um, to be fair, I want to go bot here. But... Yeah, I'm gonna go bot. Okay. No, I lose my foot turret if I go bot. No, 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 I gotta go top. Nobody else can go top here, I gotta bot. If I go bot here... There's already four people of my teammate in bot, or three rather, and no, uh, Muno just gets all the plates here, it's not worth it. Alright, well, slow push this wave, hard push next wave, and then maybe run to mid. So slow push this a little bit. The reason I slow push is so that I let this next wave that's going to spawn in base walk up in the side wave 2, right? It's walking now. I need this wave to walk at least past the tier 2 so that I can push it in a comfortable spot. So now I can start pushing. And now I'm basically doing slow push to hard push. Very similar to what you do in laning phase 2. And now I get bigger tempo. That was a calculated risk. I felt pretty confident that I can 2v1 there now, right? Because I saw Kha'Zix's items. And this is really the strength of Jax. Alright, nice. I'm gonna go bolt. 
Nice, this was very good. Um, do I need Cleaver or Sojin? I mean, I don't have to make my decision yet, I suppose. What should I go here, chat? Should I go Cleaver or Sojin? I think Cleaver is good, right? Because I get armor penetration. And we're full AD with Zeroth. Yo, Stills! Stills! Stills, you have to join the micro server, bro. Stills, there's a micro server again. Yo, I don't go Blade Root King. We're missing Stills in a micro server. Soldier, why is everybody missing Soldier? Really? I think I need Cleaver. Let's see. Alright, we're almost 10 CS per minute on my champion. And like I said, I'm playing disciplined, right? I want to be the first Jax to have like zero deaths showing discipline. Low deaths Jax gameplay. Kha'Zix dead. Custard in that. Mundo top. I can maybe even get tempo for this. That's why I ult as well. To just be a little bit faster. Every second I can utilize of tempo here brings me closer to getting this third. I'm not sure if this guy has restrict. I should got the wave anyways. We need 1.2. I can also sell refill for 60. Do you guys feel like I've done anything special this game? Chat. Do you feel like I've done anything special this game? I don't feel like it. But still, I'm 10 cents per minute. Why? Because I was just very consistent with my reset timers, with my wave states, and stuff like that, right? I only got one solo kill lane. So how am I able to get 10 cents per minute every game and you guys are not? Right? I think a lot of things that I did this game are very replicable. I'm just very consistent with my fundamentals, right? My reset timers, my jungle tracking, my wave manipulation. I want to fight so badly. I'm doing the jexing, I'm doing the jexing. I gotta be careful. My swifted boots are saving me here. My Q got cancelled. I'm doing the jexing. Why do I even fight there? I mean, them saying 3 bolt is kind of weird too, but... It's my bad to still walk up there. What's my next item? I think some armor will be good. Is it Frozen Heart? Why is nobody stopping the Mundo whole game? Like they're hitting both tier 2s this game. Hole Breaker. Good suggestion actually. I like Hole Breaker. There's so many o uh, like items options on this champion. It's crazy. Like every every item is like good for him. Kind of said that I died. Not gonna lie. Okay, but if Muno dies here, I can play for this tier too. I'm not gonna move. Someone is here, so I have enough time to get this here to turret. I'm gonna recall play for bot now. This side of is pushing away from me, so I gotta be there as quick as I humanly can. I mean, this item is doable, but I think hole breaker is best. I like my build. I'm so tanky too, actually. TF Blades, Ghost Technology with Cosmic Insight and CDR boots. Cosmic Insight, Jax. That sounds kind of nasty. But there's like so many things you can build in this champion. Hydras? No, I don't think you need Hydras on Jax. You're gonna slow push this wave to allow this wave to walk past the tier 2 as well. I'm gonna pressure it. Every 
Saya Jenna are so annoying to play against actually as my champion. Like, why am I sidling against Zaya Jenna? Miss Garen. As Garen, I will be back to full HP, you know? I kind of have to get used to playing a different champion again. Because when I went to Sidon as Garen, I would just like trade HP and I'd come back to full HP. Okay, nice. She had no flash. Good. Okay. I have no mana though. Bro, Jack, side lane. I need to watch my resources so much more. I have mana and HP problems. I'm too used to Garen now, man. When I play Garen, I don't have mana or HP issues. I miss Garen. I have to get used to this, man. Unironically, it's very strange. Is Garen, I can just push this here. There was a Zaya somewhere too. There she is. Nice. Okay, I mean we won the game. Okay, so like, do you guys feel like I've done something super special this game? I don't think so. I just went very consistent with like my recent timers, my jungle tracking, my wave manipulation. I got 10 assists per minute. I traded on the timers that were good for me. I played sideline. And then I just joined the team, but I won the game. What's my next item? This. Solid. You're consistent with the better team. I'm climbing because of better team. You guys are stuck because of noob teams. Enemy team always 100 0. My team always 0 100. Do you want that? Oh. Uh, balance review. All right, understandable stews. If somebody wants to join the micro server, by the way. You can type exclamation mark Discord, there's a Minecraft channel, feel free to set your in-game name and I can add you after the stream. But, golden rule, no griefing. You grief, you get insta permanent. so keep it in mind. It's like chill vanilla with the bros, you know? No, it's completely vanilla. With MCMMO though, it's vanilla with MCMMO, that's it. Okay. What is this range? I'm hitting it from here, what? Let's get blue buff and then we can join the team fight again. I should stop using my E. Oh, 
Why you build attack speed? Because you have passive and uh, lethal tempo, you don't need attack speed. Lol, he jumped into that by the way. Alright, I press my ult, like old jacks. I gotta play with Divine. He does have uh, Bravo though. Okay, let's recall. Castling could TP as well. I still have Baron recall? No, I don't. Uh, is this the item that I buy? I believe it is. It's also a low CDR again. And then... I'm walking so funny. Oh, we got this. Okay, nice. A pretty good game. Yo, did you tell us I'm doing good? By the way, TF play, press R, like old jacks too. It's just like, I don't know. I haven't really played new jacks that much, and I just press old before, like, going in. But you should never. No? You should, like. I mean, you still get stats, but. No, only if it hits a champion. You have to hit a champion to get the stats. Is this Penta? I'm pretty solid game. I feel like if you're ahead on Jax, it's very far or like hard to lose again unless you make big blunders. Like just take smart fights and like how do they deal with you? I just keep like, slowly get items and lightning you're a monster anyways. <clears throat> good. Good game. I like it. This was a good matchup for me though. But my level one was really really bad. Suggestion? I'll, I'll let the council decide. <laughs> I mean, I gotta use that. It's a banger. All right, let's go. Alright, let's keep going. Let's go. We're gonna queue up again. And uh, we're going for 4-0. Let's go. Trindamere. This is an OG matchup, man. Jax, in theory, counters Trindamere. Because when he right clicks me, I have my E. But in the early game, Trindamere actually wins against Jax. Because... He has better sustain, right? I have no sustain, he has insane, insane sustain. So I think this matchup is kind of tricky actually for Jax. This matchup is very tricky. We're playing against a Vitor in my top side. We have Nocturne Jax. I would argue that their early game is a little bit better than ours, but we can still contest it. Level 1, I can fight Trindamere unless he has full fury. We're both level tempo champions, but he has crits of course, so... The issue with this matchup is, let's say, we both full bro at level 1. He will always out-sustain me, and that's something that I have to keep in mind. Mm, what does this ward do? Like, what is this ward, man? I never understand people that ward, they're just warding for the fun of warding. You can stonewall him with armor items, no, yes, but that doesn't change anything about the early game. I think this matchup, I just look for priority if Trinivar doesn't. So he's not here, I'm just gonna look for priority. To stack my passive. I mean, they could be starting my red buff. He came from there. I think they started this. I have a feeling. Vi could come level 2 behind me. Vi could be here already. He's gonna E away. I'm gonna E the full wave. So I get pushed here and do level 2 wave crash. Because I'm scared of Vi being behind me. I'm doing second wave crash, so I'm not gankable. Uh, let's play for a level 3 here. He gets level 3 from this mean I get it here. Vi is here with... Yeah, okay. The wave is pushing somewhat into me. I mean... We're gonna lose the cannon in the XP, I believe. No, we're still in XP range. Oh, come on, can it die? Thank you. I just want the XP. 
We're playing weak side here. That's why I did the second wave crash, but I contested the next wave a little bit too much, so it's actually pushing into the... Oh my. What's their issue, man? I should've just done second wave crash and actually made a bounce, but I didn't make it bounce. I guess I didn't think Vi would still look for top side. She did. Whenever this wave is pushing to me, I'm gonna recall right now. Because whilst the wave is pushing towards me, it is going to eventually crash in my turret, right? But then it's also going to bounce away from me again. So that's why I recall right now, so that I can actually play out the bounce. So whenever a wave is slow pushing towards you, keep in mind that it's not only going to be pushing towards you, afterward it's also going to be pushing away from you again. So I have to collect it, so that I can, or so I have to recall ASAP so I can actually play out the bounce. The issue is though, he's gonna have a tempest with the recall, and my bot side is even still losing, even though I'm full weak sided. So yeah, this ruined my matchup. I should have just done a second wave crash and made a bounce, but I hit it too much, I suppose, which made it not bounce. I'm gonna hold this though. Okay. I need to get my level 5 too before I can realistically start fighting though. Level 5 here too. Nah! At least I make the way bounce back into me again, but I still don't have machine. It's kind of awkward. But it's okay, at least we make the way bounce back into me again. I got a slash. He's just looking at it lives. True actually, too early with Ignite. Good point. I mean we did go even in CS. He's a whip though. He got eleven hundred reset. It's uh Annoying, and somehow his cannon is already dead before I'm even close to arriving. How has the cannon died earlier than any melee minion? What happened here? How is the cannon dead first? I've never seen it in my life. I need to avoid training here, because remember, this wave is pushing towards me, but it'll also bounce away from me. Plus, it's 6.15 in the game, so he can get access to the plant. I cannot, there's a plant currently in the river. And whilst this wave is pushing towards me, it's also going to bounce away from me. My jungler is pretty far ahead in CS though, because it's also because of what Vi did in the early game to me, right? Like, if I ganked me a lot in top early. Okay, we're 10 steps down. Trigger is moving. I'm going to hard push this. Okay, Trigger is going back top, so I slow push now. And I hard push this wave and I recall. Why is Bolt, so we're fine. Back in my day, we didn't need fancy he could be doing scuttle, I guess. And it takes him a long time if he's doing scuttle. He is doing scuttle. That's such a waste, by the way. Like, it takes so long for him to do scuttle. It gives me enough time to actually go for a plate, too. It gives me a plate and a recall. Thank you. Appreciate that. I could go Sheen here. Like, I could go Sheen. But I kind of really want a Ruby Crystal. So I think here, what I do is... I don't finish Caulfield, so I want a Ruby Crystal. So I can actually have, like, a safer time scanning to my Divine. Why not proxy wanted to recall? Because um, I have my items already. I didn't need the extra gold. But other, when is the right time to hyper slow push and to proxy? You're asking me, like, how pretty much how to play your entire laning phase. I've watched my guides, and if you want to learn everything in depth, I have a full course explaining everything to do with your fundamentals online. You can have estimation mark course, you can also see a free 
uh, preview example, so I'd recommend watching that. Alright, let's slow push here to also deny him from some CS. Alright, we kind of fell behind in our first waves in this matchup due to uh, the, the Vi double gank, right? We lost some XP, we lost some CS, but we've stabilized, we're still 0-0, and we're still even, so I'm happy with how I played it, considering how bad I played my first waves. Would you start suggesting with macro or landing course? Highly recommend the, uh, the landing course first because your mid late, mid to late is also a result of how good your landing phase went. Plus landing phase is like every game, right? Like that's the, the, the thing you decide to, or control the most as a top laner. I'm not sure where Vi is at. Really? I didn't get it. Well, we stabilize this lane. We need 300 gold and then we have Mythic. There she is. 41 CS now. Yo, how's gaming? Appreciate it, bro. Congratulations on Higgin Platinum. I need to not trade too much right now. I just need to get 300 gold and reset. Notion is both side and Vi is top side, right? So that means I'm currently weak side, so I want to play a little bit more reserved. The wave here is perfect, this is what I refer to as the happy spot, because here I'm not really gankable. And now I want to push this wave and hard push next wave too and reset and have mythic. But I'm still scared of vibing maybe top side. I'm at level 9 actually here, he doesn't yet. He has no fury as well. Good. I'm gonna ult to push this wave as fast as possible before next wave arrives, and that gives me enough tempo to recall without losing anything. Oh, wait. It's 1.5. That sucks. Now I lose a plate, maybe. Yeah. Well, miscalculated. We learn. We learn. We learn. We got the vine now, at least. We scaled for free to this, but it really sucks because I was doing really well, and I was actually ahead, but now I lost so much tempo. I lose a full wave, and I lose a full plate, so that's like similar to 300 gold ish. But Trinder could have held the wave. No, he could not. Too hard to explain why. But he also has to look for a reset for himself. Trust me, he will never freeze there. If he freezes there, he's trolling himself. If anybody flames my wall, I'm perma banning you. Yo, thank you, Gonzalo, for the prime. I appreciate it. We're slow pushing, so hard pushing next. We have full divine now, so we are much stronger. My next item is going to be Tabis. And probably Spear of Soja and Zonyas. He has full stride. The vine is a bit better for one of the stride breakers, though. Yeah, it's the whole smite and two W's. Boom. Watch this damage. I gotta hit him, though. Yeah, now we start controlling. We hit 400 damage with our item with three autos. Try to mask my burst there, he didn't respect it. I think if he ults that I'm actually dead, I kind of flipped it there, but that's maybe also why he didn't expect it. I think it was kind of kind of telegraphed in a way, but I'm glad it worked. We finally got our first kill at minute 13. But yeah, the thing is, the reason why I, it took me so long to finally get a good footing in this lane again is because I messed up in my first four waves, right? When the Vi double ganked me, I fell behind in, in farm, I fell behind in EXP, and it was very hard for me to catch back up again. It took me a very long time of playing well with my wave states and like Trinomir wasting his tempo on Skelto once for me to get back in the game, but I did get back in the game and now I'm strong. And now we're finally back even CS, but I do have four plates. I do think I should go Tabis. Although CD Orbits are really good, right? Because of my E. Nah, maybe I just go CD Orbits instead. Because I want to go Frozen Hearts, Zonyas, both, I think. So that's why I can go CDR boots, and it also helps me with my E. I think it's fine. End winning team. Alois! 
because you always have winning team. That's why you get to masters, Alois. That's true. You know, I actually got ranked 13 in Korea as well because of my good teams. again right there always with the good teams I messed my hits though Honorably, you might be wondering why you not old true but I also masked my attention and like I spaced backwards and then I instantly spaced back and did the dish combo dish dish combo Wait, why do I have super? Why did nobody tell me? Why did nobody tell me? You never got super on this champion, force of habit. Yeah, Jax W is apparently unstoppable now, actually, which is disgusting, by the way. It's, uh, they, they did that to Malphite as well. Cannon. Got it. He still has flesh. What? Well, surely he ults Darren, though. I don't know, surely it's there though. Now I'm just now I'm just 55 abilities do we kill the lay? Yeah bro, we kill lay. We start kill lay right now. Look at this kill lay. This guy's top is an eclipse. It's gonna be tricky to kill. She's six and three, she's pretty strong. Not that tricky to kill actually. What the hell is my damage? That guy got fisted. Oh, this guy still has ult. Oh, I'm doing the Jackson. 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 Wait, this Trinimere just said Vi is griefing and inting. When Vi is they're only performing... <clears throat> My bad though. This is the Jax thing. This is the Jax thing. All top laners are delusional, no? No? Top laners are the smartest players in the game. Name me one role with more smarter players. Bro, I'd rather have, honorably. Like, for example... Any auto field support in any other role, just go next. If I have a top lane main on support, I know he's going to perform. If I have a top lane main on jungle, I know he's going to perform. If I have an auto field top lane main on ADC, I know he's still going to perform. If I have an AD carry main on jungle, I might as well have F. If I have an AD carry main on top lane, legit go next. If I have a support main on top lane, I mean, I don't even have to talk about it, you know? Top players are just best players. It's true. I have red for top and summon in the four mains of any other role, based. Come here, bitch. Oh, I'm kidding. Alright. <laughs> I think mid lanes are like top lane mains but with massive egos. No, I think, like, Ty Tyler1 put it in perspective. Mid lane is top lane, but, like, cupcake noob friendly roll wait I did for 20 damage there no?
Um. Penta! Penta! Penta kill! Who took it? Sano! Haiki messed up my first four ways, but we made it work! We made it work! We made it work. So, focus on this first four waves early game with me. Remember when I said they could be starting my rep buff? I had no idea, right? This is my vision. I had no idea. We had no idea, right? We haven't spotted any of them. But look, we have this ward, and I didn't spot any of them here. Plus, Trinomare was not starting in lane. So, there's two options. If I start, or, like, if I start in here, here, or here, right? So I said, there is a chance that he's starting my rep buff. And now when I see Trinimer coming from this side, with some ex with some health missing, this is what I noticed. I was like, okay, Vi probably started my rep buff. So what I'm going to do to circumvent getting ganked is do a second wave crash, right? Because if I do a second wave crash, I and that's why I E here as well, I hit it and as many means as I can to try and get this wave to crash. So it should be realistically hard for the Vi to gank me right now. If he initially ganks me, I think I can always escape. Okay, so here, by doing a second wave crash, I make the wave bounce back into me, and then I'm never forced to walk up for lessons anymore, right? So I've done my job here, which is the second wave crash, and now I'm completely fine. Here's the mistake that I make, though. This ma the mistake that I make is that I start pushing here. Because in my head, I'm thinking, maybe I'm alright, and I want to contest level 3. But, now the issue is, is that I've hit this wave too much. And this means I got onto me. So now look, I E here as Oh, this is the blunder. This was the blunder. This E right here. Because look, now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 means against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as well. But look, their HP, look my HP. This cannon is still full HP. So now the Vi ganks, level 2 gank top. But if I didn't press this E like this, it would have still been bouncing back into me. And this gank would have never done anything. But now I have to back away. But I'm losing EXP and resources in the meantime, right? So now when I walk back, I'm still forced to walk here because this wave is pushing away from here. So I'm standing in the EXP range, but Vi just does the repeat gank. So in this whole time, I'm still losing out on resource and EXP, right? I live, so the Vi ends up becoming very far behind because Notrin gets so many camps here for free now. But it does suck for me, I lost a lot of XP and farm, so now I have to force the re force the recall as well, I'm super far behind in XP and go to the early game. Because, bad approach to first four waves. Akshan, <laughs> my champ is pretty good as well, Akshan. Uh, is Garen easier to climb with an Aatrox can I know, please? I think Aatrox is better laning phase, I think Garen is better mid to late. Lilia gets Nocturne in early game, we're playing against an Akshan. Uh, Akshan is actually a very strong level 1 champion for a range champion as well, however, he's playing, demo uh, he's playing domination second. What that means is that he has no resolve. So what I can do is actually still beat him level 1 with super super hard. If he is here, I just beat him as well, so I path aggressive. I just can't lose. Because I have little tempo. I think I do wave one crash unironically. I'm just gonna recall. Didn't work. Shit. So it just needs to crash man. I'm gonna level 3 here soon though. Two means for level 3. But this wave is bouncing into me. It will bounce into me. I'm gonna recall here. It's just better for me to play it safe and slow here. It will push into me. Okay. The thing about this... They also have an 80 gender so I think it's fine. Just rush to Abyss. I think it's fine. Yeah, so the thing is he had no ball plating, right? He's playing Domination PTA, so I felt very secured going in there like that.
Okay, let's see if we can freeze this. Is 24 CS. Oh. I mean, this action has one potion. Nocturne should path into bot side again, because remember, Nocturne path into top this game. Maybe I can get my level 5 first and then straight. He just hit level 4. I should get my level 5 for the cannon and the caster. And I'm list both. What? I missed cannon and I did that. I'm gonna ignite as well to put him at 1 HP and now action has to make a choice. Does he stay on the turret or does he reset? Right, I put him in the very uncomfortable position here and now he's gonna have to make a choice. Looks like he wants to stay. If he does, I'll just kill him. If he walks away, he loses the full life. Well, goodbye. That's why I ignited, that's why I played so aggressive there. I know Nocturne is bot set anyways. So Nocturne bought Kindle Gem as his first item. Why would you buy Tanky against Jungle Camps? Smartest jungler on the map. Like, you can buy double longsword, you can even go for a pickaxe maybe. Nah, bro, let me buy a Kindle gem so I take even longer with farming jungle camps. Yeah, jungle mates, bro. Smart players, eh? Smart players, don't worry about it. Again, I want to do the same thing. The wave is slow pushing towards him. I want to jump onto him if he goes for a single bean. Better top loses. Okay, I misplayed that really hard. I shouldn't flash. Easy. Okay, sorry, I had to do it. Nocturne is probably top side. Nocturne is mid. I want to trade as hard as I can because there's a plant in the river. And I can do that, I guess. Okay. Close luck. <laughs> I mean, Emerald is full with the most Luba players. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna ult this wave. Now I need 1.1. Yeah, he's mid. Well. I think I want to take the full turret. You know why? Because I want to start roaming too. Usually I dislike taking turrets this early in the game. Because I want to continue my laning phase. But this guy is never gonna come anyways, you know? Like, he's never coming top anymore anyways. Akshan is coming there for sure. So let's start roaming too. Actually, let's push one more wave. So this wave at least always bounces back into me. He just dies again. This guy's a little bit of a criminal. What a boring game. I've used my ult more to farm than anything else. I mean, GG I guess. I guess I just have better team again, chat. I just have better team again.
Oh, oh. I always have best, better teams, you guys know it. I mean, I probably want to play for Herald here because it gives me 200 gold and then I can still use that for mid lane plates to get extra gold too. So I don't even have to look for kills, I can just get a lot of gold on the map right now by playing for this and then using it here. I don't even want to look for the Akshan, it would lose me tempo. It's gonna take me like, what, 30 seconds to take this Herald? Shut up, bitch. The reason I want Aloys to say is because he's small and people take him seriously. Don't try to take it. Redactic, thank you for another gift. Oh, thank you for gifting Edison. I appreciate it, bro. Always lasted pink quartz. If you don't, you're beta. Kidding. Kevin's still lost, whatever. That's a full head scratcher, bro. Like, that's a fat head scratcher. Whew. Oh, what the hell is it? That turret was broken. My bad. I didn't see it coming out of here. Even though I've played this game for how many years? Why is there. Bro, nothing more tilting than the hair? I feel like there's a. Ah, oh, I don't whatever. Guess like myself, there's not the hair in my mouth. Focus on game. Nah. There is somewhere hair. Bro! I can't get it. No, I'm getting so tilted. I've never had this in life. Water. Hope it's gone. I got it. I got it. This piece of shit hair. GG. Okay, let's focus on the game now. Looks at the game now. I'm getting a little baited. And now I'm actually annoyed. We're losing the game now. Focus. Focus. I gotta mute all and focus on myself now. I've lost control over the game because males are so much stronger than me now, but it's okay. This guy has no flesh still. He's not old right now as well. If he walks up, I just all in him. Of course. This game is unlucky too. Like, of course, Nocturne is just casually walking there. And Ari takes my wave. 
You took top wave already. Why do you also want the mid wave? Boss. Hello guys, I'm Aloys. Today we are gonna do a coaching in the top. Thank you for the prime boss. I had to find a way back in this game here. This guy's no flash, could be it. I have flash in 20 though. I think I Q onto him, but I don't E yet. Now I push this wave and this wave, however, Nocturne could ult me. I'm getting level 12 though, it's alright. I need 1400 gold for my item, I don't want to go Cleaver, I want to go Sphere of Surgery because I'm not building armor, I don't need Cleaver. Right? They have no armor, so I don't need Cleaver. Hello guys, I'm Psycon2, thank you for the gift as well. Thank you everybody for all the gifts and the support today. Appreciate it, man. Oh, that could be on me. Thank you, man. Okay, that's on bot. We have our second item. Next item is probably gonna be Zonya's. I need Q assess this game as well against this and this. And I have zero magic suits right now. Do I need Zonya's? Maybe not. Maybe I'll skip Zonya's and I just go with and Q assess item. I should be bought. Thank you. I'm gonna play for this tier too. The Malzar has two items. He's my biggest threat. I have zero magic resist. Like, Malzar is the only win condition right now. This guy's no flash. I'm gonna ult the wife again for tempo. Did I even ult somebody yet this game? I think I've only been ulting for wave clear. Maybe I should stop doing that. But these few seconds could make a difference. Not sure could be on Herald too. Yeah, okay. Then we get a turret first and kill this guy. I think she realized a little late. Okay, I got back in the game now. Reset go top. I can buy QSS, should I just pay the text already? I can also buy this. Nah, I think I wanna like go this route. I know I sold a D sh actually maybe selling D shoot for this is not worth it because D shoot is buffed. Maybe it is a bait now. But I kinda like sitting on some magic resist now over the D shoot because this guy is our recognition. Sops to Mercs, good point. They have, uh, actually, Mercs is very good against enemy comp, not gonna lie. I wanna play for top tier 2 now. Because I got bot tier 2. Oh, where my team won a team fight. Also, because Auction is bot and my team is with 4. Uh, I mean, they were playing 4v2. Seraphine wasn't there and Auction wasn't there. I wanna ult again, but let's keep it. Okay, let's play for the turret now. Better team again. Yeah, buddy! No top yet. Okay, I have better team, GG. I have better team always. And I'm actually just dying because of better team. It's actually confirmed. Alois is a fraud! He gets better team! He just gets better team, that's how he climbs, man. We should get this. I was 4-3, I'm 7-3 now too, I'm playing good myself, piggies. Top lane 3-10. I know, I know chat is sarcastic. Somebody was actually serious yesterday though. Somebody in my chat yesterday was actually serious saying that it's like easy for me to climb because I always have better teams. So that's kind of where the meme is at there right now. Unmute so we can hear the action. Okay, my bad. Boiled egg. Hey, Chad. Hard boiled eggs or soft boiled eggs? 
Ten minutes for everybody that's had hard boiled eggs. Piss off, man. I'm kind of scared of Mazarot. I didn't pay the tax yet. Fried. You fried. Okay, Jain is spawning soon. I want to cut off the Malzar. Not sure good ult on me though, so I gotta keep that in mind. You have no flesh. Oh, you're such a bitch! What are you? Remember when I was 4 and 3? Me neither. Let's go. I gotta stop being undisciplined in this champion though. But the thing is with Jax, honorarily, it doesn't matter how far behind you are. If you get like 2 or 3 items, you beat 90% of the champions in the game inside lane anyways. Which is kind of the thing with Jax. That makes him so disgusting to play against. Why do you still have ult, Ash? I was bringing back team! Back team! Woo! Woo! <laughs> you suck at the game! I suck at the game! Better team. But anyways, that's what I mean with Jax being a little bit broken once you get a few items though. I can't believe I just walked to the turret after that. That's kind of crazy. This action is a, it's a kind of interesting one. But it's real damage. Hello. He died, but I don't see it yet here. I guess you don't see people dying. Do you buy boosting from your teammates? Yes. It's hard to war jump without smart casting it, not gonna lie. I don't know what's easier. I'll give it like this, I'm used to it. Current elo? Uh Emerald. Let's go 1v5 now. No, I shouldn't. Even though I'm Jax and I'm technically him. Okay, it's dip. Bounce jump in. I played a lot of Garen, I lose a lot in the early game, how can I fix that? Watch how I played Garen, bro. I didn't lose that many games in the early game. I play aggressive in the early game, even though my champion can't play too aggressive, I still play aggressive in a lot of early games. Watch how I play Garen, you'll learn how to master those first four waves. Even though you play a champion like Garen, you can still play this first four waves appropriately. We're kind of doing the noob trap here, where we're all dying one by one, so we can't really end the game. Yo, GTF mate, welcome, boss. This is nine and two, and that is shit. Nine three. Hello, guys. I'm Aloys. Today we are gonna do a coaching in the top lane. Thank you, Chair Mushkin, for gifting Ginofran. Appreciate it, boss. Hope you're doing well.
Ash Dead Souls. Okay, bitch. Do that again. Awesome Jack's gameplay. Well, chat, Jax might be a little bit broken, I'll be honest. I'll take it. Dariusus! Dariususus! It's okay, we got this. I can uh, fight this champion level 1, I believe. He's playing Resolve Conqueror though. This match, like, we're both level 1 monsters, right? Like, I'm a level 1 monster, but he's a level 1 monster. So this is very tricky. Maybe I should have went D-Blade so I can actually fight him, but let's see. When you go to P, maybe into some... Super hard matchups like yes, no, Gragas and Malphite, etc. Yo, Scree00, zero, zero. thank you for your tier 1, bro. Appreciate it. Well, the end of the world. Oh, 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 look we found here. Goodbye. I uh, just always make sure to check that bush because people very often are like scrolling YouTube, scrolling Twitter, scrolling a little bit of Facebook, DMing your mom and stuff. So you can find them here very often, actually. Okay, I think he's mad. About my Jax mechanics. I actually don't need this this caster. I only need to melee. Watch this. I'm gonna let one of these casters dies and get the melee, and that will give me level two as well. But he doesn't know about level times like I do. Oh, I did zero damage because I cancelled my E myself. It's bugged. Good trade. I also have D shoot against D blade. He could have E or W, I'm not sure. Think you can beat me? Wow, I'm lasting poorly. He's W, alright. He's no potion. He's not gonna get level 3. He is. Worth it. Worth it. He loses the full wave. Oh, he had no flesh. I forgot about that too. But good, because, you know, this next wave, this one, walks into the turret as well. And I buy double long sword. You know why I don't buy Sheen? Because I have little tempo, so double long sword is better. None of his means die. Okay, maybe this one melee, but all my means die. So, Darius lost one and a half wave there. I only lost one, like, a few. I pretty much lost nothing. This guy has no flesh ghost. The wave is pushing back into me. Nocturne is topside. can look for the gank. No suns. In, let's go. Very nice. Darius is gonna need a lot of means before he's level 4. He's ba rushing Tabis. I'm level 4 here already, but I gotta be careful. He has no potions though, so let's say I do an equal health trade with the Darius right now. He's still not level 4. It's gonna be very beneficial for me because he has no potions. I mean, I solo kill him here too. He's dead by myself too, but. Boys. Good movement. We slow push this wave, chat, so that this wave can also walk through the lane. That's the way we hard push and then we reset because then we have Sheen. And then the matchup is pretty much over because I'm gonna have Sheen double longsword. And I do too much magic damage for Stabby to really make a difference. Because I'm gonna have Ignite and so much magic damage with like my E and my ult and stuff like that. So, and Sheen. Right now, Sheen is physical damage. I'm bugging. Anyways, we get a beautiful reset here, and game's over for him. The biggest Jax counter is Gragas, Malphite, Cannon, those kind of champions. Okay, so he's still level 4. Let's see when he gets level 5. He has to get level 5 on this wave minimum, but I'm already very close to level 6. I'll get 6 off of this wave. His best play is to try and hard push this, so that the wave will bounce back into me again. But I pushed the wave as fast as I could and reset instantly. And because I did that, because I played well with my reset timer, I actually get a freeze hit again. We get a freeze again. <clears throat> Jax is a 43% win against Garen. We played against Garen earlier. I'm gonna get level 6, but he might not respect it here. You see how I walked back there for a little second? 
You see I walked back for a tiny frame, which made him walk back forward again. So my E landed onto both the Darius and it hit the Mian, causing me to get level 6. We do the same thing. I'm gonna slow push this wave, wait for this wave. I'm gonna push it, but like not too fast, right? Now this next wave of his is walking through the turret. I'm gonna hard push this wave again, and then I'm gonna reset. I'm not gonna stay for the plate. This way, every time, the wave will start bouncing back into me again, and I can repeat this process. Every time, Doris is gonna be forced to walk up for last hit. So right now, I recall again instantly, right? What this is going to do is Doris has to collect this wave, but he's not gonna have enough time to push in this wave as well, so I can look to kill him again. And I think here, what I should do as well is just my Tabis, actually. I like this. Because of 80 general, 80 mid. So now I'm gonna run back. And Darius does not have enough time to hard push this wave again. Because a slow push into hard push. He's forced to walk up for last hits. Again, like I was saying, Darius can try and hard push this. But I'll have a freeze again. What do we call this, chat? What do we call this? There we focus. So we have a freeze again. How does he do it? By thinking ahead with wave positions every time. Practice this. He has flash and ult right now. I'm getting my ult and flasher back too. Good. There's a plant in the river, he's gonna go for that. I'm gonna get level 8 in the meantime. Slow push this again to allow this next one that's spawning right now to walk through my lane as well. Always a reason to keep on keeping on. Last I got to light this frame, so this walks through the turret, and now I can slow hard push this too. Putting it at 1 HP, now he has to make a choice. Does he stay on the turret? I'm waiting for the Ignite to go. Ignite is gone. Does he stay on the turret or does he recall? He stays. Goodbye. That's why I instantly used Ignite and ult there. Again, I, do I all in him. Not to kill him with the first rotation of all my abilities. But I put him in the uncomfortable position of having him make a choice. If he stays on the turret, I dive him. If he recalls, I get two plates and he loses all the waves. So I pretty much put him in an impossible scenario. And that's why, chat, you never walk up to contest the bounce. If you're not strong enough, because if your opponent does that, what I just did there, his game's over. It's over. Instantly. And Jax is really good at punishing that too. I don't feel like I'm playing insane mechanically or anything like that. My spacing is good. That's one thing I will say, right? My spacing was really good at the level 6, for example. But other than that, I'm still just playing with one mirrors. The reset timers. The journal tracking. The level up timers. The wave manipulation. So, yeah. Now we need to get to 700 gold ASAP, that's why I don't buy potions, that's why I don't buy anything else. I can also sell my d shield. it will give me 180 gold extra. I just look at to get to 700 gold ASAP. It's very similar to like, getting your Blade Rune King on the Aurelia. The sooner I get to my Mythic, the better, right? Hydra for Riven, Divine Sunder for Jax, Blade Rune King for Aurelia, let's get that ASAP. I'm gonna slow push this wave, hard push next wave. Actually no, I'll hard push this wave. We can play for Herald too. I don't need to kill Darius again anymore to win this game. I'm gonna proxy, so I get tempo. I actually only need the 50 gold. Okay, I wanna push one more wave and then I'll have my item. The reason I don't want my Jonah to Herald here is because I'm gonna get the Vine and I can literally get this turret played solo. Like, I'll get this turret done before Murat 14. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna be strong enough. I don't need my Jonah to do it. If I take the turret right now, I'm pretty much done with lane. I still want to lane. 
we go for pink ward two. And my next item. Again, it's very tempting to build an item like Blade of the Rune King here, but let me explain again. Blade of the Rune King is super bait, okay? I have enough damage to kill my opponent if I wanted to. I don't necessarily need to on-hit damage. It's much better to get an item like Spear of Sojourn, Cleaver, even Hole Breaker. Just don't get Blade of the Rune King. It only helps you in side lane. It's very terrible. Stats are horrible. You don't like you only get extra damage. Yeah, like you don't need Blade of the Rune King. I won't build Blade of the Rune King any game, maybe only when I play against like a Scion, but even then, I probably won't build it. He's recalled, so I want to harpish this wave and try and zone him from his turret, maybe even. Okay, if Doris comes here, I want to chunk him for half his HP before he reaches the turret. And again, I'm not looking to kill him here, I'm looking to kill him on the next rotation. Waiting for the Ignite to run out, alright, and now he's 1 HP. Bonk. Again, all in, not to kill him instantly, but to kill him on the next rotation of your abilities, chat. There we go. I know this guy doesn't like me. Didn't I tell you? I don't need my jungle to put the Herald, I'll get this turret before minute 14. Mm. I think I'll buy this here. And now we start to expand our lead, let's see. This Aurelian Soul is 0 0 0, typical Aurelian Soul. There's still a plate with four turrets, or a turret with four plates here. Aurelian Soul might answer this Herald, right? If I'm a Soul, I might go bolt here. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go mid, push this out, so I can maybe snatch some plates here too. Kha'Zix is here, Aesol could go bot too. Right, Aesol's bot, as exactly as I said, so now I can get plates here. Correct tempo usage again. A soul player. I'm mid full mid tier one here. So it was good how we reset from top and got mid. Lovely. Can move to top here even. I have item in base though. But what I want to do. So the reason with me going top is not looking to kill the Darius. I want to reset the side wave. How do I reset the side wave? By crashing it into his tier two. How do we do that? Slow push wave 1, hard push wave 2, crashing it into his tier 2, then I go bot. That's my plan right here. So I want to slow push this first wave, hard push the second wave, then reset and go to bot. Actually, I'm gonna hard push this wave. And just reset that way. It's a smaller tempo timer, but still okay. From Dara's perspective, it's still gonna be scary to push and walk up. I'm gonna expand my lead to bot lane now. Because I think our botlet is at like the less win condition, so we go there now. What is my next item here? Is it even Zonyas? I mean, R is the only AB damage, so Zonyas is pretty solid. Uh, my team is already making a form and play on bot, so I'll defend mid instead again. Aurelian Soul is coming though. Do I just hit mid here? I think I do. Doris is top. Only Kha'Zix can come here. Yeah, only Kha'Zix can come here. I think it's fine to... Oh, okay, I can one-shot him. Mm, messed up my combo a little bit. Oh, what? 
Well, that's unskilled. It worked. Lovely. Expander that leads really well, and Darius gets a top tier one turn, but frankly, who cares? The reason I want Aloys to say is because Harmless smart. Goose, thank you, your prime. Appreciate it, boss. Boys. There is a Herald coming up, which will give me 200 gold again. So I want to play for the Herald here, and I can use that Herald to play for this tier 2 turret, play for this tier 2 turret. You see, chat, how I'm not really moving for kills most of the time. I'm mainly moving for side waves and, like, neutral objectives, right? Like turrets and stuff like this. And the kill just come by themselves for me. So now I'm probably moving into both Y. Somebody's going to defend this, maybe even two people. Now Aurelian Soul was both side, but he's probably going to recall and play for this Herald. And Darius can move to both, but I'll just stomp him because I'm too. Uh, I have a full item above him. I'm not sure where Aurelian Soul is at, but I can play for this tier two turret now because my team is also pressing top side. So I'm gonna use my tempo for that and Harpishir. Yeah, all right. K6 is there. The only person I'm not sure about right now is Aurelian Soul and Darius. There's a Soul. A Soul done. Alright, chat. There we get the kill. We get a tier 2 as well. Where do you think I'm gonna go next, chat? Where should I go next? I'm gonna slow push this wave a little bit to allow this wave to walk past the tier 3 so I can farm it too. Oh. Where should I go top? Where should I go top? Oh, oh. I already said it. I'm going top. Because there's still tier 2 turret there. Where should I go top? I have 4k gold or 3k gold right so let's recall. Um, I could get cleaver, I could get hole. No, I'll be top. I'll play my side lane. I'll go for this, why not? Like, who's going to stop me now? Who stops me now? Nobody. I think I'll go with Sand next. Don't have to move that. My team kills him. So now I get tempo on the tier 2. We play for that next. Then we get 600 gold here again. Game's over. Grass Jack setup is good if you're playing against tanky champions like Gragas, Malphite, where you really struggle in lane. Look at my CS by the way, chat. I'm 200 CS at 90 minutes as Jax. You see, I can do it on every champ. I can do it on Garen. I can do it on Lil Jax. I can do it on Riven. Every champion has their own downside and benefits. The only champion I'm going to struggle doing it is like Tom Kench and Shen, because they have no wave clear. But they have other benefits. I have to defend the dragon here, because they already have two. I don't want to give them a weak condition through dragons. Nah, no, I don't think Revenant's Hydra is good on Jax. Kha'Zix could come here as well. I'm gonna pull it here. I didn't ignite him. Wait, what killed him? I'm being very wholesome. How am I alive? Buff my champion, I think. I don't even know what the hell happened, but yeah. That was like 5v1 for like a minute. My team could have done Nash and like Dragon, instead my team just like pushes here. I 
wonder why I was picking them away. This is probably the most common mistake I see lower MMR players make. They overstay their tempo and base so long, and then enemy team respawns, and then they randomly all die, and then enemy team can get third dragon or they can get Nash. And it's like surprise Pikachu face, I guess. You guys know who a good coach is? Alois. That guy is good. Charcha. Let's go, man. Thank you for 12. Uh, if I die, they get Nash. Well. How bad happens sometimes happens. Happens. They have three dragons now. And the game is hard now. Can't lose if we play as five. Sorry, just really frustrating how I team. So like I I won them like a 1v5 here. My team could take the dragon and the Nash. Instead, they're chasing a Rel, and then they play for the tier tier three turret that gives them 100 gold collectively, right? And, and then they all die. So I get a 5v1. We don't take dragon. We don't take Nash. Instead, we take a tier three turret and chase a Rel that didn't die, and then we all die instead. Holy shit, man! Happens though. Darius is both no TP, so we can do this. It's a good call. We should be on Nash. Zonia's Darius ult. Okay. We can't. Better though. Still a hard game. Still a hard game. Focus here, I still have Zonia, so I don't flush though. I need my team to DPS this, not a, not a scuttle, you know? I'm gonna have to turn again. Our Radiant still still has ult, he probably has the massive ult. We should leave this. Oh my, why is she in the pit like there? Okay, we can we? No, we can't. Okay, I got it. <laughs> griefers, man! Griefers! Griefers! Biggest griefers! All of them! They're not even typing, they know they're criminals! They know they're convicted criminals! Oh my days, this game is hard! I pinged him to go away from the Nash, didn't I not? I pinged everybody away from the Nash, and then we all died. At 29, by the way, and then they kept hitting it for 10 seconds. That's massive, by the way. Holy moly. It's okay. Sometimes you don't control anything, even if you try to communicate. It's hard to communicate. They speak different language. It's okay. Let's focus here. We can still win this game. We're gonna need Jinx to come for this dragon though. She has three items. She's actually strong. Ari is almost three items too. My teammates are strong. What? My teammates are actually strong. They have three items too. My water is finished. I have no water. I have to refill it. 
Alright, I have Flesh Half Ignites. I have a lamp to hit Jinx with. My target has to be this Aurelian Soul, else he just kills everybody. This Aurelian Soul is the biggest issue. Who's pinging top? Why are you going top? Do you have a brain, like, problem? She wants to go for top wave here. You're kidding me. You're an Emerald player. Like, you're supposed to know better. We should peel this out too. I'm scared. I'm scared, chat. He's here. Okay, we got it. Why are you bot lane Jinx? Why would you want to slip push? Alright, we have enough gold for Starak, but I don't want to recall because we can still pressure here. Surely not only Darius here, these three items. Yeah. I had a feeling they were looking for me. Because my team was just able to push up forwards. I have no word left now though. Wow, I got one shot actually. I think I'm losing this game by the way. I think I'm losing this game. I played that bad too. I can't control the game anymore. The Kaisa and Aurelian Sword is so fed. I need more magic resist I guess. I think it's gonna be really hard to win this game. Uh oh. It's hard to carry these people. Yeah, we need Mercs, that's a really good one. I mean, we're full build, I can't really get stronger. I try to communicate with my team every time, but they're just kind of refusing to. And they just die super random. I mean, it's one and a half minutes for Nash, so... Let's play for that. I still want to collect a little bit here. I want to like one cannon. She should get most of the gold, but I need 100 gold, so I'm gonna take that so I can buy this. I have 4k HP, I have decent resistances. This should be good. I have Starx too. I have three ways of tenacity. What kind of no Justin Justin out the one thing that I could have done better is communicate like is, is ping what my team should have been doing. Like whenever I got the three kills I should have spam ping my team to do Nash instead of like allowing my team to chase the draw. I should have spam ping them to do Nash. I should have communicated better with them. That's what I should have done this game. Not necessarily what I couldn't necessarily like do too many things better. I had to communicate better to my team to direct them and stop them from inting. Even though I did communicate a lot with them by the way, and they just refused to listen, but yeah. What's even going on? They all have flesh. But I am Jax, I'm wholesome. Okay, like we did a lot at least. This guy flushed, and this guy flushed. Holy shit, it's hard to carry. How is my entire team even dead? Like, to what? I'm fighting like 3v1, 4v1, this whole team fight almost. 
Boah. Mid, AD, no F, play, drag. Uh, Ari can clutch here. 8 seconds for her ult. She can maybe clutch. Yeah, Aesol was on me the whole fight. If we make a pick here, we can play for Nash as well. We have no sweepers or pinks. We got refillable here though. That's nice, we have a refillable potion. Nocturne ult can follow me. Okay, I mean Kha'Zix is dead. They're all four here. So we should be able to get Nash with this. Well done, team, actually. Gargoyle better than Wit's End. I can see it somewhat. But let me focus here. I gotta focus ASO. What the f- Well, I misplayed. I'll try Gargoyles then. I don't know if this makes a difference though. I just got one shot anyways. Oh, I got hit by Kai'Sa passive, that's what one shot me. I was reading in chat and that's what I got hit by Kai'Sa W by the way. I I, I was reading, um, reading chat and then I got hit by double Kai'Sa W. That's what killed me. This team fight was my fault, by the way. Nobody else's. This was my fault. This team fight. I can't buy more, bro. Oh, you say instead of Sterox. I think it's still good to have Sterox. I think my build is fine now, chat. I'm not gonna itemize anything, okay? I'm gonna keep it here. I'm gonna focus on the game now. I gotta focus on the game. That's it. They have sums again, which is annoying. But we have Nash on who? On Ari. They're coming for me. Good, Doris is bold, this is good. Oh my, Jinx is dead. No bro spitting. Wow, 
Oh, I can do shit, bro. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. This, uh, I, Aso and Kaisa are just shredding me like butter every time. And I feel like I'm, every team fight, the only one on them. I don't, I, like, I never see my Ari or my Nocturne or my Braum. I'm never, like, they're never with me. I could be completely delusional, but I have not seen my jungler, my mid laner, or the support in any of these team fights with me. Please, team! Nice. Nice. Okay. This guy's no flash. How long for this already old? 20. Why is not your bot? That's actually maybe decent. Aesol doesn't have big ult either. I did not hit, get hit by another Kaiso W. Arya's ult. Where, where is, where is Jinx? She's hitting top and hip! Uh, no! No! Just no! And then you go melee! No, that's a win trade, by the way! She's hitting top and hip! When we're... Like, I don't know, man. They were just dead! If she just right-clicks there, they're dead. Me and Arya are just seeing everybody. Jinx is just a right-click. And then she hits like she hits the top and hip and walks melee to Darius E. I hate playing an Emerald Elo, I swear. This, uh, this Elo is one day gonna make me go crazy. I think. Ironically. Anybody? To anybody in chat playing in Emerald or Platinum with plus 50 minus 30, I salute you. I feel you. I hurt you. Your feelings are valid. Aesol's recalling instead of playing for Nash. They're not doing Nash when my, my jungler is dead. They are not doing Nash. And the team is grieving too. So that's good, I guess. You think my team noticed they have a Kai'Sa? Maybe not yet. Soul's TPing here. I need to not give this guy passive. He doesn't get passive off like this. Wait, our land on the charm on Aesol. Oh, I'm still getting one shot. I think I'm still dead. No, I'm alive. Okay, my carries actually are alive. I do zero damage by the way. Maybe I need to get Blade of the King now, honorably. Now I need Blade of the King, because else I won't do damage. Now I actually need it. I can't kill the Darius otherwise. Now I have no CDR. I don't know. Whatever. My flame's been burning a good while. We're 4v3.
Jinx has flesh, Ari has flesh. There's just no way we can lose this team fight. It's just no possible way we lose this team fight. Holy moly, I love playing in this elo. I gotta go toilet and grab some water. I see me actually, my Ari and Jinx also ran away instead of fighting by the way. I mean it's fine, it happens. I can show you guys where I went wrong though. Okay, watch me go full off the perkies 1v9 mode right here. Watch this. Okay. Fundamentals, watch him go, watch him go, okay? We're currently 5k gold up. Watch him go in. I just wanna get this map off and dip. To be fair, maybe this play also wasn't the smartest. But it ends up being a banger. What did he die to? The red buff? Thank you, red buff, my man. Okay, watch this. We keep it going. We do a little bit of wholesome Jax gameplay. We get another one. And we kill Kha'Zix too. Three kills on a mommy five. All right, what should my team do, chat? What should my team do? Kill Darius. Nice job. Third dragon is up. Baron is up. Right? Right? No! There is a rail! Change the rail, guys! Change the rail! This will change the outcome of this game! We could get Nash, we could get third dragon, we can do both! Or we could push this down, get in him. No! We chase rail! Jinx does Raptor cams, it's a very neutral response too. It's a it's a very good play too. And um yeah, then we we overstay right here. We don't kill the rail. I'm pinging my teammates away already here, right? I'm pinging them away already. Look, my ping should come out any second. Pinging them away, pinging them away. No, we stay. So instead of getting a free dragon and a free Nash, we overstate mid. Surprise Pikachu. Surprise Pikachu. So we went from an unlosable position to them scaling. And then we all died, and then I died here too. That is my mistake that I died here too again. And then... Game is just like... Shit again. We are playing against Urgot. Uh, I think this is a matchup where you run grass. We played it once before. I'm gonna go with second win still to sustain. Take this for the tenacity, and the rest is solid. I'll take armor though. And I go ghost TP. That's all good. And let's focus here. Make it quick. This guy has D blade. It feels very weird to have this white light like behind my screen, not gonna lie. I have to get used to this. But I do think it's much better. Alright. Let's just play for priority here. Uh, Ramus is patting at the top, but so is Diana, so... Bojo is patting top here. I think that's okay. I get my level 2 here from a melee mean. Yeah, I gotta keep in mind that this guy's playing D-Blade, no other form of sustain, so it's okay here. That's okay. Hmm. Also, a little bit too many last hits here. Okay. We're gonna have to crush this wave here, because Ramos is passing into top right. We're gonna crush this. Not gonna lie, I have to really get used to this lightning shit. What the hell, man? It's weird. It's distracting. So it's good that we're also not playing main account right now. I'd be super distracted. Uh, okay, Diana's looking to invade. This is fine, and the wave will bounce back into me in its current form, I think. Yeah, this wave should bounce. Okay, Diana is invading. Ergot is moving. That just gives me time to push up. I can't really move here. It's not pushing back into me. If it was pushing back into me, I could move, but it's not. I have to push this in. So, my best play is to just push this in. If my Diana dies, there's nothing I can do about it. And now we get a free recall from that, so... Still helps me, but depressured. And now we just base TP. Yo, Yosama, hey, welcome. Okay, so you hear a lot of shock stuff. From like my keyboard and mouse. Okay, that's not wishful thinking, of course. So you guys hear a lot of stuff. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, it's not who a good coach is. Yo, AMN WR, thank you for your prime. That guy is good. I'm a little bit distracted trying to figure out if my settings are good or not. Um, but Tor, let me know in Discord. I, I can try and set up a, 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 an arm too. Yes, I'm trying more Blade on King Jacks for sure. I think it's good. We can hear it, but it doesn't ruin the viewer experience. Yeah, but it's also for YouTube and like overall professional quality, right? That's what we're aiming for already. He went for Cole, so it's a more scaling setup. Alright, let's focus on the gameplay now. Let's focus on the gameplay. I've just been playing autopilot ring chat. Let's get level 5 and look for trade. Alright, this is good for me. I'm level 5 to level 4. So I like these trades. I... Rama should path into bot again because he cleared into top right. Good. He only has one potion left. I have double biscuit. Uh, also, it's best to use your biscuit when you're lower mana. Uh, because it heals percentage missing health and mi uh, missing mana, right? So the lower HP, the lower mana you have. That's the best timing to use your biscuit. Uh, I'm gonna get level 6 before this guy. I'll be just short, I think. One melee short. Oh, this guy's still top. If he flashed I think I was dead. I will ghost though. And get this for machine. Now let's recall. This wave will bounce back into me. Now Urgot is not sure if I have recalled or not, right? So I'm gonna leave my ward here. Urgot has to make a choice. Does he hard push this? Or does he slow push? Well, he has no idea if I'm still in lane or not. Ram seems to be going to mid. And we just walk back to lane here. Our wave's still in a good position. Yes, you mostly hold your E when he E's you. <clears throat> so, Jim, type type 1 in chat if microphone quality is good. 1 in chat if microphone quality is good. Please. And type 2, if not, no bueno. Okay, that's really good. Okay, perfect. And what about after, after the game, I'll show you guys what it looks like with light and without light. So you guys can have a comparison too. Okay, this guy's not level 6 yet, so I have my full passive stacked here. Now I want to look for trades, right? I'm level 6, he's not. He does have flash advantage. Also, there's a plant in the river currently that spawns at 605, so it's very beneficial for me to trade here as much as I can. Because I can always get access to the plant first. I know this wave is actually frozen. But what I want to do here, I think, is maybe ping my Diana to dive here. And alternatively, I'll just crash this wave by slow pushing this wave, hard pushing next wave. And then I can look for a plant in the river and Ergo is stuck in lane. Yeah, I got a new mic. It's amazing. I got a new headset too. I got a wireless Logitech headset too. I got extremely blessed. I want to try and deal as much damage as I can to him. Well... Diana, that's all you. You can't mess it up. Lovely. Well, that's why Urgot should never walk up when the wave is slow pushing towards him. So Urgot here did the biggest mistake ever. Which is walking up on your opponent's turn. When the wave is slow pushing towards him. Because now, not only does Urgot die, I also get plates. Plus he loses the wave. So he loses... The wave that I've gotten, so I've gotten two waves here, he doesn't. So that's like 500 gold that he's missing out on, right? Because I gain 250 and he loses 250. I get the kill or the assist here. So I get assist and EXP from that. Plus I get the EXP from the waves. Plus I get two plays. So dying on that turn, it's like... I don't know, bro. Just go next. Oh, he's canceling me. So keep in mind, if you die on your turn, it's okay. If you die on your opponent's turn... Go next. True. True. So Urgo died on my turn. His game is over. There's pretty much no recovering from this. Because let's say... So the cannon wave and the other wave I got in total is around 400 gold in EXP and gold, right? Then I got two plates, 250 gold. He doesn't get that. I get the EXP from the kill and the gold from the kill. And then the wave also bounces back into me. So in total there, that one death... Urgo does, doesn't lose like 300 gold, he loses like 1.2k gold, worth of gold and EXP. And then he gets a 700 shutdown. Because there's a bird on the Herald, solo. Love it. I don't even want to move here. 
Should slow push this wave and hard push next. Alright, good job, Diana. So this is my turn again. I like to trade in these type of windows. Because again, this is my turn in the lane, right? The wave slow pushing towards the Ergot. <coughs> but look, he's still trading. So now... Worth it again. Even if I died, it would be worth it. No, don't Herald here. No, this is such a bad Herald. The, I, I would get three plates on my own here without my jungler's assistance, right? But now he takes the turret here at minute nine in the game, which is just simply too early. Even if I didn't kill the Urgot there, right? Let's say the Urgot was 1 HP, he would have to recall because he would just be 1 HP. But I really hate that my jungler spawned the Herald here because now I'm forced to go somewhere else in the game. Like, I can't lane anymore. Um, so... Uh, actually, no. You keep uh, Trinket on this champion, of course. I mean, I guess I brought me to Dragon. The, the benefit I have is that I have TP, and I'm able to TP on means, too. This wave will bounce back into me because I crash into the tier 2. So, Urgot is gonna slow push here, right? He's gonna push this wave, and then one more wave before it reaches my turret. So, I have around a minute here to roam on the map, see if I can maybe kill these guys or these guys, and I can TP back. Oh, hello, Mr. Shell. Right, trying to create some pressure for my team. Right, it sucks that I have no uh, lane to play for. But maybe we can dive here. I just do something for the team. Never mind, I have to go here. And now I'll tippy top. Alright, then we're gonna have to create tempo here again. I can't really progress much in top lane. But I still think we get the dragon here from that. Alright. Let's see. Oh, Ergo TP as well. Yeah, now what should do about my team doing that dragon? Uh, I'm gonna slow push this wave, hard push next wave, and then I get tempo again. Let's see. Yo, Grimori. I appreciate that, boss. Let's slow push this wave, hard push this next wave. Maybe I can invade the Ramos, take some camps. But again, it really sucks that my jungler took took the turret, because it kind of makes it so I can't play the game, right? I can't really look to kill the Urgot anymore, he's never forced to walk off the last hits, the wave never bounces, and uh, yeah, that sucks. That's why you don't take turrets that early, you usually want to take the turret around like, I don't know, minute 12-ish. Alright, I've been spotted. I do have the vine. I just play with my Divine. He has tier 2 boots, but I have enough mana for 1Q. Nice, he will crash us in. Uh, I can maybe play for the tier 2 turret. Wow, this guy is stuck. Okay, I think I have enough tempo to get the tier 2 turret here. Now, that would be nice, because that means I never have to go top again. So I'm actually not going to help out my guy here, I'm going to take this. Because it's just 10 times more valuable for me. This is 600 gold. I want to get this on this tempo wave. Alright. Now I can move. There's a Syndra still without flesh somewhere. There she is. Okay. I'm going to recall this wave of bounce back into me. I could move both to try and shut down their remaining win condition. Which I think is a pretty good idea here. And I can always get like Bami Cinder. Oh no, not Bami Cinder. What's it called? Um... Like this item, right? For the Urgold and for the Twitch, but I don't need it right now. I think getting this is fine. What else would I want? I think I'll go this for now and see what this builds into. I gotta go top here for one more time. Because the wave is pushing into me. I still don't want to give him plates at 30 minutes into the game. Who wins ranked versus Jack's matchup? I think it's uh, Jack's favorite level 1 to level 3. And then it becomes ranked in favorite. And then once the Jax gets divine, the Jax kind of starts winning. So I'm not sure if I need Blade Room King this game. I don't think I do. Because I have Squishy, Squishy, Squishy. And this guy's too far behind. I have 40 for my TP. Yeah, sucks I can't TP here. J er, Twitch is their win condition, right? And I'm our win condition. I think I want Cleaver. And then maybe Frozen Heart. 
Uh, my enemy is going bolt. That gives me the opportunity to go to mid. Yeah, I'll move mid here. This guy has no flash. I know she has no flash. Oh. Oh, I got spotted. He's here too, what? Weird game. I'm not sure what this Twitch is at. Of beating up fat guys. Long day of beating up fat guys. Let's dive this. Where's my damage team? Okay. Was a little bit awkward, but hey, it ended up working out. We we'll get the mid tier one, which is good. Good dive by my team. And uh, now I go bot. Now we're gonna play for the tier one. Drain is in 40, so we play for now. Let's get this. I'm gonna ping this guy away. Oh, I built this for me now. Okay, she's blocking me. What is that skin? <coughs> no, Mally. I can't really go bot and just stop him from getting plates. It's guaranteed to stop Ergo from getting plates, but it's not guaranteed that my bait, uh, play to bot would work, right? So I'd rather stop the Ergo guaranteed. Because if my bot play goes wrong, I lose full tempo over the game, and Ergo gets back, and their bot lane still gets stronger. I'm close to Cleaver here. I think after Cleaver, I definitely Frozen Heart, though. The Syndra is their only AP damage, and she's kind of weak, and I think the Frozen Heart will be good against all their other champions. I have Cleaver and base here, theoretically speaking. I have TP. I think my team also wants me to kind of have Pryo here. I'm scared that Twitch is here too. Yeah, I have TP. There's nothing for me to TP on. Not like the TP. Alright, yeah, I mean Twitch was there in stealth, obviously. <laughs> oh, I should be this guy because he has no idea how the game works. Just pushing this wave. Oh, wow, where did I miss that? Alright, let's reset. I get my cleaver. I have a TP here. This guy actually has a shutdown. I must have been on the ward. Oh, this is really bad. I to Twitch too. Oh, not a good game. This game is gonna be coming very tricky. I think I just gotta mute all two for my own sake. Yo, PPS is welcome. Yo, Paradigo. I mean, game is tricky. Milo flashed. Oh, Ramos got it. Okay, that's good. Um. I have TP, let's see how I can use that. Yo, Sirion. Thank you for your T1, bro. Thank you for two months. You quit League this week. Salute, brother. Hope it does you well. I mean, this guy's going to Rome. I have TP here. I'll just ping it to my TP that my, t uh, that my TP is ready, right? I think I'm still completely fine this game. There's still a tier 2 turret in bot to play for. And that's just what we should be playing for. Let's see what we can do. If they fight here, this guy's no flesh. I'll just paint that too. I don't know what it's here. Twitch is definitely in stealth somewhere there. Yeah, there he is. I'm down to fight top lane. We're gonna keep checking out what my team's gonna do. I have a ward here. Right, this is good. Million no flesh as well. Should be good. Much love, Alois. Okay, James got it. Not necessarily bad. When it goes now, waiting for it to flash. Nice. Yo, thank you so much, King Kong. Thank you, brother. Well, that was really good. We got her flash too.
I'm instantly moving mid, so you can get mid tier 2 as well now. Jinx had other shutdowns, but I don't necessarily mind that because I'm already strong this game, right? So I don't mind my teammates getting some kills because, uh, like I said, I'm already strong. I don't want my team to overstay here, though. It's literally bad to take the NF here. Oh, well. Uh, thank you again for the two months, uh, King Kong. I appreciate it, boss. Let's just back off. Let's not overstay. Or not listen, or don't listen, I guess. Maybe they're gonna flame me again that I'm not there. In it. Wow, we overstayed for a tier 3 turret, chat. You know what the tier 3 turret is worth? 100 gold. I was already paying them away continuously. Such a common mistake. Four people dying for a tier 3 turret worth 100 gold. Well played. Let's see what they have to say. Let's see what you have to say for yourself. Oh, it's my bad. I should have been there. Oh, actually, I should be at Nash. I have to focus on their mistakes. I don't focus on my own gameplay anymore. But they don't, they don't do it in time, though. They don't do it in time. They don't do it in time. The Nash is too tanky for them. Only Twitch deals damage. That's okay. It's still gonna be like 8k. Yeah, they can't do it. Takes too long now. Well, we got Twitch Flash. Which is good news. It's okay here. But yeah, that's uh, that's standard, right? I should not be typing to my teammates as well. That's my mistake. But uh, my entire team, four people dying for a tier 3 top lane turret. Keep in mind, a tier 3 turret gets 100 gold. Such a common mistake, especially lower than more. Complete overstay for a tier 3 turret. It's all tempo, right? So uh, my enemy team, or sorry, my team all died for a tier 3 turret, overstaying tempo. Then enemy team thought they had tempo and they started Nash and now they all died. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a flip. Uh, AD. This is a Twitch flash timer. They have no flash, so it's good. Twitch, no F. Um, I mean, I have TP, I have everything. I can get my Frozen Heart, though. I think it's good somebody should get the Frozen Heart. I think it's a very good item. I only have three kills this game. But it's okay. I'm ready to TP at any given second, pretty much. The Twitch is going melee range. Syndra also no flash. I'm too strong in this team fight, especially with Ghost. Just stick to one of his sides, and he can't do shit against me. There we get our kills. Let's instantly go. Both the team fight is over. I instantly run to both to get the tier two that's still remaining there. Oh wait, Nash is up. Okay, I'm actually griefing. I thought we. Okay, I'm also griefing. I thought Na I thought Nash was down. Nash was the correct call. I'm griefing here. I'll just say sorry. Thought my bad. Should not be both. Actually, a bad call to be both here. I should never get the tier two over Nash, of course. The Nash would result in me getting the tier two later, anyways. The tier two doesn't result in me getting Nash. So my bad. I completely forgot Nash was still on the map. But we get the dragon, we got the team fight, we got Meteor's flash, and it's recall. <clears throat> okay, my next item is going to be could be Zonyas or Sterox. I think I like Sterox. Let's go. What's the secret you have to always having so much gold every game? Understanding that kills are not the only way to get gold. You need side waves, jungle camps, but also neutral objectives. Plates, tier 1 turrets, tier 2 turrets. <laughs> you see, Ergo has 7 kills, I have 6 kills. He has 2 items, I almost have 4. Because I have fundamentals and he does not. No, it's because I'm playing for jungle camps, side waves, neutral objectives, tier 2 turrets. They are not. I 
I'm so tanky. Don't even need the kills. I'm just gonna be annoying. Lovely. I don't even get any of the kills. But I have 70 kill participation as a top player out of 28, which is really good. Lovely game. Lovely, lovely game here. Wait, the Ergot got out alive? I need 1,025 gold though for Sterok, so I kind of want to get that. Mm, okay, I have enough the gold now. But Jinx can stack her passive here. Ah, be careful. Let's not overstay. Let's not overstay here. I think it's actually nice to have this Frozen Heart mana. It feels good to finally have some more mana on my champion. This champion has such high mana costs, it's crazy. Alright, I have Sterox now, I have 4 items. I can TP. Okay, then I'll TP on midwave so they can push it out. I think Twitch is maybe walking here. He has to be somewhere here. Where's Twitch? There he is. It's not looking too hot. Yeah, I just kill these guys so they can't do Nash. Yeah, they should have not been able to do Nash. That was my only goal. I don't necessarily have to kill them there, I just gotta make sure they can't do Nash. Now it should be really tricky for them to do Nash. I couldn't get my resources. They're gonna lose one Nexus turret even if they try to go for Nash. Now I'll just try to stall their time. And uh, I'm gonna try and stop this. Okay, so Ramos is not here, so they already don't have Smite. So they're gonna try and do this now, but... Look at Nexus, bro. Yeah. What's what's enemy team doing? What are they doing? Twitch has flesh, very good call. Come on, come on. Stop being anti-fun now. I'm not really keeping up with worlds. Every morning I'm coaching at the moment, trying to be as productive as I can in my days, because sometimes you just feel a little bit mentally worse, so you gotta keep yourself busy. You know what I mean, chat? GG. Twitch, Twitch is coming. I don't do much damage to this guy, even though I have Cleaver. Still gonna wait for Twitch somewhere. Where's the Twitch? Can one shot the turret. Uh oh, I have Starox. Yeah, I think this build was good this game. I didn't need Blade Hunt King because the 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 Ramus and the um, what's it called? The Ramus and Urgot weren't that fat. Good game. Low death swing games. Some of my Soroka died 9 times, my mid laner died 7 times, my... Or my jungler... Alright, whatever. Anyways, that's all good, we take those. No, don't do that shit, man. Nobody asked for that. You'll grasp me to these type of matchups. We're just gonna go grasp and scale. So I just got Demolish, Second Wind. I'm flinching. This gets Cosmic with Ghost Teleport. Ghost also to keep chasing this champion. And, um... We just played to scale, that's it. Okay, so she's playing PTA, Flash Ignite, and uh, Domination Second. So her only form of sustain will be her potions and probably Taste of Blood, right? But she has PTA, not, not, not Fleet. So let's say me and Quinn take an equal health rate. I have sustain through Second Wind, I'm gonna have a D-Shoot, I have Grass Sustain, I have Cookie Sustain, I have Potion Sustain, but she's gonna have very little sustain, so equal health rate benefit me here. 
What do you think of Facebook Emacs Jax into T Mobile? Not too sure. Actually, wait. I think what you can do in these matchups too is go Q start, by the way. You can go Q start in these type of matchups. Because it's only 8 seconds cooldown, it actually deals a lot of damage. I think that's what people do in these type of matchups, right? You go Q start, that's Jax. And then you actually have presence. I want to get a ward on here so I know how Evelyn is pathing in the early game. <laughs> have you been watching worlds a little bit? There she is. So she's probably pathing into both this game. Oh, you have auto attack enabled and doesn't it? No, I am very used to pressing S. I press S a lot during my gameplay. I've always had it enabled. I don't mind it too much. I think I want to sit in one of these bushes and I either go E start or Q start depending on how she plays. And like I said, equal health rates are okay for me because I have more sustain. But of course, negative HP rates are not beneficial. Also, contrast to popular belief, you actually want to push against range champions. Because when I push this way, Quinn is going to have to focus on last hits. And when Quinn has to focus on last hits, she can't harass me, right? Plus, I'm gonna get level 2 first, so she has only one potion here. Oh, my Q didn't land on her, my bad. I should Q her too, right? Didn't really hide it. Right, so this is a really good trade for me. Equal HP, but it benefits me, I have more sustain. Also, I'm gonna get level 2 from here. Nice. So this is already extremely good for me like this, right? My Q will be back on cooldown with W as well. Okay, that was not a good trade. I can do a third wave crash here maybe. And then reset, TP back. And then Quinn is playing with this HP. So now I want to look for another HP trade. Because I'm going to recall... Oh, she missed her E. So now I don't have to kill this Quinn. I just have to reset. And her game's over. What if I trade more for one on the turret here, huh? Or what if I just int? What if I just int? What if I int? What if I do that? What if I have a stroke in-game IRL both at the same time instead of recalling, right? What if I play for kill mentality instead of playing with fundamentals? What if I do that? We'll play. I should just E, walk towards her, then QW. No, I just Q onto her, which is the only way I lose. Well done, Alois. Well done. Very nice job. It's okay, though. Look at the wave. Fundamentals. Shut up, Alois. Shut up, you disgusting pain. <sighs> Anyways, the early game approach was good. True. Maybe I can cancel her base here. Nope. GG. I'm very sad with how I played that then. I won my lane, and then I threw it away. Classic. Madison is going to have to reset and go bot side. If I just reset NTP, Quinn would never be able to play out the bounces. She was screwed. But instead, I died like a pig. She has no potions. That's the first thing I see here, though. Wow, she's fast. I thought I would get close with my ghost. I guess not. I have a plan here though, chat. I have a plan here though, okay? But now we'll actually use fundamentals. I'm gonna slow push this wave, hard push next wave. Try to do one more trade, reset, TP back, and quit stuck in lane. Actually, this is the wave we should probably slow push as well. Good timing by her. Evelyn might be here too now though. Which I'm kind of scared of. Okay, Evelyn is bold. She hasn't recalled yet. Right? She hasn't recalled. I've lost a little bit too much resources. Uh, I'm gonna biscuit here. I need 700 gold so I can get Sheen. Now let's reset and TP back. Okay. 
That's okay. Not the best landing period. Matt Park, though, don't be a psychopath. Maybe you're good then. I don't know why you'd want your teammates to die. It's a video game, bro. I'm not gonna even answer that. What do you mean you want your teammates to die? Find a different hobby then, bro. If you genuinely want your teammates to die from playing a video game, come on. <coughs> Evelyn stops that again. This wave is bouncing. She has no flash. There's a plant spawning in the river in a second. Mirror go, thank you for the 11, bro. Thank you for 2 1. She's going to reset. Evelyn might be here as well. Oh, they're all the dragon. What are you doing then? I die now. Oh. Okay. Well, this game is very ugly. We're ahead in CS though. Okay. Nice. Kraken, it will happen eventually. Thank you, Kurt, for your prime. I appreciate it, boss man. Yo, Kurt, thank you for your nice message, boss. The I appreciate it a lot. The to say is because he's small and people take him seriously. Mm, my listen overstayed. That sucks a lot. Mm. I'm going to mute all. Because my teammates are just all being a little bit toxic. I was like a deep forward, 72% win it on with Riven Camille. What chances do you think I got masters? I mean, just keep working hard. Alright, I'm gonna focus here, chat, because this game, we are one kill. We are, uh, like, even in CS, which is good, uh, has. I'm just gonna say has flash. I want her to E into me. Okay. She's forced to walk up for last hits now. Um, I'm dead. Okay, I just got Kalista thing. Alright. Chat, let's try and carry this game, okay? So, if we want to carry this game, first things first, their mid and any carry are super far ahead, okay? All I can do is play my lane for now. I can't control anything that happens in mid to bot. I just hope my teammates somewhat stabilize. My only goal is to not fall behind myself. Silence doing random roams, so I want to actually try and push in this wave so we can dive her. Okay, nice, we actually killed bot. Nice, this is extremely good. Evelyn could be here, for all I know. And to be fair, I'm pretty scared of Evelyn. Put a point in my Q here. Oh, Evelyn's bot. That's why you go Ghost. Okay, so we get the kill, but she's gonna respawn pretty fast. We get enough. I don't how to go here. I got enough mana for one more Q in me. I have to dodge her Q. I didn't. Yeah, I'm just dead. Oh. I got the grass auto off too. Quinn is coming back with old doll. Okay, I mean, we killed Diana, we killed Quinn, and we killed their bot, so now the game is kind of stabilized. I can sell this and win a little bit. I think it's worth it to sell the D shoot, because if I play on three components here, it's not that good. If I finish my full divine, I'm twice as strong, right? So I'm actually gonna go for the full divine here. Yeah, I think it's just better. And I gotta sprint to the top, to take my taxi on the means. One more. No! No! It's okay. Tell Ronan I'm doing alright, just feeling a little bit nasal. Or how do you call that? Like my nostrils are like screwed. My body hates itself. Okay, let's keep let's keep my deaths very low this game, chat. So what item should I be going next? I think I want Ionian uh, to also get close easy on top of her. Yeah, I lost two. I uh, know she has no flash, no potions. Slow pushes wave hard push next. 
If I can do a small trade into her, because this is my turn in the lane, right, Chet? This is my turn. I'm pushing towards her right now. That's good. Evelyn could come here. That's what I have to respect. So I think I'll just recall. I gotta respect Evelyn. I mean, since going to bot side, I don't want to die on strong side. Although I might lose the plate here, which is something I don't want either. Just staying in proximity for the plate. I don't think I'll lose it. Okay, they could be on a Herald. And we're fighting bot. My team or enemy team knows where Listen is at right now. We might lose 2v3 though. Yeah. Stack our passive. Oh, she missed. Well, that's pure luck. I put my Q or my ward there so I can Q to that. Well, Quinn just inted, so... That happens. That's pure luck. I think if that hits, I think we trade one for one. I kill the Quinn, but I die. Which I think would be okay. This sneeze is going... Or... Bro, I hate it when my sneeze, like, gets... I don't know... For lack of better phrasing, animation cancelled, bro. My s I don't know. Okay, now my Ari is very fat. Diana died twice in a row. There, Kalissa is still- Oh, this guy's chasing. I have ghost. That landed. Goodbye. Ugh, that's ugly. You're ugly, Evelyn. My bad, though. <coughs> I mean, I think I should just walk back further away. I expected Evelyn to be on the Herald instead of still looking for me, but it's okay. I can TP behind her here. She might not be paying attention because she wants the plates. I'm gonna wait a little bit for Silas to come, but I think now's good enough. She can't walk anywhere. She can't walk past me, and Silas can cut her off too. Yeah, let's see, get out of this, bitch. That's what I thought. Okay, now I can get the full turret. Is there actually a massive cooldown? Ooh, I can fight. She's checking her items first, right? Before any skirmish, she should always check items. My listen is coming too. Nice. Alright, Quinn will be alive. So I think I just hard push this and reset again because I lost so much mana too. How much cooldown do I get? I mean, it's very negligible, I think, the cooldown. I should slow push this, hard push next, try to make her lose the cannon. Again, I want to minimize my deaths this game, chat. Remember, what I always say, low deaths win games, okay? So even though this Diana was super fat, she's died three times in a row now. Well, if you start learning to E me, maybe you win some games of Quinn, buddy. Evelyn could be here, so this is a little bit risky, but it's a calculated risk because I get the first turret here, so I don't mind if I get this and die. Okay, Evelyn's on dragon. That gives me the opportunity to push up this next wave too. And then let's see if we can expand the lead. Also, they have two magic damage people, but they don't really have. I mean, it's kind of hard to itemize here. I'm trying to think. They have zero armor. This might go to Zonia's though, but they don't really have any other forms of armor, so I'm definitely building this second. And then I'm gonna have like a lot of options for items. So I could go Zonia's third, right? Zonia's. Uh, I could go Sterox. Um, I could go Holebreaker. Kinda have to decide here. I think I wanna play for this Herald. I don't like Witsend. I don't think Witsend is enough here. I like Anathemas. I think Anathemas is a decent item. I don't like Maul too much because she can execute you before the Maul shoot. I have Ghost here in 20. If she... She's gonna kill this minion. Yeah, so she goes backwards. Holy shit, she's fast though. Look at my damage. Am I balanced? That was really well played by her. Not gonna lie, she's faker. She had flash up, but hey, that's a boss play right there. What well done, Quinn. I respect it, I respect it. First time you use your e -will. Okay, so all I want to do right here, to be fair, is get priority <coughs> and play for the Herald. Can I get it, please?
I try and be assertive here because I want to use this Herald to go into the bot and maybe get two turrets. Okay, he said, okay, it's nice. Let's make sure we secure it first. I think he's fighting. Okay, Evelyn is dead. Um, I can use it top for the tier 2 or I can use it to go bot and try and get two turrets there. Let's see. We secure tier first. I think I need 900. So let's get 900 before Rico anyways, right? I don't have a issue to sell. I've got Ghost and I've got TP. If whole enemy team bot lane comes here. Okay, nice job team. Um, okay, I think now we just Herald here. Yo, Herald, thank you for your prime. Wait, should we even Herald here? I think I will. I think I will because Evelyn is alive, Diana is alive. I don't want to like risk not getting this before they're here. So now I guaranteed get it. And their bot lane is going to recon and play for other lanes now too. And since their bot lane is going to leave, I'm going to ult this... Okay. Let's go. Please, Herald, take it. Oh, okay, goodbye, Herald. Me bot now. Please. Actually, I should recall safely. Evelyn could look too. Let's recall safely. So now I want to be bot lane. Why do I want to be bot lane? Because I want to play for the standard tier 1 and the tier 2 in bot lane. I'm not necessarily going to use my macro here for kills. Why are they still checking? What the hell? You're kidding me. They're chasing me all the way down. That's crazy. She Evelyn might still look for me actually. Wait, no way now, right? That's Evelyn's ward right there. Evelyn is here. Or like here. I mean, I have to be here, I guess. Then I have to be here. Okay. I'm ready to scale through this. Kidding. This guy doesn't even have a shutdown anymore. I still want to play for bot tier 1. No stopwatch, nothing. There's a, probably a scuttle here because it wasn't in the topside river. Kalista might look for it. There she is. This bot wave is pushing back into me. Let's check the minions. Our minions are 4% stronger now actually because we have level leads across the map. Right, Evelyn is only level 9. That Evelyn is very weak. Okay, so Evelyn is super weak this game. Diana died 4 times now. Or 5 times rather even. Um, the Quinn is really weak too. So it's only the Kalista that's like their weak condition now, right? So, I'm thinking of going Zonyas. I think it's pretty good to go Zonyas this game. Alternatively, Sterox doesn't sound bad. Holebreak doesn't sound bad either. I'm honestly not sure what to purchase here. These are the type of games where I have so many options. Like, Jax is so versatile in his, in his like, items that he can buy. I genuinely have no idea what he should purchase here. What's, like, the best? So, Evelyn, Thresh, Quinn are here. Only Diana, Kalista could be both sides. A Frozen Heart, I think, is not good enough because I have no magic resist. Okay, this guy is going for Zonyas. But we knew that because she already had a stopwatch. She has Zonyas though. Just ping that to my listen. I'm gonna hit ping the turret. Ping the turret. Turret. Yeah, this is really good. We get the tier one as well. Now we should get the dragon. Kalis has two items, so that's our target, right? Uh, my R is here with two items as well, though. I think I'm just gonna go midwave, so we should get this. I don't really mind to have Um Kinda want my team to play for the dragon here. Okay, we will play it. Okay, then I just go midwave. Here, I believe my teammates can decide themselves what they want. I'm not gonna do dragon by myself. My team can do it without me, so I'm just gonna go to bot wave here and utilize the tempo that we have by killing enemy team, right? If enemy team is dead, we have tempo on the map. Because they're dead, right? Simply because they're dead, I have tempo. Oh, oh this would be really bad if Queen gets a 1k. My team is just- oh, okay. And my team is just diving, I really dislike that. I think this is also a situation where we ult the wave to just get tempo on it, right? So I can get this turret ASAP because the mean damage counts, and now I get 600 extra gold. But my team overstayed and chased, so we didn't get the- oh. Keep running with the ghost. Just keep it running with the ghost. Goodbye. We should get the dragon though. I mean, what do I buy? 
<clears throat> I have to pee. Uh, Sterox. I'm so close. Where do I have to pee? Okay, they do have three dragons now. That kick was pretty amazing. Oh, get me in there! Co put me in, coach! No! Coach, put me in! Okay, let's go! Only two deaths, that's why we're still carrying. Now, my next item chat. I think. I think. It's going to be this. I don't need more damage this game. I need more resistances. I'm already 3k HP. I'm super tanky. I have enough damage with these three items. Because I have three already. All I need to do now is become more tanky. And now I'm going to have to build where, like, if I press ult, I'm going to have, like, 400 resistances. After a long day of beating up fat guys. That's the line. Right? Me included. I mean, I kinda wanna play for Nash. Also, Ghost is the best like summoner for mid to late. It's pretty shit for lane. Yes, I'm a bit sick. Thank you, bro. Oh, this guy's no flash. Quit his bolt. Let's start Nash. I kind of want to keep my ward. E over. Now I should play for tier 3s. This is where Ghost shines. Oh, she flushed. I'm gonna ping that, so it's gonna be 28. Oh, Sneeze, please come. Bro! That's nothing more tilting than getting your freeze or like freeze sneeze animation cancelled. True. Okay, actually, I might die. Let's back off. Reset. Oh. Uh, look at the light where you want to sneeze. There's no light, there's no sun out. It's like full grey outside here. GG, Dutch weather. You can learn sneeze tires, piss off, man. Dude, there's nothing more satisfying than a fat sneeze. If you know, you know. <laughs> Remember this Diana was like 3 and 0, or like 2 and 0? And then she died 8 times in a row. I still only died twice this game, same for Kalista, but. Yeah. What's this Kalista? Bah. Bah. I don't listen any more damage. You wanna fight me? I don't have old but I'm not scared of you. Punk. A little bit of legendary. This guy's a flash. Okay, she has mechanics though. Sterox, save me. Thank you. Okay, I still have Baron Rico. Evelyn. Wait, the old charms as well, I should have known that. This time you won't escape. Go, dude. 
This Kalista has been playing pretty well though. I kind of feel bad for the guy. She only has three deaths, but yeah. We'll make a difference because I only have two. Oh, please sneeze. Finally! Ah! Oh, feels good. GG. Oh, that was satisfying. No animation cancel finally. Oh, that was good. That was good. I needed that one. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Appreciate it. Oh, need me one more of those. I have Ghost again, and I'm level 16, like, if I ult, I think one or two people are gonna have like 400 armor and like magic resist. Kinda wanna test, test the theory. Watch this. Look at my armor magic resist chat. Ain't that ridiculous? I just wanted to test the theory. Fine with leaving. Oh, actually, I'm gonna go back in. I have static shoot, still, and I still have the other shoot too, which is pretty wholesome. What do you guys think of my resistance there, chat? I just jump in. I still have Sterox. I still have this. Like, how do they actually kill me? And my last item, I would go Zonya. So, then I'd have Sterox, Zonyas, and Gargos, and like, 4 resistance, and ult with... Wait a second, CD. I love my champion. Love Jax. <laughs> I need to clean my glass now. Hey, it's not that bad. Oh. Okay, that was a good Drax game. I'm happy with that one. Garen is better. I mean, I still love Garen a lot, but this champion definitely has potential. But I, I've had this before, like, even with my old camera, like, it just stays on. So I go to sleep, and, like, like the lightning thing is still on. And then I just have to, like, cover a sock over it. And the only way that I can fix it is even if I restart my computer and turn my computer on again, the light is legit still on. The only way I fix it is um, by pressing, uh, by literally unplugging everything on my computer and leaving it out for 10 seconds and only then it fix. fixes itself. There you go. Boom. Boom. What's up? It's me, chilling. Holy shit, the size matters. Oh, River matchup! Focus! Focus here. Uh, I think this setup is alright. It's going to be a bit trickier spacing, but let's go. This guy doesn't have Ignite, no sorcery, so we'll be fine. But I really don't like my setup here. And it looks now. Purchase both your courses and can say they are so well explained. And I'm excited to be goat like you, bro. Buzz, thank you so much for your support, Buzz, man. I can guarantee you it will change your life. It will change your gameplay. Bro, I, it feels so weird sitting in front of the screen and not having my camera here, man. I used to be no camera ND, and now it feels weird to not have a camera. I want to talk to you guys. But yeah, my camera is just, just bugged out. Tomorrow I'll be back, I guess, with camera. <sighs> yeah, can you fight, little bitch? Can you fight, little bitch? D-Blight with TP? <laughs> yeah, you're a bitch. Alright, push me in. I want to be pushed in so that Chico can gank you. Oh, you're faker, huh? We get our bomb planting out, though. I wanna, like, I have to give her priority, right, so that Shaco can gank, which kinda sucks, but yeah. She wasted her Q, though. Baited! Baited! Lasted! Baited! River was like, He's trolling. Suck my dick, funny man. Play man. Play man. First for waves. Kidding, bro. I'm sorry, Evan. I'm sorry, Evan. I'm jungle abuser. It's jungle game. It's jungle game. Good trade by her. She's angry. She's really angry. She's dead though. Shoot! Approach velocity jacks though.
I only need to push in the melees in theory here. Then I just walk away. Jose, chill bro. It's okay. You know the further you are away from Graves, the less damage she does. She only has these blue blade and refill. Well, 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 ain't that a little Riven Piggy getting stunned. I'm not gonna go potions, potions for noobs. Actually, I should go potions. Potions are for good players. Let's go boots and one potion. I really think potions are so broken, that's why I go for potion here. Alright, we're very close to level 5. Let's hold the wave here in the happy spot. Forcing Riven to walk up for last hits. Gotta play slow with our HP pool here though. Riven might roam. I'm gonna communicate that. Grace is 24 CS. He's taking topside scuttle. Or he might be going for topside scuttle actually. She is refillable. She's dead. My cooldowns come back faster. She can't live. Sucks being a river one trick, bro. Sucks being a river one trick. I know my cooldowns too well, but sorry, brother. So what she did wrong there is Q forward. She should W auto attack, EQ out, but she Q'd forward into W attack and then tried to go out. But because she Q'd forward, she never can get away from my E. If you dub, if you W use me, and then like yeah, I, I I explain, I explain. It makes sense, right? It makes sense. Type one and makes sense. Type one and makes sense. Why she was dead there? Also, I explain it again for the bros. Okay, good. Okay, everybody knows. Everybody knows. There's a plant spawning in the river soon, chat. So I'm gonna slow push this wave and get the plant in Riveros. Or just Rico, actually. I have 800 tokens. Too little. Too kluggy. Okay, Grace is both 32 CS, but no items yet. So he still has to Rico, right? He actually did a Rico after this full clear. You wanna trade? Careful there. Riven! You want to trade? Perfect. Go for the last hit. You want to. Should I proxy? Nah, let's reset. Actually, I will proxy. Alright, they have to split and proxy. Because I just get a much better reset if she gets zero from it. No, I can get Ruby Crystal too. Wow, this potion was so useful, Alois. Well done, bro. Well done that you had a potion, Alois. Nice trade to Boris. Plus 30 for Boris. Stonks for Boris. Can Jackson 1v9? Absolutely. Absolutely. How'd Bomba coaching go? Went pretty well. He was happy. I think everybody can learn a lot from the coaching, especially if you're a champion, like, the champion is like really weak in the early game, right? So it was really good coaching. Because usually people play champions in top lane that are like, aggressive, right? So it was interesting to coach a champion that pretty much always loses in the early game, and showcase how fundamentals still pretty much carry you completely. She eat forward. Lethal tempo range. Chilling. Bro, can we like do something about Jax? Champ is broken or buff Riffin, no? True. I need 1.1k gold. So if I get much of this wave. And so this shoot, I have it. Is she here? Please don't be here. Alright, we're chilling. Now we saw this shoot and we have it. If she finds me here, we have F, by the way. Alright, she looks for me. Alright, chat. So, here's where we say GG. <laughs> 8 minute divine some data. Remember, I'm playing with approach velocity. 
gain seven and a half percent movement speed towards nearby enemy champions that are movement impaired. So I guess if I eat them, I get movement speeds towards them, but I can only eat them if I already in melee range. Look at my team. Not so chilly. But I actually went ahead and say some bot there, it's alright. So right now, Riven can do whatever she wants and she's destined to lose. I have the wholesome item. If you're a Riven main in chat, type 1 in chat if you love Divine Sunderer. Absolutely love Divine Sunderer. Look at this. Dish. Ah! Come on, Riven. Play the game. I'm sorry, Riven. Oh, what? That's Grace? Like literally one auto attack. Look at that. That was QW by the way. That's not even an auto attack. That's like QW. <laughs> it's gonna be so disgusting for her. Watch this, okay? I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. That's gonna be a prime example of how disgusting the vines are. Watch this, okay? I remember, so I'm hitting with a lamp. Nothing else. So let's stack this passive. I'm gonna do uno, dos, tres. <laughs> Not worth I ego it. I egoed it. I egoed it. Okay. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, my bad. Well, thank you, Shaco. That was helpful. Oh, I have TP here. <gasps> Chat? Wait a second! Now he's gonna part portal also them away. Now I. Go for these means. Okay, that's right. Thank you, Exact Blade. Yo, Reptile. Good to see you, boss. I should give Raven so much money here, that's my bad. But it's okay. I allow her to play the game. <laughs> Do you guys think of Raven's having fun, chat? I did 3 other attacks with W on her. Get up, Frederick. Let's go. What's up, King? Top is most useless role with OP champs. Agree? Yes, you're correct. I 100% agree. The problem, I, I agree. I think a lot of top lane champs are completely broken. And I actually also think in the lower MMR you go, the more impact you can have as a top laner. It's just the higher you go, the, the, the same come true, but then you can do less and less, right? But yes, top lane has very broken champions, 100%. Also, very often they have broken items. You know what, I'm just gonna watch you in advance. Dish. Dish. Oh, I cancelled my auto, I believe. That's okay. Not much she can do. Let's wait for bounce. The problem also is that if, if there is an item that is strong for top lane, such as Death Dance, then AD carries build it too. Or like other lanes build it too. That's my issue with top lane as well. I mean, I think we go... We build a Cold Farmer here too. Frozen Heart is going to be really good. They're actually 4 AD. Yeah, they're 4 AD. So we take... Sphere of Sojin. Actually, Chet! Jax is the only champion in the game that can build every armor item. I can build Zonyas. I can build Frozen Heart. And I can build Death Stance. What if I build all three? So I go this into like Zonya's Frozen Heart Death Stance. How can play? I hope you're doing good, Reptile. Alright, cheers, Gore Drinker. Uh, we got seven stacks on the passive. Should 
Trying to try and trade a lot, or uh, try and trade with her as much as I can with my W Divine Sunderer procs. The wholesome item. Could be a plant in the server. Otherwise, a scuttle crap. Let's see if Grace did it. Okay, he did. And no plant. Unlucky, man. How can plant? I don't have any sustain. She does, so I gotta keep that in mind. My only sustain is actually through divine. <coughs> oh, I missed my E. We put it to one HP there. Can always base the P. So what if I reset here and instant TP on the wave? I like it. It's a Picasso play. I got movement speed too. So let's get the turret now. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Worth. Okay, so Rocky, you better be ready to hold me, you bitch. I try to type Soraka. Shit. Oh, I had the fine. My bad. I forgot. Must have forgot. Worth. Alright, let's go. Move on. Yeah. My champ is pretty chill. My champ is pretty chill, chat. If only I didn't buy the salt armor. I mean, it's kind of worth it to sell it, ironically. Because <laughs> I get all the stats. Alright chat, we're gonna go all the armor items that exist. I'm gonna go Zonyas and and Frozen Heart and Death Stance. Also, the reason why armor is so good this game, alright? So, Death Stance is extremely good because they are 480 champions without true damage, right? So, Death Stance is already absurdly broken. Death Stance only get countered by true damage, right? So, and they have zero true damage. Then, they have Yumus and Gore Drinker. That is two mythic items that don't have armor penetration, right? Yumus doesn't have armor penetration. Only Eclipse does. Yumus or Gore Drinker also doesn't give armor penetration, so she's cleaver, right? So here I'm gonna have multiple ways to already like they already have multiple mythics that are not going to be dealing damage to me. She just eat forward. Hello. Oh, you wanna eat into me? Careful, I'm in my wholesome state. Alright. Let's start stacking the armor chat. So which one do we get? Which one should we get first? Zornias? Frozen Heart or Death Sudens? I like the Frozen Heart. Give me the mana. Go Frozen Heart, then Death Sudens, then Zornias. GG! Yo, CTNP Pyro. Welcome. You should have my cam on. Unfortunately, it's gone. Yes, my damage is broken. Why? I got the Divine Soul Deader. Enemy bot lane might keep pushing here, so I'm gonna run bot now. Ezreal might get a shutdown too. Where can we grab this? After they're pushing this, they're gonna go recall so I can just play for the bot tier 1. I don't mind losing my bot tier 1 here by the way. In fact, I actually prefer it. So I can start bouncing tethers too. I'm completely fine with them taking this. It was Sam Griffin though. He has a shutdown. I respect it. I respect it. They should reset, which gives me tempo on the bot tier 1. Okay, they're not resetting. Uh, I'm furious mid, the Raven could be anywhere, I guess. Are we gonna get another kill for people staying with a dead turret? This game is gonna go really funny, chat. Once I get more armor items, and remember, 
Jax is the only champion in the game that can build every armor item. I just gotta keep expanding my lead. I got top tier 1, I got mid tier 1, and now I got bottom tier 1 as well. Alright, so I'm playing for resources that are guaranteed to give me money. How much do we need? 1.8. I actually want the skill. Soraka needs to be ready to ult. Ah, uh, there's something for somebody coming for sure, by the way. Voldy can as well? Actually true. I guess Voldy can too. Uh oh, mama. Oh, full HP. Dish. The Delta Rage did too much damage. Dish. Oh, I didn't play that that well, but yeah, they just don't do damage. Especially Riven with Gordrick and Tavis. Actually, I should reset the TP top. <coughs> Riven is a herald. Alright, TP bot here. I'm gonna TP bot here. I have tempo on this wave too. Okay. Let's keep stacking the armor, bros. So she has no flash and no mana. Her mana, his mana is like what, 90? He has not enough mana for E actually. I think it's 90 mana for Z. I'm not 100% sure on the cost though. Graven is top. Azure is dead. That gives me enough time to play for this. Let's keep it going. Alright chat, this game is gonna turn into a really wholesome game. Like, I, I am unironically going to be unkillable, I believe. I'm already almost there. Like, they're not gonna really do a lot of damage to me, you see? Like, I don't even have ult here. This Grace has been hitting me for a while. But I'm genuinely not gonna take damage this game. Watch it with this ult too. That's pretty fun. And watch till I have like death stench, you know, so I even heal and like take less overtime damage. I don't mind my Soraka dying. It's gonna stall the game. I want this game to last, okay? It's gonna be a lot of fun. How much for Zonyas? 2.7. 3k for this. Yeah. I'm playing this. I have <laughs> I have approach velocity on accident by the way. That uh, uh, is supposed to be cosmic insight. Alright, we're level 16. So now we can get even more wholesome. I mean let's get 2.7k gold. Let's get let's get our zonias before we reset. I can get that. I have no mana. Right, please don't one-shot me. Stop it! You're one-shotting me, bro! Okay, they're actually kidding me. He can collect for me. He can collect me. <gasps> I actually have to be careful of collector, because that's too damage. Alright, I want to get 2.7. I am greedy, but uh, you know, money is money. Game's game. Boys, let's go chat. <coughs> A side wave is pushing into us. Uh, see, I would want to go bot lane here, but I'm gonna ping Ari to go bot. The reason as to why is because I can play for this top tier 2. I do want the blue buff, but it increases my tempo. Okay. Alright, I have to be in 35. I mean, I can't fight here. This guy has two items. Oh, shit, they have armor penetration! No! Riven, 
Riven, do combo on me. I won't hurt you. Check damage. If she doesn't hit, do, do, now also I'll just dive her. That's fine too. Okay, never mind. I will hurt you. She can't really do damage to me. She's pretty much healing me. Should dodge the turret shot. Okay, I misplayed. The bark's almost too broken. But I'm still chilling though. Alrighties, pretty wholesome. I got Soraka with me, so I should be fine. Alrighties. Alrighties. I just need a blue buff. Wait till I get death stance. It's gonna be even funnier. Alright. So what do you think of my champion chat? Champ is pretty good against full AD comps. Gonna keep it there. Yeah, it's pretty wholesome, no? That's pretty true. Let's get this now. Alrighty. Oh no, more armor penetration enemy team chat. Careful now. They gotta start dealing damage almost. What the hell? I can actually die. I don't know that. Wait, they can't kill me? Do you have an unreal hatred for any champion in the game? Unreal hatred for any champion in Poppy. If you're a Poppy player, I don't know. I just don't like you on a personal level. If you know, you know. Yeah, I don't like Poppy players. Don't like the Poppy players. I hate Aurelia myself. I don't like. I don't mind Aurelia. Aurelia actually has skill expression. You can be an Emerald Poppy, and you can make my lane annoying as, as like any bruiser. Which tanky jungles do you enjoy to play with? Gragas. Um, Zach. I like Zach Udir. Anything that is tanky and deals AP damage. Generally speaking, tanky and AP damage. Zach Udir. Gragas. It's actually well played by Grace. I mean, enemy team can win in theory. As was six and two, this game is not over yet. Let's keep on the focus. A Mumu. I mean, yeah, I guess a Mumu, but like, who plays a Mumu? True. True. Oh, what? Where is the divine proc? Riot! My cat is bugged. <coughs> My team should not fight without me. Are they like all dead? Oh no, we have pink ward. Well done, team. Good. Wait till we get out to him. I mean, G, I guess. Oh, break this either. Ranger is watching you on his stream. What do you think of my build?
They're full AD. It's already GG. It's already GG. I think what you do against Rankton, by the way, Chad, is you go Grasp. I like Grasp against Rankton. Just to sustain. Just to, like, skill to your Divine. Once I have Divine, I would completely destroy this guy, okay? All I need to do is skill to Divine. And then maybe Cleaver or Spear of Sojin. And then I go, like, Frozen Heart, Zonia's Death Dance. Also, look, they have zero true damage. It, like, Jax is arguably the best top laner to play against a full AD comp. Maybe besides Malphite, right? Because I can buy every armor item in the game. Why not Ignite? Because I'm looking to scale. I mean, Ignite would be better in the matchup for 1v1 kill pressure, but in theory, I should lose this matchup, so I just go for a more scaling approach anyways. And I got this shoot. I'm not necessarily looking to kill Rankton in this lane, because I hard outskill this champion. And by playing to kill him, I kind of put myself in a volatile position too. What I know for a fact this game, like 100% factual, is that I will outskill enemy comp. I 100% outskill them. So if I stay even to like minute 13, now I get GG. If I get Divine Tabis, or maybe Divine CDR boots. <coughs> and this guy is not so happy, is he? Also, I missed a, a sub here, I think. Sark Turner, thank you for your prime boss, man. I appreciate it. Yo, Tar, my man! How you doing, brother? You guys know who a good coach is? Alois. That guy is good. Yo, Muhalabi. Yo, fundamental screaming streamer. <laughs> Four minutes! Alright, let's focus. Yes, sir, Jusra. Good to see you. Clan, and welcome. I still am a little bit sick. Um, but we're doing a bit better. My nostrils are still a little clogged. Thank you for the seven months, brother. Thank you all for the support. Okay, Jet, let's focus. I go for E start, and I am looking for priority. I don't have a ward now on their job. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Well, in that a banger. I am going to look for priority. He loses XP here. It looks like a ranked and is leashing. That's completely fine. I'm just looking for priority. I should win this matchup level 1 to level 3. Oh, they could have started his. I think they started here. Because Rankton came from there. I think they started this. I didn't check it, right? He has Q, I gotta be careful. I'm trying to communicate with my jungler too. I'll get level 2 from this caster and this melee. Rankton might not expect it. A little bit of a level. Oh, I think I got the XP though, but I'm losing a little bit of blasted. That's okay. Okay, this guy's playing with Ignite. And yeah, this guy took blue buff, right? I lost one EXP here, but that's completely fine. My Amumu has to go here. I'm communicating with my Amumu so he, that he is completely fine still. I won't get level 3 now from two melees because I lost some EXP, right? And I lost some last hits too, but I made sure that I'm not really gankable and Graves wasted a lot of time by going topside. So it's good to all I need to do there is just stay alive. I didn't even need to use a summoner, so I'm very happy here. I think here I need to slow push and hard push wave number 4 and get a chill a recall in. Ooh, that sucks getting hit there. Okay. I got 8 passive stacks still, as long as I kick him. Oh, I'm almost died. That is not good! We all died. My strongs are man. It's gonna be hard to push this in. And I also should be level 4 already, but I lost one caster, right? Now I get level 4. Okay. I kind of want 700 gold on my first reset so I can get a Sheen. So I'm fine staying. I still have Potion and Biscuit. And just play for my Grass box. Right, every time I, I get my Grass, I'm looking to proc it. I'm also fine with Rankton pushing this way back into me now. So that I can just look for a reset, right? Because whenever the wave is pushing back into me, I can always look for a reset. Alright. Okay, let's get this one minion. Get 700 gold. Oh, I might be dead. Okay, guys, flush. Lovely. The biscuit saves me. Guys, if you also didn't know, read with me here. 
eat the biscuit to restore 8% missing health. So the lower HP you are, if you lose a if you use a biscuit at like super low HP, you instantly gain a lot of HP, 8% missing health and mana, right? So there's flesh there. So nine top, I'll time that, and I'm TPing in time to freeze this. And now my goal is to try and see if I can stop rank this recall. Okay. I need to match level five before I can realistically fight him. Oh, I got hit there. That's is not good. Okay, there's no E and no flash. I think he's dead here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> that was a little awkward. The only issue I have is I lost a lot of HP trying to do that. But I have one advantage yet, and that is that I'm going to get level 6 on this wave. So my goal is here to hard push this as fast as possible. He should be TPing as fast as possible as well. I'm focusing the casters. My goal is to just get a reset in. Okay, if he Qs this, the wave will just bounce. Okay, maybe I've went in too deep. If I had some mana, he was dead. He has E again. I'll be extremely careful. Also, this plant right here is spawning at 6.05. It won't spawn any earlier. He gets level 6 from like a few minions here. There you go. Well, I'm gonna lose a full cannon wipe because he's hard pushing, which is his correct call, right? But I did get a kill, so I, I lose your short term, but again, I am outscaling this game, right? That's the benefit I have in this game. I will always outscale, but I think I should have just taken my reset, which is very good and smart by the ranked as well to cancel my reset earlier. That was well played by him. I don't go deep late in the straights because uh, sustain is a lot more important. Yo, yeah, Subo, thank you for Prime. And Dremo, I'm doing alright. I lost the full cannon wave here, though, and a plate. But we're still completely okay in the game. Remember, if I'm even, I will outskill in this game, okay? So my goal is to go even. Also, I have an Aridian Soul that will skill, so we're completely fine here. It sucks to lose a play, but it's alright. On my next wave, I want to hard push. And the reason I want to hard push is so that the wave bounces back into me. So there's not really any point. Actually, there is a point in slow pushing here. And that is to make him lose some melee means. Alright, I'm down to gank here if my Mumu wants to, but he does have ult, that's one thing I have to keep in mind. Uh, the, the the benefit I have by slow pushing here as well is that I still have first access to the river, right? Oh, he's going for ruby crystal and a cloth armor, so him going cloth armor here will delay his mythic by quite a bit already, like 300 gold is just 300 gold that's delaying his mythic, right? I am fine looking for a trade right here, chat, that is because I'm gonna get access to the plant first, right? So it's really good for him to avoid any trades. I want traits right here. I'm gonna keep my Q up and my W up. Okay, he's not looking for it. What I could do here as well is look for a plate. Alright, that was clean. I see Gravesmith. Alright, nice. Rankton should not chase me because he's going to lose a full wave by doing that. So it's completely fine to get waste this guy's time. The longer I keep him here, the more he loses. Beautiful. Slow push was the correct play. I could reset, but I think it's completely fine to stay because I get access to the plant here. And maybe I even get a roam timer off. Is there a scuttle here? It would be amazing. It's 50-50. Oh, it's here because the icon is still up. So there's a scuttle here for sure. There we go. Get that. The reason I go Sheen this game is because I'm playing Grass. So when you play Grass, I like Sheen. Worth. This guy has no flesh, by the way. But Ranger's coming too, and I'm losing a wave. Worth. I can't jump in there because there's a Rankton. Okay, it was not worth it, by the way. The Rankton hard pushed this wave. It was not worth it. Worth. Just say worth. I made Grace tilted, so it's worth. Okay, Rankin is pushing this wave into me, which is beneficial for me. I think what I have to do right now... So I'm always thinking, how do I set up my reset, right? So what's going through my mind here is I have TP in 40. So I'm just going to use that TP to set up my next reset timer. Right? I don't necessarily have to get, like, priority or make the wave push back into him. All I have to do is just wait so I can reset and TP without losing anything extra. That would be my plan here. Yeah, yeah, I see. 
play it well, but remember, I outskill super hard. I just gotta make sure I don't die on this wave. And I'm taking a little bit too much damage. But as long as I have my E, that he cannot dive me. Alright. Alright, let's go. We can base DP. We're gonna have this. Next reset, we get 700 gold, and then we have Mythic, and then we're gonna be super strong. I'm not gonna buy any potions or anything like that because it would delay my mythic. So here, I just TP back. We need 500 gold and then we have mythic. Also, he just eat forward. L1 he, L1 he. My man. Thank you so much, Living Brick. For the 7 already. Thank you for support, boss. I mean, could have maybe cancelled this ranked since reset. And now my job is to hard push this. Graves is coming into top side for sure. He could TP on this wave as well. Oh. He didn't reset yet. I want to match my level 9. I don't necessarily need to trade here as much as... Like, I, I also want to avoid trade, honestly. I missed the cannon. That's the one I needed, though. I'm gonna stay my passive. This guy's no flash. I need to kill. I get the double buffs. And I get enough gold for my mythic now. So I'm just gonna push in this wave, and I'm gonna look to reset. Hello, this guy. If this guy wants to trade, we can dive him. Okay, he had flash as well. Just a little bit of a misplay there. He had his Rico up, and I mean his ult was out. Just out space in there. I walked backwards. That kind of baited him to walk forwards, and I was able to get a kill like that. So now. We are completely going to outskill this guy. He still has fl TP, so just recalling, not staying for another plate. Now we're super strong. My right, jungler can do this by himself. It's a grown man. Okay, well, if my mid laner is gonna get solo kills, then this game is gonna end really quickly. Um, so now we have to decide: do we want to go for Cleaver? Oh, we TP bot. Okay, I don't even think that's that worth it for them. Especially if we trade. Oh my, they're gonna escape this too. Oh no. Ranked to flash. 16.30. Top. Oh, it's so bad. He gets nothing. This Rankings game is over now. So, the thing I was going to mention is do we go for Cleaver or Spear of Soldier in this game? Um, and I think Spear of Soldier because he only has Tabis here. They're not going to build a lot of other armor, right? If they were building a lot of armor, I would want Cleaver. But since they're barely building armor, I'm just going to go for Spear of Soldier, I believe. Cleaver is still decent, though. Let's see. I could go for either. But at this point in the game, I have completely outskilled the Renekton. Like, he, as long as I don't make mistakes, even though I'm behind like a little bit in CS, right? He can never catch back up. I'm assuming this guy doesn't have ult because he died bolt. I'm gonna wait for her to use E. She does have ult. Why are you dead in bolt? And why do you still have ult? Bad assumption, Alois. Nice job. My bad. Listen, now it looks int, but I played with the assumption that she didn't have ult, you know? Why does she die both but still have ult? Stop question mark pinging me. My bad. <gasps> Play this 1 HP chat. Okay, Grace guys are dead. Zai has to reset. Rankton is bot. Blitzcrank is bot. Or is base, rather. I think I have enough time on this wave to try and get this full turret. Or maybe even on this wave already. Good luck, boss, on your thesis. Alright, let's get this full turret. And uh, let's refrain from dying again in this game. That was a little bit awkward. Oh, we need to be fast here. That was my bot lane gets it. We gotta be very fast, chat. No! Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Grace has no flash. Grace could be anywhere. That's a Kai'Sa. I'm gonna act as if I'm walking away. I have my ghost. There's a Grace. Without flash. What did you learn, Kaisa? What did you learn? 
The lamp pulled to your face, not very nice. Alright, let's hard push this wave. And hard push next wave. We always want to try and crash it into the tier 2. However, I'm a bit scared of Renekton showing up here. In theory, I would want to hard push the second wave. Okay, Renekton is here. And the reason I do that is so that the wave crashes into the tier 2 turret and will bounce back into me. So that I'm happy. Alright, always push in the second wave too. Not only push the first wave. You always want to push two waves. Similar to Lightning Face. Alright, now... Harold is maybe our next objective. Tier 2 turrets are our next objectives. At this point in the game chat, I don't need to play for kills. I mean, I have a beautiful TP here, maybe. But the most gold income that I could get right here at this point in the game is actually from turrets. Nothing else. Just turrets. So I'm gonna TP bot. And that is because ranked and Zyre are death. I get tempo. And I'm gonna play for tier 2 turrets. Those give 600 gold, that's what I want to play for. Neutral objectives, I don't need to play for kills. The kills will come to me by playing for neutrals, right? Because they want to defend them. Alright, let's play for this. 600 gold right here, 600 gold right here. Harold is in 2 minutes. Dragon is up on my team, is doing that. Yo, Raze. Thank you, Raze. When I put my ward here, so I can always jump to it. Oh, I can't jump to that range. I'm an idiot. I gotta dodge this one. But he's waiting for the... Uh... Divine Sunder healing? No, I misplayed it very hard. My bad. They all came here. Of course I can't jump this range. I mean, my Q range is pretty massive, but that's a that's a bad death for sure. Hmm. I play that pretty poorly. I could have played that way better. Oh. Yes, Kate. I mean, I will eventually. Soul's making a mistake here. He's not pushing out the second wave. It's bad for the side wave to not push out the second wave. It's kind of like going to freeze here now, because of what the ASOL did. Also check, our mains are 10% stronger. So by Aurelian Soul never pushing out the second wave, if we keep track of this like of this side wave, it's always going to be towards our opponents now, because he didn't push out the second wave. See? It's still here. That's why you always push out the second wave, chat. This guy's no flash. Oh, but he's Yomus. I wanna kill this guy though. I've used my ghost for it. Okay, chat, actually, let's not play for kills. Let's play for tier 2 turrets. Let's play for this. 600 gold right here. That's all I need to play for, okay? Let's be disciplined. I already died once. I have a full item in base. My TP is already back at 30. That's because I have CDR boots and this thing. So my, actually, my actual cooldown of my summoner is very short. Let's play for the tier 2 turret, that's all I want to do. And then I recall, we can play Harold, we can play top tier 2, right? You see, I'm not playing for kills chat, I'm playing for consistent things on the map. Is this hard to replicate? Is this hard to replicate chat? No! Absolutely not. You guys can do this too. It's just a matter of understanding macro and tempo. Alright, let's keep pushing. She used E, that's else she wouldn't make that noise. I'm gonna use E. Okay, I think I can escape. I definitely can't. <laughs> There's five people here, are you kidding me? It's okay, it's a good death. It's not a good death. It's an okay death. Could be better death. Could be better death. Could be better death. It's an okay death though. But now that twice in a row, which I've disliked not. Now that is easy to replicate. Chad, where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go next? Where am I gonna go next? Yo, Kaka Rotu, let's go. That's good to hear. Where am I gonna go next, Chad? Where am I gonna go next? Look, they're all dead. Right? They're all dead. 
fountain piss off thingy. So we TP because we have tempo. I don't go for the mid. I go for top. 600 gold awaiting me. We go top. Tier 2 turn right here. You think Jax is hard mechanically? No. No. <coughs> I think if you play. No, that was the sexiest thing. Bro, I've L2 ever army. I swear, you got. You, like, you and Young Lion are different, man. Thank you for the 12. You're a rich man. 50, let's go. Thank you for the 50 in total, man. Thank you for your insane generosity. Right, chat. So, here, we've died twice in a row. Like a piggy. But we got both tier 2 turns. So. He's no hex, he's no flesh. Looks like we're still wholesome. But also, as per usual, Aloy always has better team! Aloy always has better team, but look! This guy has 7 kills, 7 kills as well. But look! Yeah, boy's on 3 full items. How does he do it, chat? Tier 2 turrets! 600 gold here, 600 gold here, right? So even though I died twice, that shouldn't happen. I should play more disciplined. Yeah. After a long day of beating up fat guys. Okay, this guy's dead, because I have ghost. Look, this is where ghost shines, Chet. Ghost day. They're gonna ult. Ghost day. Holy shit, what the hell? I have no magic resist, I guess. What the hell? She almost killed me. I wanna 1v1 this grace. Or bless crank. <gasps> I missed. I killed this guy too, by the way. The vines under healing. We can talk about it. Remember, chat. I mean, I kind of want some magic resist for the Kaisa, so I think I buy this. This is pretty solid. And Stellar class, maybe. Yeah, I never broke my Sunderer. Turks cost all the same, or tier 2 gets more gold compared to T1 turn. Alright, chat, listen, okay? This is very important because this is also where people go wrong. Tier 1 turrets in side lanes give 300 gold. I think mid lane is 250. Tier 2 turrets in side lane each give 600. Guess how much tier 3 turrets give? Guess 100 gold. So these turrets are useless, right? Generally speaking, you never want to overstay tempo or like die for taking one of these turrets. Dying for a tier 2 turret, however, is super worth it. And I think tier 2, tier two turret in mid lane gives like 450 gold, something like that. So, so, tier 2 turrets in side lane are generally speaking your biggest objective. Tier 1 turrets are okay too. Never overstay your tempo for a tier 3 turret. Countless amount of times I've seen my entire team die, look at like a tier 2 turret. How much gold is Nexus? 50 tokens, bro. 50 fat tokens. 350. Alright, this guy needs to die. He's disrespecting us. Wait, we, we have Nash? We have Nash! I gotta focus. I don't know we have Nash. Better team, I guess. As per usual. Hey, Kaisa is too far, man. That's way too far. I'm gonna do the loopsy daisy. You're dead. I'm on a ward. Somewhere. Or stream sniping. Sus! How did she just know? She W to Grom? And she just walked away there. Sus. Sus. Very sus. Who's that? Shooting Mango. Welcome, boss. Let's play out this game cleanly, okay? This guy's almost has three items. Isaiah Ka also has three items, too, so they're pretty strong. I gotta be careful of a Blitz hook. Soul's pushing on top. Oh my days. <laughs> We're getting level 16 here. I need Aurelian Soul to push. Oh! 
ghost thing. That's why you take ghost chat. That's why you take ghost. You see how broken ghost is on Jax? Yes. It's broken. Complete broke. It has to be here. Alright, without ghost, I'm always dead there. Let's go! Go, bros! Get him! Look at my resistances too. If I ult somebody, I just want to ult like one person, but I'm scared of a blitz hook. Watch this. Look, 350. 350 and 200. Crazy. Jack's late game is such a disgusting champion. This guy isn't even dealing damage. She's almost three items. She she tickled my ass. She... Nice. Nice. I mean, it's Akali or Yasuo, but... This guy banned Kassadin. I think I'm just gonna go Grasp. If, if it's Yasuo top, I have Grasp. Sucks. But if it's Akali top and I have Grasp, at least I can play. I'll go HP. Yeah, I don't know what I'm against here. Yeah, it is Yasuo top. Sucks. But I couldn't have known. Do I go Deflate then? Do I go Deflate? Yeah, I think I will. Alright, so most important thing to look out for in the early game is that both junglers are pretty aggressive, right? They have a Jarvan, so I can do two wards. I could ward here to see his starting position, or I could ward here for like a level 3 gank. And since I want to play pretty aggressive in this lane here, right here, in the early game, uh, I think it's best for me to actually... Oh, let's see. I'm gonna grab a quick fish, it's gonna give me 10 gold, watch this. Alright, Jax, it's time. It's time, buddy. Give me the 10. Give me the fat 10 gold. Alright, is he played as well? I don't want the extended fight because he has little tempo and I have grass right? So it's more of a short trade angle there. Still a good short trade. I'm gonna focus the melee here. So then I only need to melee and one caster for my level 2. Oh, I got level 2 as well there. We'll play. You don't win that. Okay, that's good. Well played. I can't be mad! I can't be mad, but it's like... I am mad! Because he was dead. Oh. Oh. Diamond players are too good mechanically. That's fine, he has no fundamentals, I'll still win the game. He may have good mechanics. But I'll still win the game. I need my level 3. I am desperate. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm so upset with myself. I don't know what I'm doing. Just don't watch me. Don't watch me try to close your, close your eyes. I'm getting me in block two. Yeah, I can't help. Okay, he kills him though. Yeah, so he's gonna freeze this if he's smart. So BG. So we will bounce at least. <laughs> that was a disgusting early game by me. I'm sorry. Back in my day, 
Okay, driver 20 CS. So he's missed two camps. I don't think he's been to his top side yet. So if at least he's bouncing into me, but I'm a full level down in the XP because I didn't get assist or a kill. Of course, on the SO, plus I had to share basically two waves of XP. So I'm super far down. Alright, from here on, let's try and stabilize. First things first, make sure this just crashes into my turret, I'm not gonna contest it ultimately because I'm so far behind, right? And on the bounce, I need to be full HP so I can actually play out the bounce, so... Let me get pushed in here. Neither jungle has reset yet. As like I said, I wanted to say full HP so that I can play out the bounce. Yasuo, after hard pushing, this is two options, he can reset or he can stay. I mean, also I probably want to reset, because he can get full berserkers and try to kill me on the bounce. So what I like to do in these scenarios is ward, so I know guaranteed what he's done. Alright, so now I know for sure what he's doing. Alright, he went base. All good. Now, my first job here would be to secure my level 6 so that I can play out the bounce here without Yasuo going to kill me. So, let's play for level 6. At 6.05 to 6.15, the plant spawns in the river, so that's something that I can play for. But ja uh, this guy's gonna have massive item lead over me, right? He's gonna have full berserkers, so I can't really look to like fight him here unless I have like a massive wave. My jungler wants to cover for me, and of course I need to match level six first. That's why I push you a little bit faster. He has his berserkers. Guys, bomb bug and his passive shoot. Now, he's in a bad position. He shouldn't have never contested this bounce. He's weak sided. I got my level 6 too. My Nocturne can start to dive here. Nice, okay. Alright, my game back. Like I said, I had to match level 6, then I can fight. I have to fight in my wave. That's good for me. And then we just space well with our ult. We play the level up diver well. And then we're able to play out this position. Oh, come on. Why are you following me? Alright. No, I'm not gonna rush two caps. Um, actually, thank you for that one million chasing me. I got my perfect perch because of that. Then I get some salutes at me and randomly chasing me. The goat. <clears throat> yeah, that's a bounce armor that he should not be uh, uh, like trying to stop, right? Because he's dying. So, so the thing is, Yasuo dying there was like really, really bad because he died on my turn. He lost like, I guess, a full wave. He lost a plate and the wave bounced back into me, so I don't really lose anything. Let's go. Yasuo could move. So now we're almost back to equal. All the wave here. And now I like my position again. They're still playing in the river, I think. Of course, his mage just randomly run down. I don't know. Not sure where Yasuo's at. The Nocturne assaulting bot. Oh, that guy's just 1 v 3 He's learned his lesson now, though. He's not contesting anymore in the bounce, right? Definitely learned his lesson. We're just not sure where Jarvan is. That Jarvan could be on Herald. Because I didn't see Jarvan either here as well. I'm pretty scared of Jarvan. This guy's freezing the way somewhat too. I think I'm more worth here over the Herald. Akali is here. But I never should hard push mid, so Ak Akali has to go back mid. Yeah, Anika is hard pushing, so Akali has to go back to mid. Okay, can you cancel more autos, Alois? Yes, yes you can, yes you can. Yes I can, yes I can. Jarvan is still topside in theory. My Nocturne doesn't have ult. Yo, Mr. 
Maglackers, welcome. Uh, Jarvan stayed topside for a very long time, so I'm assuming Jarvan is back to bot side again. Nope. No assumption. That's fine. I got Akali ult and Yasuo ult, and that makes it very easy for my mid lane to play here too. I just base TP. And life's good. Actually, I can freeze this maybe. I'm not sure what to look, but he doesn't have ult yet. But Yasuo is definitely scared of Nocturne. Okay, I just get access to the plant. Game's going alright now. I have all advantage. Yeah, that's just his flash. Oh wow, he played that well. Yo, but some some diamond players. I mean, it's like almost masses, right? Like that mechanic from the Yasuo there. I thought he was 100% dead. I mean, he played it well. Perfect step back into E flash to to get out of the ch charm too. Like his mechanics are really good, right? I need 1500 gold. It's the plate. It's okay. I needed that cannon, I'll be honest. I should all in here before my divine. Yeah, I did it anyways. It feels bad. I am an idiot and I know it. I am mythic, but I all in. Let's go next game. Kidding, let's focus. I am a disgusting pig. Okay, we focus. <laughs> I'm making such basic, stupid, idiot mistakes. It kind of just tilts me. Okay. This is Yasuo TP, right? No. You know what? Yasuo TP top earlier. I'm an idiot. Oh, we already knew that. My champion becomes a lot stronger with the vine. I'm proxy this wave. So I can get tempo for the scuttle or whatever. Bravest hero I ever knew. Get him, cactus. Uh, sir, cactus. Just was no flesh, neither do I. We should win the 1v1, I have Mythic. He has enough for Kraken Slayer, he might be recalling. No. Oh yeah, he shouldn't be fighting me right now, but he seems to be smart enough. Unlike me. I wanna try to at least, yeah, deny him the cannon. Still tenses per minute, but uh, our gameplay just has been very. Oh, I was on a blue ward. I guess I was. My gunplay has just been quite like luster. I'm scared that Jarvan is topside, but I'm very tempted to fight. You know what I mean, chat? Because my Zillion is topside. Please die. 
It's okay. That's okay. I'll take it. I'll use it, Ian. Thank you. You can take that kill. It's all you. Get a pedo peligo. That's all you, boss. Thank you, Pedro. There's that little... I'm gonna reset. I mean, we're still okay in the game here. Nice. <laughs> Imagine you're Yasuo right now. Now that's a feels good. Now that's a feels good chat. He's emotional, you see it? I see it in his eyes. I'll be too though. I don't blame him. Did he expect that? Did he expect that? Holy shit. Man, this Yasuo is good mechanically, like, actually good mechanically. What, what elo is this guy? I need to see this. I need to see this. What elo is this guy? Is it a smurf? No, it's not. What is it? I'm not sure. Man, I don't even know. Probably. He's good mechanically. He's good mechanics. Yeah, but I don't know what his main elo is, right? Because we're playing time with one close to Masters too, so I don't know what his main elo is. Like, is he swerving beyond that, right? Yes, I understand his win rate and his level chat, but the thing is, like, what, 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 what elo is he smurfing from is my question, you know? So he's very good mechanically for this armor. Why is my ice shot What's Cactus doing? I'm bot. Need to search. Dominance to the sideways that I need here. Right, chat? From here on out, okay? From here on out. No more deaths. I'm gonna carry this game without any more deaths and play very disciplined. I am closer to second two items than he is. And let's play very disciplined from here on out. <laughs> I'm gonna slow push this wave a little to allow this next wave to walk through the lane as well. I got 30 for my TP, I can't join it. Okay, it's Akali, these items. Jarvan could cover. And I think Yasuo has TP. I can TP soon behind. So Cash has no flash. They're both dead. This guy doesn't see me. Now, I'm ulting not to kill her. I just wanted to get to 1 HP. Mm, no, it's not even close to 1 HP. So, if I get her to like close to 1 HP, then I can brute force this turret, right? That was my idea here, but yeah, it didn't go as planned. It's okay, however. I don't want Yasuo to get a full tier 1 turret here. I'm already too late. I don't know why, maybe I just left. I guess she TP'd, but it's okay. We're gonna reset and I might have to TP here. Uh, sucks. My a good wire. Found someone worthy to carry to the 
I mean, isn't this guy just dead? I don't think we win that 2v2. I mean, I still want to play for the bot tier 1. This guy shouldn't take my stuff. He took the rep off. Ah, oh, it's 2 and 5 cactus. Me rep, please? Sorry. Okay. Oopsie. Living through rough times makes you it's like, when you do something on purpose and say sorry, it doesn't sit right with me. Yes, I go bot lane because of the turret. I can get natural resources here. Natural resources. Natural resources. What am I talking about? I can get consistent income here. Enemy team should not be able to do Nash because Nocturne is alive. And as long as it's alive, it's a 50-50 for them at best. Alright, there's the SO. Now, the grass sucks here because he's little type, but I have grass. And he's level 14. Okay. I'm not even sure if I'm the one at the moment. I don't have to. I get priority. And then I can move here. If we kill them, we get Nash. Alright. 7 is in the turret. Yes, I think thank you for the support. Nice! That's why it's so good to have tempo there. Okay! Those are the type of skirmishes we need. Um, What should I go? I could go Blade Rune King, and then even though I have grass, I still get some attack speed, right? That's the issue right now. I don't really have attack speed from anything. This dragon is also not gonna give me attack speed, so I can go consider Wit's End. Or Blade Rune King. If I go Blade Rune King, I'm gonna have a harder time team fighting, but I'm gonna have a very easy time split pushing against both Yasuo. I'll do no more damage to the Tom Kench. I think it's actually fine to go Blade Rune King here. Just because it will guarantee me to stomp sideline. Frozen Heart, it's not bad, but I just think that Blade Rune King is so good here. Like, Yasuo can never come sideline if I have Blade Rune King, you know? I have to pee here. No sword and shield. Be so faithful. I think my teammates are fine. Yeah, I think he's going tonight. Ah, I should just keep pushing Bob, man. My TP is so shit. I think I use a lot of damage. Oh, this wall! You save him from me, by the way. I mean, I need 200 gold for my item. Change of plans, maybe? Change of plans. I mean, Frozen Heart then? What? Recommended? Alright, thank you, right? Just recommend me nothing. Did I, did I misclick something or so? Okay. Recommend nothing. Or... Didn't eat anything anyways. I need to shut down. Okay, hey, I told you though, chat. I won't be dying anymore. I won't even die no more. Told you. They can't do Nash. They have Jarvan Senna. They can only do Nash if um, Yasuo's there. They don't have enough DPS without Yasuo. Leave. They're doing Nash! Uh oh. I mean, I'm already too late. I'm gonna keep pushing here. 
sitting in my swamp. Swamp. What was saying? But still, yeah, look, they're very slow. They're very slow without the uh, Yasuo. Minus one. Massive. Oh, this is my rebuff. He said next. Nice. Rule is so nice on this champion. Jax is so mana hungry. Keep taking all these resources. Thank you so much. Yo! Riot asks you for recommendations now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your tier 3 alto army. Thank you for all your insane support, brother. Yeah, I mean, I can't get recommended items, I guess. Yeah. I'll be the one to just decide. I can TP for 15. All I can do is ping them away. It'll be f what? I swear I saw only someone mean and then, like, the rest spawned. I have TP, two wards. Okay, we got Yasuo's TP. Yasuo's both now, he's collecting this and collecting this, which means I have full tempo over here to kill them. Right, I'm just using my tempo super well here. And they have been out-tempoed, played. Second time I do this to them, by the way. And now I can get Nash. This time I did it well, though. Thank you, Torn. Yo! Thank you for the tier 1. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but you're the go. Thank you. I have TP for both of you stays for the tier 2. Jarvan is alive, though. So I gotta look for that guy as a priority. Where is that guy? I wanna make him 50 50. Stop hitting! Stop hitting! Hello! Deal with this guy. Okay. And defend this. Oh, I'm multitasking, bro. I, I'm a man and I'm multitasking. GG. Move three things at once. Yo, Angelo, good shit, bro. I'm gonna hold this, so I'm a little bit faster. Alright, I wanna be in sync with my teammates here, because they're all leaving base. If you guys didn't know, Nash is only around six waves because you have Nash for three minutes if this timer goes to three minutes your Nash will stop so you want to try and always be in sync with your teammates right so that's why I ult the wave that I'm trying to get as fast as possible in sync with their reset so I can join them right because ultimately let's say I have to recall right now then boom we lose so much tempo we lose two waves and then you only have four left right there's only six waves in every Nasher we need to wait for my tempo on bot lane too and then we can go So taking jungle camps, for example, during Nesher is very often a complete waste of time because you int your temple. That yeah, might. There's well, stopwatch. Stop I could have been ready for that. Pedro! What are you doing? I still have Sterox and my shield item by the way. Like pretty unkillable here, but I'm running out of mana. I still have my shield item too. <laughs> Jack's late game is very wholesome. What do you guys think? Oh, I'm dying! Oh no! Oh shit! And I had Starx too. Are you making the pig noises? Uh, last item, Destance, I believe. This is the build that TF Blade recommended me, and yeah, I can definitely see why it's so good in late game. Are we ending the game? 
you can jump on blue wards as Jack, by the way. I didn't know this for the longest time. I once died in a competitive game because you actually can jump onto those. I didn't know that. Right. I told you guys I won't die anymore and I'll carry this game. Pantheon. Alright, chat. You know what I take in this type of matchups? Grasp. Blade. Uh, are you okay? And this. And it's just the scaling setup. Arguably, I could even take double armor this game against like Kazakh's Pantheon. But I think this is fine and we're looking to scale. I don't know if you remember, but you Gigas told me on Riven while I was Gwen a few weeks back. Time to listen to Mental Boom. Sorry, bro. Oh, couldn't get saved. Jackson to Pantheon. Yeah, it's not the best match, but you hard on skill. So that's what we're gonna go for. Oh, wait, we're almost full masses MMR here. Okay, chat. We're almost full masses MMR. We got one, two, three, four, five masses players. All right. Let's get in the focus. Get in the focus. I'm gonna go D shoot. This is the setup I like the most, especially in these tricky matchups. I got a bone blade in D shoot, grasp, and biscuits to try and sustain me out of this matchup. And I'm looking to scale, alright? I'm playing Flash TP. He's Flash Ignite. He's playing Domination Conqueror. Uh, so that one thing I know is that he's not gonna have that much mana sustain, right? He's not gonna have mana flow band or biscuits. Uh, he'll probably have presence of mind though. This is only mana sustain. So the thing is, I can trade with him in the early game, but let's trade at 105 when he can't recall anymore right 105 means spawn so if you trade at 105 that's generally speaking the timer aim oh wait i can fish i'm gonna get 10 gold watch this i'm gonna call it 10 gold all right jake let's go let's go buddy yeah chat jordan will come but i'm not sure when i'm sorry all right could be a top game only akali will be different but uh when i have two items i can win silently against both of them this guy's also playing dark harvest which i don't think is too optimal um, if I can get priority in this matchup, I will look for it. It's a bad matchup for me to play, but if you can get priority, any losing matchup theoretically becomes a winnable matchup. Why? Because I'm level 2 and he's level 1. So priority, by default, is a very good thing to have in general, even in your negative matchup. Let's say I'm playing melee into range, I still look for priority. Why? Because I get level 2 first. So Pantheon has also missed some EXP here. I'm not sure what the hell he's doing. So he kind of gave me a free lane here. And now I'm focused on melee because I actually don't need this castle to get my level 2. Okay, all my means are focused on the castle, so I will. And now I want Pantheon to walk up for a last hit. And on that timer, okay, I can't, it's okay. Instead, I'm gonna do a second wave crash. The reason I do a second wave crash is to make this wave bounce back into me, okay? Now, the benefit of making this wave bounce back into me is that my jungler is padding to top, and enemy jungler is most likely pathing into both. That means that this Pantheon is playing on the weak side. Now, by making this wave bounce back into me, okay, there's a ward here, so I don't have to ward. It will force Pantheon, I'll ward here, to basically start walking up for last hits. And that is good because then my Graves can look for ganks. Oh, oh yeah, he's took his top side. Okay, yeah, that was that chance, I guess. But yeah. My bad, that was an awful trade. Oh, yeah, Kazakh did actually end up taking my top side. I mean, there was a chance that he was doing that, but I could have never re risked it on. I don't want to lose the XP there, so I'm going to stand in the range. Okay, here I gotta be a little careful. I'm gonna potion. I might be in trouble actually. Oh, we're fine. Think I'll just reset and Kazakhs can come back into top side or into bot side. And the reason I reset is gonna get level four. Actually, no, he missed some XP, right? So he won't actually get level four. But uh, now I can actually play out this scenario here with full HP. Maybe assist my jungler too. I'll go double potion and I just utilize my TP in the early game to get an okay position. Okay, Kazakhs went top side again. I don't wanna trade. And um, we're even in CS, but I'm gonna collect a massive wave here, so I'm fine with how the early lane went. Just one bad trade, one or two bad trades. Right, I'll skip playing for last hits, and then we'll actually be ahead in that way. Invaded. Oh, yeah, nothing I can do about that. Yeah. Well, Why is Akali typing so much and then doing that? Is people already griefing? One death sent this guy into a mental boom already. 
So, uh, Oriana got one kill and this guy started mental booming. That's massive seven more, by the way, Chen. In massive seven more, that still happens. So, um, don't ever think it gets any better, I guess. <laughs> Emerald is disgusting. Diamond is disgusting. Master is disgusting. There's disgusting players anywhere. All you can do at the end of the day is control yourself. This guy hasn't recalled, so what I'm gonna do instead is proxy here. And Graves, or Kazakh rather, has to go both sides. Why is he here? I might not have flesh. I have Sheen now at least. Okay, he's gonna recon go both sides. My Grace wants to invade, so maybe I could have cancelled him, but I think it's better for myself to just actually take my recall here. And even though Pantheon got a kill, we're pretty or uh, we're good in CS. Uh, it sucks I wasn't able to full proxy that wave there, but we're still in a completely fine scenario. <clears throat> How do these people get mastered? Yeah. Can you explain the gigantic, gigantic top gap of G2 versus BLG Sith? I've never seen this in pro play. I actually haven't watched it. Uh, I could look at, uh, I could look at it, but yeah, I haven't looked at it too much. Okay, Pantheon wants to recall, so what I want to do here is uh, freeze his wave. So I'm gonna have to force him to either stay or recall and lose a full wave. I'm gonna be pinging because he's level six, so just so my mid laner knows. Yeah, I think this invade isn't the best by my grace. He should just play for his own jungle camps. Okay, though. I am going to thin out in the meantime, as you can see, right? Because if I don't, this wave actually comes too big, and then by the time Pantheon comes back, I can't really play the game. So I am thinning out here, but I gotta make sure that he has a little bit more means alive than I do. Ultimately, because my next mini wave right here is arriving already, right? And his isn't yet. And as a result, okay, he's mid. My mid later is completely fine. Uh, I think I will just continue holding the freeze here. Uh, there's a plant in the river right now, it spawns at around 605, 610. The reason I'm deciding to freeze it here is because Pantheon is just pushing up mid, and ultimately, he got a full wave here, but he's losing a full one here, so I'm alright with that. He's level 7 though. I think he caught a little bit more than one wave in mid lane there. Sure. I realistically want to match level 7 before I start fighting. He doesn't know when I get level 7, of course we do. So I think what I do is slow push this wave, and then we're looking to hard push. So I'm gonna slow push this, allow this next wave to walk up, and then that's the wave we'll hard push. I am going to start prepping it a little bit, right? But I don't have to hard push that. Ultimately, what I have to do is make sure that the one minion stays alive so that this next minion wave of his can walk through the lane. That's my end ultimate goal. Right, so now you see this minion wave will start walking through the lane, now you can start pushing. That's why, you see here, I only need one minion to stay alive. It's perfect. And we're just looking to scale. And now we reset. Think here, I have two items that I can purchase. I could go for call fields, or I could go for Kindle Gem. And I just think Kindle Gem is better here, because ultimately, I don't necessarily need more damage to kill this Pantheon, I need survivability. I lost that play just barely. It happens. Yeah. And I'm just looking to scale, right? Once I have the Vine, I pretty much outscaled this guy. If I go there relatively even, I'm happy. I'm just a bit behind in XP. No, I actually lost the plate. Okay, he's not resetting, so now I'm gonna be ahead in items. That was Pantheon's timer to reset. Alright, now I'm gonna pressure. The scuttle should be here. And I'll just hard push this wave. Next E second. Oops. Let's check the scuttle, check the herald. I'm not losing out anything, so it's okay. There we go. We're gonna look for the scuttle. I mean, I really want the scuttle to be fair, because it will bring me back to EXP. Sorry, Graves. He's the GOAT for giving that, but then I'm back in even with XP with the Pantheon. It's probably a little bit better on him, I'll be honest. Well, we're kind of able to scale evenly here. This wave is pushing into me so I can move with a free conscience, because this wave will push into me, so that's why I'm not hitting it. 
I'm gonna biscuit. I'm dead too. Uh, I, I didn't expect Karma. I think Karma has a difference maker here too. She does 500 damage to me there. If I have that 500 HP, maybe I can award jump, maybe I can get something. But that's okay. I at least made sure this wave is pushing into me before I left, so in that regard, I'm happy. But yeah, Karma made the difference there. Mm, we're gonna TP2 lane. I'm not gonna buy anything else. I'm not buying boots, I'm not buying potions because they're very close to Mythic. Alright, I wanna get to Mythic and then we can be safe. To be fair, I shouldn't fight him. I should just play for Mythic. No point in fighting him. Nice. Uh, 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 this wave will give me my item exactly. There we go. <coughs> Alright, now we got the vine. Could go Tabis' game because fed this guy, this guy's yeah, I think this is a Tabis type of game. Tabis probably speed of soldier and um, right now we should start beating the Pantheon because we have the Vine Sundere. My mid lane is pretty strong, the rest of my team is kinda of losing. Would the stuff you are doing be applicable to Gwen too? Yes, as I'll show you, because we're gonna do Gwen next. Okay. Rest in peace, Bolt. And he has full Eclipse. See? I got full Divine, now I just start beating this guy super, super hard. So I basically avoid fighting the whole lane phase, but now I got Divine. It's basically the wholesome item for Jax, right? It's, it's, it's the item where you become wholesome. So now I'm just gonna go for Herald. Because he's gonna collect this wave. He's gonna be scared to walk up on this wave. And uh, now we're gonna play for this. Guys, no flesh. Definitely want that kill. Let's go, Criterion. Okay, my mid lane is playing super well. I'm gonna slow push this wave and then hard push this wave. Unless Pantheon moves, then I'll Herald. Okay, he's here. Oh, no played by him. He shouldn't know that I'm here, because I moved around the means. No, you don't miss those! Can't use my herald now either. <clears throat> that that ult ruins my wave state. Ridiculously hard, by the way. Bro, CBA with the fact. Oh, shit. Why am I not TPing? It is high key ridiculous to me that my Graves misses ult. Completely misplaced the gank and smites my cannon. But let's stay mentally sane. Happens. <laughs> Happens. My mid lane is playing very well. The rest of my team is completely behind. So I'll just play with my mid laner. They have two dragons. It's okay. I'm gonna get all the tier 1 turrets in the game and I'm gonna make myself fit. I have outskilled this pattern already. I can beat him inside and every time he has no flash. So that's what I'm gonna be playing for. 
I'm throwing them both their solo lanes, so I can always play Scylla in this game. Jinx is coming top. Yeah. Very weird run by her. Oh, nice. He did hit me. Wait, did Grace do. Did Grace miss something again or something? Flash as well, I'll time that. It's 20 for her flash. How fast is he? 395, that's similar to my. You can leave me, by the way. Like, I don't need you to, like, you know, waddle around, take my XP and shit. Well, the end of the world isn't gonna stop itself. We're still stronger than either solo lane. We're okay in this game. Okay. Trade one for one. I'll take that. Do any Tavis? No. Okay, so Jinx is still really fat. I shouldn't lose too much here. I do give him a shutdown though. It's just my bottom and jungle are severely underfed, malnourished. It's okay. We're relatively close to our second item. This guy's call feuds. I have the same. And I also have pickaxe ruby. But I'm losing a cannon wave here too, so I died plus lose the cannon wave, so that's kind of hefty. It's 20 mid, I know that. It's somewhere to cover. Um, it would be amazing if they kill Pantheon here. So, cause, okay, I got a flash. So, I'll type that too, so now I know the summoner. I mean, I mean, then I guess I'll go top. If Oriana pushed out bot, then I got the Skato and I collect top, and I guess, I mean, there's a dragon. But I think we're just too weak 5v5 unless Oriana pops off. I mean, Grace can try and steal it, I suppose. Maybe there's a good skirmish angle. Oriana missed ult. That's about the best I expect from my team. Very little to there. And we lose the 1k shutdown. But I can at least secure mid tier 1 here, which is massive. And I can maybe TP top. I just gotta get maximum gold and come for myself. Oh, mama, 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 mama. Oh, Alright, we're gonna have a second item. Uh, and then we're gonna play for both tier one. Nash is up in 10 though. No, it's not Nash. I'm gonna play for bot tier one. Whatever. Pantheon has no flash. I need to get that kill. That's my way back in the game. Just killing this guy before his flash is back is my ticket back in the game. That's why I say play to me. If my team doesn't listen, I can't do anything. If we get the shutdown, I get the bot tier one. It's absolutely massive for the game. He could take the rap off. I know he has no flash, I can all him whenever I want pretty much. He hasn't recalled in a long time, he's sitting around 2k gold as well. Okay. I'm going to try and dive him chat. And the reason I tried to dive him is because there are three dragons down, two items down. Like, eh, my entire team is down beside my mid laner, right? So, going for risky plays right here is good. Because ultimately, I have below 50% chance of winning this game. So any ult that I can try and get to get close to that, I will try and take... I have to go take that risk, 
Simply, like I said, if I don't take risks like this, I will automatically lose the game. And if I had died there, game would have been lost, right? But now at least I get a small chance back in this game. I get the big shutdown and I can get the tier 1 turret. So this is still massive. Akali might have TP though. Okay. There's Jinx is overstaying a little bit. Okay, she flashed. Mm. Okay, where did she flash? Here she has no inspiration, so Yeah, I killed the Jinx. She has a one-k shot on it, she has no flesh. This is our time to play. Oh, what the? I need my team to listen to me and come and kill the Jinx. No flesh. I'm gonna flip it. Oh, Mamma Mia. Nice solo ult. You have one button that's useful. <laughs> okay, we can get dash. We can get dash with this, maybe. Karma flash. This guy flash. Stay. I can play for soul, I guess. We should have gone dragon. We should not do Nash. I completely forgot soul. I completely forgot soul. Yo, thank you so much for the prime. Ori has TP as well. Ori TP, you pig! Save last game. Now I'm gonna play for the tier two turrets. I'm not gonna TP. Alright, we saved last game, Jet. We saved last game. We found the one window. Kazix Pantheon Jinx Karma No Flash. It's 25 AD. Um, I have item in base. Orion's top. Kind of out of sync with my team here. Where are we go? Do I want pinks? Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's uh, calculate. Pantheon flash there, it's 25 AD, 28 top. I know these timers, bro. I got three items, Oriana has three items. Oriana is playing well, she's recalling. So I just like that. Jinx is no flesh yet. Jinx is no flesh yet. This guy's no flesh either. 
I got stir, stir, stir rocks. No! I didn't hit it! Ah! Sorry. Holy moly! We killed all of them though. As us three! My Grace and Oriana weren't even there. We killed five people as three of us. And my bot lane is useless. But we did it anyways. And now we're winning the game. We're looking like scaly champions. We killed like three people solo there. Let's go. Let's go. Good Nash, good Nash. Like it. Like it. My champ does nothing, unlucky. The bro knows. The bro knows. Thank you for three months. Thank you for your prime. Thank you, Seal Law, also for your prime. I missed it earlier because I was super, super focused. Okay, don't overstay. That is not good! Sehr good! Okay, now back off. Boss man, chase his flesh. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. There's gonna be 30, 20 AD. Ah, Jinx is no flashy game. Oh, you know, we have a tooth in a little bitch. Flash on top of her face. Wait, Jinx is gonna go for next wave. I saw her intention. She's, she walked forward. She might go for next wave. Are you really that greedy? Ain't no way, right? You're not going for this wave. No shot. Where are you? Okay, I mean, two minutes for soul, two and a half for dragon, so I have to play for soul here. <sighs> this game is uh, pretty much masses of more. There's five master players in this game. They could all be looking for me here. I don't see anybody on the map, I don't see anybody in mid wave or top wave, so I'm backing off here just for precaution. My like Grace is doing have items, Ash was doing have items now, so they're actually somewhat useful. Okay, I guess they're all mid. But it was a precaution, right? If I die, the entire map crumbles for like one and a half minutes, so I already take the risk of losing some last hits instead of having five people collapse on me. Oriana has TP. She's level 16, she wants to recall. She might have Zonyas. Yeah, Zonyas, she's four items. One minute for so. Jinx don't play. Get a bitch. Sure the homie stays alive. Well, I can base maybe attack their base. Can attack their base. I have demolish too. And also just get the soul. Do I TP here? I don't think I'm doing the bros a favor by TPing there. Let's get this instead. I mean, karma flushed again. We still have the 80 flush timer. Oriana has flushes Zoya, so we can always fight here. Yo, thank you for your prime boss. I have no wards though to jump with. Two. On. Okay, they can't get soul. Hey! You have a manly screaming. As per usual. Now we just play for natural. This guy's no flesh, by the way. This karma has no flesh. Get him, get step dancer 69. Get him. Step. Oh, maybe. Oh, get this guy. This guy then. Where's my E? This bitch. Get this gremlin. Okay, we don't kill shit. I got Sterox. Try to bait. Okay, there goes my Sterox. We're going to go wing a little too deep. I guess. Should we just play for Nash when we killed the Kha'Zix? Ah, uh, we went too deep. Could we still? Yeah, I shouldn't have chased there. That was my mistake. I think I also better my team to chase. Uh, I mean, I wish I had Ghost right now. Ghost is so much better in late game than Flashes. Oh, he wants it. 200 for Bloodthirst. He's gonna have three items, so I'm gonna like, give it to him. Oh! Mm. I 
hundred from my item. I mean, in theory, we should win the game right now. Okay, let's not say that. Jinx still doesn't have flash. I mean, I can't really find an angle to like jump on them without them like seeing me. I can't really get a flank off. Jinx has flash in 10 seconds. She has four items. What is that guy doing? Why is my thing not jumping on that? This guy's no flush. Okay. Grace, why are you dead again, man? Why are you always dead? Yeah, two kills for free, you're dead again, man. They are definitely not making this game easy for me to play. Uh, why is my grace dead, man? I mean, I guess we can't do this. Every time as well. Oh my days, team man! You don't show yourself, Soraka. Sona, whatever your name is. How depressing is this game? Can we for once not get caught? Like, please. Ah, oh, stop dying, man. How is this game ever still hard? We got two kills and we still can't do shit every time. <sighs> I lost flesh now, it's really bad. I have four items though. I think we can fight it. Yes, I know Graves gave me top this game, but that doesn't give him an excuse to continuously keep inting. Well, I've, I've drawn this game back like five times now for us collectively as a team, right? I've gotten so many catches, so many picks for our teams. Like, the, the game should have been already in an unlosable position, frank, frankly. Like, and then I got two catches again, and Bro finds a way to lose the game again. This is not good, nobody's following. Where are the bros? On Jinx, mid. Okay. Alright, Oriana is at least the GOAT. No. Is that enough? Are you kidding me? I think, I don't think the game is over. Whatever I gave you top. Anything good things this game. It's so sad to actually didn't win that. Still a very educational game though, that's what matters. It was a very good game. I'm not mad at my grace, but if you get permanently caught, right, you can't say, yeah, but you forced me off roll. It doesn't really work like that. Come on, take some accountability. Yeah, yeah, yeah.